I'm always winning, though, bro. Hold on one second. What DLC delayed the Victoria 3 DLC? Spheres of Influence was delayed. It was originally supposed to come out on, was it like March 6th or March 7th? I forgot. Now it's coming out on in July 26th, I think, or June, sorry, June 26th, something like that. It got delayed. Big Sag. Alright, I think I'm ready to start the stream. Let's just start it a little early. No way, yeah, it was, it's pretty sad. Let's start the stream, let's go. It is what it is, chat. Sometimes stuff gets delayed, you can't do much about it. How are we doing today? We're watching stream at 4 past 12 a.m. First of all, why are you writing time like that? Okay, that's that's already a crime. But second of all, I don't know, dude. I started my stream a couple hours late because I, I slept in, and I was like, you know what? Like, you know what? Let's just start a little late. What's 11 off? I was like, screw it. I'd rather stream a little bit later than not stream at all. Is it legal for a streamer to say a scheduled room at 24 hour runs when one, there is a schedule now, and two, there are no 24 hour runs? I guess maybe it is. Maybe I do have to go put a schedule in the in the starting screen. Maybe I gotta do that now. Maybe that. So my hair isn't crazy enough. Well, we gotta we gotta we gotta do this better. I'm trying to do um I'm trying I'm trying to make myself stand out, chat. And the best way to do that is just to make the hair go absolutely crazy. Okay? So you just you just put the hair over the headphones and then you just Pull it up like that. There you go. Bro, Belgium? Yeah, we're gonna play some Belgium today. I wanna play Belgium because they're like a fun middle power, you know? Um, we're gonna play without any uh, without any music, though. This was a history game. True, Belgium is kind of a historical on God, for real, for real. Let's do this, though. I think it'll be fun. Well, I could show you guys um, the Scandinavia game I had going yesterday, or a couple days ago. It was pretty fun. I had a good game going. Netherlands is better. I mean, you know. Fair enough. I'll move the mic a little closer so you can get some better audio. There you go. I probably would sound a little far away, but I should sound a little closer. All right. Why are we playing Belgium? Um, yeah, I don't know. We just kind of, you know, Belgium, it's a horrible country, disgusting country, but we'll play as them. Why not? Rhodesia? I don't think they would exist right now. We're going to play as Belgium and, um, you know, sadly, sadly, DLC was delayed, so I'm not going to put Iron Man like that. So I'm going to do Vic 3 content now, I guess. Because I was going to wait to do Vic 3 content until the DLC came out, but now I guess might as well start doing it now. Uh. Alright, so what's going on with Belgium? What do we got? What, what's happening here? Looks pretty standard. We do have quite a good, quite a good budget. That's nice. If you leave the Netherlands, one state to the exist, and from the United Netherlands, you become Burgundy. Ooh, that sounds fun. Sounds enjoyable. Um, let's keep taxes like actually a little bit higher, and let's just build some build some stuff up. Um, yeah, we're gonna mostly build in Flanders because it's the better part of Belgium. <laughs> got him, got him, dude. Let's go like up to eight. Do I use iron construction? We are. Are we an iron construction enjoyers? We are iron construction enjoyers. Okay, let's also just immediately go to laissez-faire as soon as possible because well, that'd be great. Um, looks like our Dutchists are quite strong. Belgium seems kind of OP. Yeah, not bad. Apparently the army is in the Liberal Party, so just throw them in there, I guess. Fair enough. Sax Coburg Gotha, isn't this the British royal family? Wait just a minute. Are we not of Hanover? Is this not the? Is this not the same family as the Brits? They're related, based. Holy. What's up here, but we're missing glass? Okay, we can work on that. We'll get some glass queued up. Put the Victoria theme music on. Hold on, let's put that on. I realize that it's off right now. Okay, cool. Okay. 
get some Vic 3. I've, I've got Vic 3 music having grown on me, you know, so I've been enjoying it these days. Let's get to laissez Fair right away. Do that. Okay, speed 5. How are we doing today, chat? How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are good. How can you the farms from Lonia as Mappy is so much better? Is it actually better? Is it the other river here? What's the is the Valonia Mappy actually better? Hold on. Eighty-five percent. Eighty-five percent Mappy. What about Mappy in Flanders? They're the same. They got the same Mappy. What is this guy saying? Oh, I want to set up. We're going to try to do like mad immigrations. So let's just set up like, you know, greener grass and all that. Stop playing after the Francis DLC is coming back. And I've been told by everyone to not even be assaulted on the DLC releases. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt too. It has every reason. Because River. Oh, I see. Because it has these. Yeah, that's fair enough, actually. That's actually a reasonable point. That it has all this stuff. Yeah, okay. Okay. Works isn't streaming, you know it's an entire. Although I'm, I, I streamed late today, unfortunately. I, I slept in. It happens. It happens. But yes, more consistent streaming. But balloons are French. French aren't that bad. They're just kind of bad. So we could just join Britain. Um, do they have anyone can migrate? They have no migration controls. So, riddle me this, Batman. Okay. Why would we not join Brit Britain's customs union? Is there any reason to not just do this? Declare interests? That's a good idea. You're right, you're right. We only have one interest, but let's declare it in South China. Where's our other interest, actually? Don't need Iberia. Give me the Chinas, and then we can maybe join in on the Opium Wars. Never mind, it's already happening. Rip. Okay, well. So, yeah, is there any reason not to just join the British Customs Union? Because we can just take advantage of it. You know, like, why not, right? Not to mention it'll fix some of our shortages, like, immediately. Yeah, we accept English pops. Yeah, exactly. So we have no market control, so we should see a bunch of immigration. I have uh, a lot of, you know, we see, we see we're already getting English pops coming in. So, you know, why wouldn't we do this, right? Cree! Oh my god, the Cree are coming! <laughs> this is pretty funny. Chat, we have Native Americans! <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, right? Okay. Whether it's historically accurate or not to allow undiscriminated pops to migrate, I love it, personally. I, I love it. I think it's worth keeping, no matter how inaccurate it may or may not be. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Gigantotherium. I don't know what they're going to change. Uh, I think they're probably going to keep the building relatively similar to how it is. You always do the custom, but you should never become the Protectorate. That I agree with, Dreams. Yeah, don't become the Protectorate. Yeah, Protectorate would suck, because then you're stuck, right? You can't you can't leave willingly. But with the Customs Union, you can leave whenever you want. Nice. Alright, here's the election, by the way. So we want the Industrialists to get more power. It looks like the Agrarians are just, like, screwed. Do we have professional army? I assume we do. Europeans usually have... Oh, then we have national militia. Okay, weird. Weird champ. Alright, new party election. Let's go. Looks good. I mean, yeah, we're, we're better off like this. Oh, Desperate Allies is so good. Nice. We're gonna easy clap past laissez-faire, boys. Oh, look at all those English people coming in, dude. Well, North Germans, English. All right, all right. We gotta get the um, we gotta get the the we gotta build a lot of buildings here and really get the migration going. What would be highly profitable? Well, I guess we probably have silk now, so let's do some craftsman sewing. Cause we also looks like the British have a, sh a silk shortage. Amazing. Yeah, look, they fixed it. Okay, good. Maybe they help you against the Netherlands? Maybe. 
Um, we could just conquer the Netherlands, but I think the British probably wouldn't quite help us yet. We have to get better relations first, which we're working on. And also we need to get stronger. I'm not really that strong right now, so let's chill. They got 20 regiments, I have like 10, and I could probably conscript quite a few, but still. I think our goal is going to be just to suck pops off of, um, um, oh, we, we have line infantry? Oh, shit. Or skirmish infantry? Easy. I, I think um, our best bet is just going to be to suck off pops from the British and then use them to get some power. Because, like, we already have, like, half a percent English. Nice. Yeah, I know what you mean, you Antithorium. You can scrub 50 guys, and this has no chance to 1v1. Is that actually is it actually just that easy? Can I just be like humiliation and then just wait till the end and add the Wurgles so no one else can join? I'm curious, I want to try it. Okay, hold on, let, let, let's try this out. Let's see how strong Belgium can be. Let's get some conscripts. Oh, we can we can conscript a shit ton. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's get a little bit of these. Sure, okay, cool. And then let's let's go for it. Fuck okay, it, right? This guy's pretty good. Use him. Okay. Um, let's, I'm going to do Humiliation. Right? That's going to be the plan. And then that way, we should see that no one will join, because they're just going to be like, oh, I don't want to. I do have a Trench Rat. Yes, I do have a Trench Rat. We just defend for half a year. Honestly, true, though. We could do that. Getting more pops coming in. Let's go. Let's do, um, I don't know, let's do something that'll make us some good money, maybe like, get some furniture. Furniture seems to be quite expensive, so let's get some furniture. So Britain would join if we were to offer them something, I don't know what they would want. But I think the worry here is that Prussia might join, but it looks like they probably won't. If we wait, oh wow, really a setback, 55% chance, damn. I think your, your script is over them, yeah, the Belgium just has a trench rat to begin the game, which is cool. So let's see who, if anyone joins the Netherlands side. You want Wallonia? Oh my goodness. That's asking for a lot, Prussia. Hello? Game? Jesus Christ, what was that? that? Like, everything froze. That was crazy. That was insane. The whole world froze. Part with Luxembourg? Yeah, but Luxembourg is going to do shit. I guess we probably should raise, like, one, one little thing to go and deal with that. But managing the army in this game sucks, though, eh? Like, three skirmish infantry. Go deal with that, I guess. Let's see. So everyone's declaring neutrality. That's what we want to see. Wait till all the big boys are out of the war. Then we just go declare. Then we just go take the like, Holland or something. Like a Giga Chad. Okay, so it looks like unfortunately there's still people in the war, so it's not quite that simple. I think we conquer Holland. Do we just... How hardcore do we go here? Do we just take everything? Do we just be like Holland and... and Gallery? Kind of hardcore. Now Prussia wants to join, though, eh? And they would, they would want <laughs> Wallonia. I'm good. Look what GB wants. They want Protectorate or an Obligation. Sure, we'll, we'll get GB in here. Fine. Just to make sure. There we go. Cool. Hopefully no one else joins. It looks like Prussia wants to join now. Oh, and did they back down? They backed down, didn't they? Oh, no. No, they backed down. <laughs> no! Well, that's fine. I, I think... Yeah, okay, that was kind of my bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have added so many war goals. That was just, like, needless, in immense amount of lost rep rep relations for, like, no reason. Hold on, I kind of want to restart now. Hold on, I, I feel... Harris gig along now? Yes. Thoughts on delayed DLC? It sucks, but, I mean, hopefully it means for a better DLC. Hopefully. They back down, those bastards. For once a smart move, honestly true. 
is what we asked for. Well, I, I just used the Humiliate as a pretext to declare the war. I think let's do Belgium, um, and let's let's maybe not go to war like immediately. Let, let's just join the British Customs Union, and then let's just like leech pops off them. I think that'll be fun. Also, we had way, way too much construction, so that was my bad. Probably demand Holland, yeah, but then like people might join the war, bro. Kind of scary. But let's do like two, and then let's get I don't know. Let's get some services tax. Actually, fine. Let's get let's go and get. Uh, oh, apparently we have like a terrible, or just like an awful party right now. Thing. Not enough land. Well, the problem with too much construction is if you don't have the budget for it, so then you just crash your your budget, right? That's the problem. What's this? Uh, what's this we have? Société Anonyme Jean Cocoril. Okay, sure. Seems legit. Can you destroy that? Oh, the hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We need to. I want to like join with Britain in this, so we can go and grab uh, China, like go and grab Beijing. So that's like the meta strat these days, just to like always grab Beijing every time. Yeah, interest China. Yeah, yeah, I got it this time. I was watching more generalist gaming videos, and I'm like, dude, every every run, just just join the British in this war every time. Can I still join, or am I? Is it too late? I think because they started the war before, I'm, it's too late. I can't join. Sag, I need to do it like right away. <laughs> Imagine perhaps giving us a broken DLC full bugs after the delay. No way. Yeah, sure. Why Beijing? Because he has, um, because first of all, it has a fuck ton of people, so you can conscript like a hundred regiments from it. And second of all, it has the, um, it has the Forbidden City, which is just really good to have no matter who you are. Just hit start. Okay, fine. We'll do it. We'll do that. We'll do that. I know I keep restarting, but we're going to get it this time. Okay. Trust. Really. Gazan to Transvaal, Oranya, and Zulu is also strong. Yes, true. Because you get the gold that's in there. I try to do less of that kind of stuff these days, because I don't want every run to be the same, but it is kind of just the correct choice. Just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna grab... I'm just gonna grab, like, you know, all the coolest stuff. Okay, so let's immediately declare, like, the interests right away. And let's join the British Customs Union. And let's build stuff in Wallonia. Yeah, I know that EU4 can be just as bad, yeah. <laughs> it do be that way in EU4, unfortunately. Oh, and I wanted to do, um, wanted to do... Oh, it's a, a Democrat industrialist, that's interesting. Can I get, like, maybe a better landowner? No, just another traditionalist? Damn. You hate to see it. Oh, well. See if we can get in on the play this time. Okay, our interests are here. The British decided to... Oh, please, please. Quick. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Stop with all these. Uh... Okay, are we good? Are we done? Nope. I just want to look at the notifications. That's all I want to look at. Please. Please, thank you. Okay. British response. What an angrily. Okay, so they should... They should uh... Declare a war then. Keep an eye out for that. Okay. And we'll just make a bunch of iron. I mean, fuck it, dude. Iron is going to be really good, right? Should they go away? Oh, I know, yeah, but I didn't want the British one to go away. I didn't want the, the British one to, to disappear, because I wanted to see that one. Oh yeah, EU4 to victory saves a lot of vacations? I bet they do, yeah. That would make sense. 
Also, timer's not running. What a based Giga Shad. Imagine not running the timer. Let's move it a little bit, because it's a little bit in the way. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Also, the music's way too quiet. Hold on. Okay, that should help. We should probably be improving relations as well, I kind of forgot. Oh, also, um, hold on, I, I keep forgetting stuff. I always forget stuff, dude. This, and then these two. I wish they don't declare a war. Yeah, they'll declare the war eventually, don't worry. Surely Britain will eventually declare a war. No, they're fighting Russia. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course. I think just one railway will do for now. Probably should finish this as well. Yeah, nice. That's good. That should help the industrials. Yeah, now the industrials get a lot more of votes. That's good. Big nice, big nice. Who is this? Charles Ro Rosu? Authoritarian? Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, it's fine. It's just not- we're not gonna have the Opium Wars, that's just not happening today. I respect it, Britain. Is it about or a boot for you, since you're Canadian? Well, uh, okay there, pal. I gotta inform you about, um, some of the accental differences of- of Canadians, eh? Because we're not all, uh, we don't all sound the same, you know? Some of us are from the, uh, West Coast. Um, you know? Uh, some of us are from the West Coast, so we sound a little more American, like kind of how I do. And some of us are from more the East, you know, like over here. And there's the ones that kind of sound like the memes that you're thinking of. So, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, uh, put it past you to not be aware of that, but... Yeah, you know, because I'm from over here, so we sound more like Americans. Not like the Belgians get democracy. Oh, we can go back to autocracy or something. That'd be fine. We can do some some crazy stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're just not going to have the Opium Wars today. Britain decided that it wasn't in their interest. How many pops have I been stealing? Okay, 3,000 English pops. Not bad. 4,000 English pops down here. Oh, autocracy's pretty bad? Yeah, I think, yeah, technocracy's also better. Yeah. But still, autocracy just for the memes could be funny. Isidore Fendius. Who asked? Ooh, a petite bourgeoisie king. Okay. Very based, very cool. So our most powerful party, funnily enough, is the Catholics, which is interesting. Um, I don't really like that, because I don't really like what the Catholics want to do. They're kind of, they're kind of bruh. Oh, wait, it's here. Hold on. Hold on to your Republic or Guaranteed Liberties? Sorry, none of those. It's here. They declared it, so Britain doesn't really want uh, help, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, they don't seem to want any help. Sag. Maybe I should declare it on them. And then I guess if we could have declared on the Chinese, and then we could have brought the British in with uh, war, with war, with war operations or with a uh, treaty port. But it is what it is. Let the British do their thing. Why didn't they want to? Why didn't they want help? Yeah, but make no meaningful difference. Damn. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want. I didn't want to get Beijing anyway. And you'll see they'll make it actually good? Maybe. Maybe. Make more conscript armies? Oh, that is a good point, actually. 
I, I forgot about that. Hold on. What if we just... If I just go here and I just go like... You know, just, just hit everyone like this. Oh, I was too late. Now they would have accepted. No. They would have given me British Kenya. Damn. It is what it is. I hate that that's how it works, though. That you just have to, like, create a bunch of invisible armies so that you can get stuff. Damn. Okay, well, we could have gotten Kenya, which would have been okay, I guess. Wow, yeah. Apparently that just makes you militarily powerful. That's hilarious. Just reload? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's okay. It's, it really doesn't matter that much. It, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to play a relatively normal Belgium game. Not do anything too weird. Loaders. Yeah. If you just have a bunch of conscripts that you don't actually get raised, they'll still be more likely to like you. Or to want you for the uh, for the war. But it's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, it's expensive. It's fine. The iron mines will make it nice and cheap. And we're just gonna, I mean, I guess we'll just do a bunch of iron because it should increase the prosperity here. Once we get the, especially the um, the water tube boiler, because then we can put some a lot of engineering jobs here. Yeah, it's a thousand, that's 250 engineers and a thousand machinists. It's pretty good. And then we can do this as well to reduce the number of laborers. Although not yet. We'll wait until we have fewer pops because we might as well employ people as laborers for now. Damn, Klausy. I respect that. Return Belgium, Luxembourg to Sovereign Luxembourg. Oh, you mean this? Wallonia? True. Yeah, we could go over here. That's true. We could go attack Gaza. We got, you know, not basically nothing. Um, I mean, we, I mean, I guess... Okay. In the interest of, like, playing the game better, I guess it is correct to go after places like this. Because, like, why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't we attack Gaza? Belgian Luxembourg is only a small part of Wallonia. Okay. Rip. Oh, look, they got a little Arc de Triomphe in here. Oh, nice, we got Alemannic coming to Wallonia. Let's go. Let's see how many Alemannic we get here. Also, damn, we already have almost 2% English. Let's go, dude. Another setback? Bro, it's not even a low chance to pass. Come on. You kidding me? Zayuz always attacks Gaza? I guess because it's, it's just the best thing to do, right? Watch out a Chad. Dude, there's always a Chad around. Where am I? Are they going to Luxembourg? Bro, where, where am I? Where are my Alemannic Pops? In a Boer State game? Um, I feel like it'd be very boring, so I probably wouldn't do it. Sure. This was the who who was that? Like I don't know, someone doesn't matter. Where are my Alemannics? Supposed to be getting a mass migration here. Apparently. From bottom. It should be getting here. No, they're just none coming. Okay, the big beard gone. Yeah, I, sh I I trimmed it a little bit. It's still we still got some beard, but I trimmed it. This is a classic Luxembourg tough playthrough. No, the Belgian playthrough. The classic Belgian playthrough. Man, I'm kind of disappointed that that um. Just influence got delayed though. Like it's probably for the best, cause better a late DLC than a bad DLC, but still it's painful. It's like, oh god, why? How many ships do I have? One ship. Okay, we need a few more than that if we're gonna go invade. We can't I mean <laughs> we need a little bit more than that if we want to invade. It's got up to like like maybe like ten. That'd probably be reasonable.
That works. It shouldn't take too long for them to get built, right? They should get, yeah, five weeks each. It's not bad. He redeemed Luxembourg lessons on Duolingo. I don't think they have Luxembourgish lessons on Duolingo, sadly. I think it makes it higher because they have more time to develop it. Um, but you know, um, it also, it tells. Well, here's what here's what it is, right? It actually gives me a little bit of hope, and here's why. Um, generally speaking, like the publisher will push to have the game out as quickly as possible, right? Uh, that's like that's generally how. But why is my whole world pop? My whole computer is like frozen. That's really weird. My computer freezes for several seconds there. That's really scary. Generally speaking, um, like I was saying, generally speaking, the um, the publisher will push to have the game like published as quickly as possible, and they won't want delays, and they don't want this, they don't want that, right? Okay. Um, so if that happens, like that can be scary. But the fact that developers were able to get a delay tells me that. Maybe the publishers are willing to, like, as in, as in Paradox, the publishing company versus Paradox, the developing company, right? Maybe they're willing to, like, ease up on the rampant need for more releases in order to create a better game. Like, maybe. But, I don't know. So, let's go over to Free Churches so that we can have, um, you know, like, so we can have fewer clergy. That'd be kind of nice. Bro, what is up with that? That is scaring me that my computer is, like, breaking up. That was me downloading your RAM? Damn, bro. Did they learn CS2? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to see when it comes out. But we're going to have to wait a long time, though. I, that was a very long delay. I was actually very surprised. I was like, damn. Bro, they're, they're delaying it, like... They're delaying it by, like, a month and a half. It's crazy. A month and a half long delay. Absolutely insane. Did we get any Alemannic yet? Did, that, did we just get lied to? I guess we just got lied to. There's no Alemannics coming. Okay. Rip, I wanted them. Ooh. Radicals? Sure. Is this gonna be the, um... Did we get... Wait, we didn't get the Springtime of the Peoples, did we? Okay. So if the Petit Bourgeoisie become... Become powerful, then we get Springtime of the Peoples? I might be coping, Terry Katina. I would not be surprised if I was coping, to be honest. I'm not going to act like uh, I'm certain that I'm not coping, because it's totally possible I'm coping. Yeah. 23 years now of your dad's trip to the grocery store being delayed? Sag, that really sucks. You hate to see it. I think I would like social mobility as well. There's no reason not to have that. Okay. That's good. Okay, so with that, um, we can make our minds much better. It's good. You know, one of the jobs are also really good for making like, engineers early on is tools, because you can get the steel tools right away, and those make those make engineers. Whatever things can give us engineers, what we want to do basically. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you, Gigantitherium. Gigantitherium. I'm sorry. I think that this game could be so absolutely like insanely amazing if it just had a couple immediately, like you said, large changes. Bro, please, can we just pass this? Can we just pass let's say fair? Is that to be a big deal every time? Come on. Ooh, an opium tax. Yeah, let's go. Let's get maybe like a little bit of bureaucracy. Unless, yeah, we already have that level, so let's get a couple of those. Let's see those dumb arms factories. Laissez faire is better because it lets you make more stuff faster. <laughs> Laissez faire is kind of just like better. As well as making it so your debt doesn't cost as much. When if you go into debt, which usually you do in this game. 
can actually probably lower taxes a little bit more because we don't need it. We want to get as much standard living as we can so we can uh, bring in more migrations. Like if I were to check the mass migration likelihood right now, who's who's winning? Yeah, I'm number four. Okay, we gotta get that higher. Damn America. Pretty high up. We gotta get this higher. How was it average up to 38.5 when the two Oh, with less than four eligible states. Okay, so we need to Oh, that's what it is. We need to get four states. Okay, well we can work on that. I mean we can take some from the Netherlands. Which we probably should do. Austria and Prussia want to help them, though. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. We need more states so we can have a better chance of getting immigrations. Migrating to Belgium? Ugh. Who would go to Belgium? Who would choose to go to Belgium? Answer me this. So let's wait till these get uh, fleets going. They go invade Gaza in game. The African state, please no missile me. Yeah, sorry. I already sent Hamas your coordinates. Sorry, pal. It's over for you. Do you have like alliances? Like he, so he's oh he's got okay no, he's got a treaty with Prussia okay. Well we can wait till the brothers' war breaks out. So, um, once the Austrians and Prussians go to war, I think that's when we attack the Netherlands. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. And while we're waiting, I think we can take Gaza because, yeah, I think I think we'll be all right. Because even with uh, even though we only have four ships, I'm pretty sure that we just win off of like having better units. We don't need conscripts. We're definitely not gonna conscript for this. Make a landing army? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I'm gonna split this up into a different section. This will shall be the landing army. Let's go and uh, name it actually. So why didn't that hold on? Did that not work? It didn't work. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. Well I didn't hit the, the button, that's why I didn't do this. That's the problem. Oh my god, and then I gotta do it again. This UI is so bad. I, I really hope that it changes. One day. It's so awful. Let's name this to the... The Marines. This one with blue. There you go. Cool. What's the speed? We're not really speed running. We're just, the timer's there for the extra pogs per minute. But we're kind of just playing the game for fun right now. I'm protectorate. Yes. Can we rename it? Yeah, yeah, I renamed it. It's all good. I know how to do that. Again, just more iron. I mean, iron is so profitable, and we have a we have a production method that gives us um, engineers with it. So, lots of that. The plus fifteen is going to mean we need thirty more infrastructure. So, I think we'll get one more railway to make sure we have enough space for that. We're gonna pass laissez faire this time. Let's see, chat. Oh, this is the wrong army. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, the one one ship off is not a big not a big deal. In fact, they might even get the sixth ship by the time uh, by the time this the army gets there. They're recruiting slowly but surely. Do you just be auto expanding? I actually don't. I don't. Oh, nice Armenians. I actually don't yet use auto expand, and I probably should. Uh, for I right for now, I still manually build everything, but I'm trying to learn more from generalist uh, stuff. I've been watching more of his videos, more like more like um, intentionally is the word I would use for it. Where like I sit down and I try to study exactly what he does. I've been implementing the strat of never having zero infamy. So it's like okay, always like if you have no infamy, then you should be doing something. You know what I mean? Like you should try to accomplish something. And also the strat of just like entirely focusing on migration and stuff, because getting pops is really good. Focusing on that kind of stuff, but I haven't, I've been trying to like learn a little more intentionally from his videos, because I want to get better at this game for the new DLC. 
I guess in a way the DLC being delayed means now I have more time to like learn the game better, I guess. Yeah, they want to join the radicals. I guess let them. Let them cook. Sure. Udo equals Belgian confirmed. True. Send 10 times to the colonies for some undercover shit. Oh no. Why are we not invading here? Are we, not, are we lacking organization? Yeah, we need organization. Okay, that's coming. Because we split the army so recently, the organization wasn't there. But it's okay. It's almost there. This war being delayed isn't really a big deal anyway. Looks like we'll have a... We might even go uh, Republic because we can... I mean, because we're going to have radicals in power, right? So why not? Oh, there's a spider on the couch. That's fine. I get scared when spiders are near me, but as long as they're on their own property, I don't really care. There's a spider, like, across from me. It doesn't seem to be coming at me, so we're chill. But I'm keeping my eyes on it, because if it approaches me, I'm going to fucking murder it. Yeah, keep your distance, pal. I can't stop looking at it. I'm scared it's going to, like, jump at me, even though it's a tiny spider. Sure. I like spiders, they eat flies. Oh, I recognize their usefulness, and that's why I don't, like, actively seek to kill them. But, um, if they do get close to me, I usually kill them out of fear. So, yeah. The fuck, bro? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I get scared of spiders, okay? They scare me. I'm a little bitch, alright? It is what it is. It's not a brown recluse? No, it's not. They're much bigger. This is, like, a tiny spider. I don't even know what it is, but it's too small to be one of, like, the scary ones. It's not a wolf spider or anything either. It's none of the like scary ones. It's like one of the. It's like a relatively small one. It's medium sized, I would say. Bro, is this ever gonna pass? And age you get your spiders are probably scarier. This one isn't very scary. I'm just a little bitch. I feel he's coming. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. We do have scary spiders over here sometimes, but not that often. All right, so now we can build the port here first of all, and then we can. Um, we should probably. Um, we need to suppress or whatever over there. Not this one. Uh, suppression. Where is it? Uh, this one. Violent suppression. Yeah, if we get the, we can get the golden transvaal. Yeah, but we need to build. The, we're gonna build the port first. Then they're past 150%, true. Oh no, and now this is here. Surely. We could just fight the revolution, but I'm good. There's the new elections. This is quite a legitimate government. Feels good. So we could go Republic, and any revolution that happens, like Britain will just come and save us, probably, so it's pretty chill. But still. What is my government? It's um industrialists plus radicals. Radical, dude. You guys remember when Radicals let you get multiculturalism back in the old days? That was an era, bro. That was a real era. Let's just destroy the, uh, the African army. So it'll join up with the regular Belgian army. Sounds good. Station them in Africa so they're ready to go. Transvaal probably can just defeat. I think they only have, do they have irregulars or do they have line infantry? Yeah, they have uh, under understaffed line infantry. Okay, I think we'll be fine. You want President's Republic? Let's give them Parliamentary Republic. Sure, let's become a Republic. That sounds good. We'll become a Republic, why not? If we can make them insurrectionary for a second, we can get that. We can get the springtime of the peoples, but but it's fine. Look at this. Egypt losing to Turkey. They're gonna take a bunch of stuff. Funny that they're taking the Sinai Treaty Port when they could just take Sinai, but whatever you say. 
Please pass this. Oh my god, why? Come on, bro. It was like 50% chance and it just got worse and worse. Damn it. Healthy man of Europe up in here. Yeah, look at them go. I'd rather live in the Transvaal or the Vreistadt than Belgium. Based, honestly. Triple Ottomans? Yeah, this is the Triple Italian. Triple Italian invading here. Based. Nice. Might as well use that. Um, what else do we want? I mean, I guess we want things like mechanical workshops to make the sewing machines better for textiles. Because, yeah, whatever will give us better jobs, right? See, again, more, we want more engineers, so that sounds good. We're almost to major power. We're getting there. Is there a port ready yet? A few weeks till the port's ready. Okay. Once this port's ready, in fact, let's declare the war now, because the port's gonna, gonna be ready. There we go, nice. You are, where are you, in South Africa? That's good. Let's get you a general offensive planner. Perfect. Pretty sure these four can just win. Like, I think they can just win on their own. Problem is they got an organization, but that's okay, that'll get fixed soon. Um, let's put them on defense until they get organized, and then maybe we can send them some extra units. You know, let's send them some dudes. Um, send them just all the skirmish, you know, all the skirmish infantry. God, I hate that I have to do it like this every time. There go. Alright, and then they're gonna get over there. The conscripts, artillery, or lancers. I guess, yeah, we could, yeah, we can just do that, I guess. Why don't we do that? Okay, sure. Give them some conscripts. Give them like five. We'll give them three artillery and then like one cavalry. Sure. That works too. And these guys will come over and join them. They're gonna be okay, I think. They're gonna be okay. Then once they get their organization and stuff, they'll be alright. Nice. Migration attraction. We have become a major power now, which is awesome, I guess. We have more interests as well. I think let's maybe try to move into Persia, Arabia, Zanj, and we could also try like Central America. Sounds good. The other ones that are earlier? No, it's fine. They can stay. They're chill. They can stick around. So one thing I understand, by the way, I noticed this when I was playing a run offline, but I was just having some fun offline in the game. What is it with like... What is it with, like, it taking 63 days to move from this C node in here? What is with this? How does this work? They explain this one to me, you know? Why is it taking two months to move in here? No, they're beating me. Wow, we actually failed to pass this. I spent five years trying to pass this. Trade wins? I guess so. Alright, well I guess we go for Parliamentary Republic. If they rebel, they rebel. No free trade, Sag. Honestly, um, if they want to rebel, the British will probably just come save us, so I think we'll just let them chill. There we go, we should be good now. We just defend for a little while and then we'll we'll push back once we have more um once we have more organization. We actually want I mean we could I mean the only reason why I don't mind is because we're currently at war, so it might be a bad idea. Maybe we don't quite do this yet. Sure, don't, let's not do this yet. We'll do it later. Instead, let's pass something else, maybe like Mm. More voting. Yeah, let's do more voting. It's always the balloons. Yeah, I know, right? They do be like that. Alright, get your organization up and then we'll go fight. A new company. Um, I think we go with, yeah, just give me the uh, the metal stuff. That sounds good. 
Metals are always... It's always good to get the metal ones so you can get more iron out of the world. Great. Once we get into trans of all... Okay, more, more migrations. Did it lie this time, though? Are we actually getting them? I think we are going to get them, because we did actually get the Armenians. So that's good. 6% English. Let's go, dude. Cool. Good iron as well? Yes, it does. We already have that one, though. This one. We've got this one. So we're going to get the metal conglomerate. So this is going to give us a ton of throughput on steel mills. We're going to be crazy. The Ericsson company is still broken. I don't even know what it is. Pump up that SOL. We're going for it. Okay, now you can attack. Because now you got organization. And we should be good to go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we're good. Thirty-three troops here. What the fuck? Ow! Is that? Wait, are they getting conscripted? Wait a minute. Did I raise these conscripts with the other ones? What? Weird. Oh, nice. This is good. Hey, Pog. Um, yeah. I'll just take it. Oh yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Better voting. Let's go. We can get schools, public schools, or private schools. Public schools are better, but private schools don't assimilate as much. So one thing that's funny about this, right? Okay, so for me, like, obviously, public schools are kind of just better than private schools, unless you're, like, giga-rich, right? Okay? So, like, you know, fair enough. But they cause assimilation, and I don't want to assimilate pops, because it feels more fun to have random minorities. So let's just click the uh, private schools. I think that'll be more more poggers. Oh, is all of them get raised? I see. Okay, I didn't know that it raised every conscript. I never clicked the conscript button. I had no idea about that. But this guy isn't even mobilized. How can he be raising his conscripts? Insane. What's the throughput on our steel mills, by the way? 28%. Damn. Love to see that. Nice. Gain a setback, gain an I guess we'll take the anatomy time. That's alright. It's fine. It is what it is. We've got no manpower left, so rip. They just get murdered. When's our next election? Two years, okay. Looks like the army also wants to join the um, wants to join the radical party based on what we saw there. So, cool. Oh, and you guys can actually just stay here. Stay stay in Africa. You're gonna be our African expeditionary force, we should say. No, 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 no. Stop, stop going back. Why do they always want to go back home? Don't go back home. I want you to stay. I want you to stay here. Here we go. Who's this? Make the supporters seem more popular. Make a nether radical or make a reformer. No, okay, what does make this guy more popular? The red, green, and white bar under the new policies signify the acceptance or opposition to the different parties in parliament. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think you're referring to like, the, like these, right? Or this, this, or this one? Like, yeah, this is the those bars represent like how willing they are. Basically, it gives you an idea of how much acceptance there is for the law. 
So there's 18% clout wants it, 7% doesn't want it. And then um, that's for religious schools, I think, right? What about for... It was for private schools that has yeah, this one over here. The green and the red bars. The thing is that it's not... It's not... Um, yeah, we do want to incorporate this. We don't want to incorporate Lance Omar case, though, because it doesn't have a... You don't have like, a good one for it. But the problem is that the actual... Uh, the, this this Ratnus movement to preserve religious schools is hugely increasing our stall chance. See this? 54%. So that's why it doesn't really matter that much. Either way, Oranje is next. Five years, yeah, we'll be five years there, but we share a uh, heritage with the Boers, so it's not bad. Yeah, we'll incorporate both, and that way we'll get four states, and then we can get better uh, migration attraction for mass migrations. Also, we're getting Albanians now from the Ottoman Empire. We got some Australians, too. Look at that. Isn't that great? The English are really moving in. Use it as a subject. Oh, that's an interesting idea. We can make their protectorate. They do have a pretty good army, and they don't really have much that I want. I mean, they have coal and iron, or they're just coal, but we have so much coal here that I wouldn't worry. Yes, gold is going to be nice. How's our tax capacity? Yeah, it's, it's still, still need more. Once this gets built, um, I think we probably should just raise taxes, to be honest. I think we just gotta put some taxes up. Oranya is is independent. They are independent, yes. Sure, just pass another another thing. Sounds good. I'm gonna try to get Parliamentary Republic for the Petit Bourgeoisie, but it might be very difficult because there's gonna be a lot of revolutions for it. To be fair though, if we get them to be insurrectionary, that could actually be a, a good thing. So it'll start. It'll kick off the um, kick off the um, springtime of the peoples. Won't show off to be legendary, indeed. Borneo, yeah, Borneo is uh, Borneo also is good because they have um, they have rubber and they have um, they have sulfur. They can also be good for that. But I think we kind of have most of what we need here in Wallonia. We could even go for like like here in West Africa and try to get some of these for dyes and all that. But I think we have dyes here, right? Not to mention we're in the British market, so we have like Indian. We have all the the stuff in India, like silk and dyes and all that. So nothing to worry about there. We could also grab the gold off of uh, Mexico. So if we were to go invade like California and stuff, we could grab the gold here. And to be honest with you, it's not too bad of an idea. The only problem is that America might not like it. But I think America wouldn't try to attack us because we're with Britain. We should be okay. It does have that mildly assaulted. It has the infamy system. So the higher, if your infamy is really high, then countries will try to oppose you all the time and it gets pretty sad. Definitely, uh, definitely bad, Fred. If there's a, if if the if the now delayed, Vic three uh, DLC ends up being also bad, it's gonna be like really really terrible for the uh, for the game, honestly. So damn, we lost that battle, and we lost all our occupation from that, which is unfortunate. Bro has fifty infrastructure here. What are you doing? It's the gold fields. Oh, 16 gold fields. My goodness, chill, my dude. I need to get that gold, man. Also, I want to get some water, so I'll be back in just a second. Hopefully nothing happens while I'm gone. There be. Oh, the mouse went to the corner. Hate to see it. No, they got no manpower. We have no manpower either, though. Damn, I got, like, no manpower. They got no manpower. It's okay, guys. No matter what happens, EU5 is going to be good, right? Right? Am I right? Can I get an amen? Surely. <laughs> Surely, yeah.
You have more interests? We don't. Five of five. So please stay. Actually, you can move away from me. Now you can leave because we're not going to do any more down in South Africa. Best I can give you is these nuts. Okay, I'll take it. Good enough. Right there we got that. So now we, if we incorporate this... Um, also, we're making a shit ton of gold money now, which is great. That's a shit ton of gold. 6k. Breistadt. Hell yeah. Duets. Okay. Yeah, I think just these iron mines are gonna just kill it for us, dude. Because iron's just so good. And the throughput is gonna be crazy, because of the company. We'll deplete it already, bro, we just got here. It's fine, still. It's good money. Okay. Giga Chad only zone? That's right, Valley Rat. Giga Chad's only. Sorry, pal. We can lower taxes even more, but I think I want to keep taxes a little bit high. Um, just so that we can keep our budget afloat. We probably should use this gold to make more construction. So I'm going to do that. Do a little more construction. So we have gold. Okay, wait, this happened. Okay. So the Brothers War is happening now, which means I think I have an opportunity to attack the Netherlands. So let's do it. Yeah, see, no one wants to get involved now because they're busy. I'm pretty sure we can 1v1 the Dutch with our conscripts. So let's do that. Get deleted. Give me all the conscripts. Build the gold mines, we will, but we're gonna do it later once the uh, once they have a little bit less turmoil. Because right now the that massive turmoil is gonna just make it really hard to do anything. Um, I think we do just call France in what they want, or maybe Russia. We call either one of these in just to check what they want, and we'll, we'll add things like uh, war operations so that they're less likely to want to back down. So we do like Dutch war operations, make it primary. Sounds good. Um, we can do like like that should keep them from wanting to back down, and then I also want to take Luxembourg. And I think that's all we do. Let's keep it not too dangerous. Russia no longer wants to join, but what about what about France? What do they want though? That's the more important question. War goal, treaty port. I will give France a treaty port. That's reasonable. We get primaries waste of points, but they might back down if we if we make primary right. Oh, now now Austria joins. Interesting. If we make uh more stuff primary, they're less likely to back down. That's why we make it primary. We don't want them to back down, right? I believe that with France's help, this will be an easy clap, so I'm not worried. Especially because they're going to... Austria's going to be busy fighting Prussia, so it's not like they're going to really get involved in this war in any meaningful way. What do the Austrians want? Let's see. They might just be protecting who they see as, like, an ally. The, it looks like the Austrians want... They didn't actually take a war goal, they just joined... They just joined without a war goal. Based. Also, we got our private schools, which is cool. Um, I think we can go for... I guess we go for Parliamentary Republic. Which maybe will work. Because we did, we did promise it to the Petit Bourgeoisie. So it looks like they're going to revolution again. Yeah. Okay, well, that ain't happening then. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, uh, we're going to have to probably fail that, that ask. We'll go for laissez-faire instead. This is fine. They're not, they're not revolutionary enough to matter. And I think we just win uh, against the uh, Netherlands. I don't think we're going to have any problems. Because Austrians are involved, yes, but they're really not involved because they're... A little bit, they're just, they're just a little bit busy. Let's just put it that way. They're a little bit busy against Prussia. Which I imagine is more of a priority for them. And we have France on our side, so, yeah. Let's 
Svidi Austria intensifies base. What does that mean? Is that sort of it feels like it's like Slovenian or something? Make this go a little faster. I mean, we could send our navy up here to do a naval invasion. Sure. Why not, right? No reason not to, because it might make things go a little faster. The French Navy is winning. Giga Chad. Oh, nice. This is good. Love that. What is happening? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're just invading the Netherlands. We need all five of these to form this, eh? Do we need nationalism or do we need pan nationalism for this? I don't think we even. This name invasion is pretty unneeded because it looks like we're just going to win anyway. Yeah, we just, we just win. So they, yeah, they, the naval invasion was completely pointless. It's fine, though. Should surrender pretty soon. Won't take long. We're giving the French treaty port, and that's, you know, unfortunate, because like, we don't want to strengthen the French too much, but also, who cares, honestly? He's going to want to wait a little bit longer until he surrenders. And I guess France also landed in Austria. I mean, fuck, dude. I guess... I mean, sure. I, I, don't, I don't know why we're bothering to go and fight the Austrians when we already have everything we need and there's no war goals, but the French are just... They just really want to fight. What's up, Eduardo? How you doing? What's up, Tarek? Doing well, doing well. Playing as Belgium. Truly cursed nation. What's more iconic about French fucking the Austrians? True. Hey, United Netherlands? I'm gonna try. I mean, we're, we can't do it yet, but we have to conquer more land. But yeah, we probably will end up doing that. Nice. There we go. New Colossus incoming. Let's go. We just gotta get. Uh, we just gotta get multiculturalism. Surely, won't be that hard, right? Is there are a bunch of construction sectors in here. It's two. Okay. Oh, they do wood though. Ew. Iron frame. Cool, bro. Oh my God. The 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 agrarians are gonna win. Ain't no way. Ooh, reformer. Take that. Did you know what Monarchist USA? Yes, I did. I, in fact, in fact, okay, I just to show the the stupidity of your question, sir. I am going to now load a save file real quick. Just real quick. Just to show you that I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about, Eduardo. Hello there. Welcome, welcome to the United States, the United Sovereign Archduchy, ruled by uh, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, look, I've been cooking. Okay, I have been cooking. Okay, I am aware of monarchist America. Ads after first ads. Enjoy Valley Rat. Enjoy the ads. I indeed have been cooking. Okay. Yeah, we we, we did in fact make N Napoleon the king of America. Okay. And it is also a lot of fun to do. Back to the other game. <laughs> may or may not make a YouTube video of that. We'll see. They did record it, so... What can we get from this? Let's see, what can we get from this? And Joshua Norton in power? Yeah, but screw that guy. Looks like Britain doesn't want to give anything. It's fine. Gordon Ramsay shit? You know it, bro. Sure. 
Yeah, I'm real folk are gonna dominate. Yeah, we're good with Joshua Norton though, dude. He's lame, okay? He's just a Californian. Who cares about him? Then more bridges is 300 euros, really? Is that all they're giving? Did I take like their entire- I guess I must have taken their entire GDP by taking Holland Day. Eh? Okay. That sucks. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. Why oh, is text on screen? I can't see the chat. Uh because the oh, because YouTube chat. There's uh there's 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 Switch chat and there's YouTube chat, that's why. Um okay, so it looks like our entire government has been like kind of weirded out. So we can't get laissez faire now, sadly. Is there maybe, like, something we can bring in? Oh, okay, a radical for the rural folk. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, let's bring, let's bring Mathieu de la Drôme in. We'll put him in charge of the, of the rural folk. Cool. Now, can I become a republic, maybe? Yes, probably. Just need. I want to become parliamentary, though. 15 months for that. I am on YouTube. Oh, Rise Radical. Let's go. This is what we want. We want the Radical Movement. Matthew and Maximilian Pearson. Ooh, nice. See, so yeah, we're going to support the Radical Movement. Uh, so to end this, we just need to basically not become a, not be a monarchy. Okay, that's pretty easy. I just don't really like presidential republics. I don't like that the president stays on for so long. I'd rather wait for this. So the nice thing about this, so here's the real reason why we actually want Springtime of the Peoples. Um, Springtime of the Peoples causes turmoil to happen across Europe. Because we're going to spread Springtime of the Peoples to people around Europe. The more turmoil in Europe there is, the more migrants we get. So we're going to just try to cause as much turmoil as possible. Um, hopefully this turmoil, we can get rid of this you know, sooner rather than later. But yeah, we basically just want to cause turmoil uh, everywhere so that we can get more migrants. That's why we actually care about this. For right of assembly, we already have it. Get right of assembly. We can even go for protected speech, to be honest, but we don't have the human rights yet. Guaranteed liberties. Ooh, that's a good. That's actually a very good idea. Hold on, I like that a lot. Very good idea. I like that. Get more. Uh, get more. Uh, get. We can get rid of our turmoil faster that way. Would you like to know what that is? It's just like, I don't know, people can say whatever they want, and then you get uh, more technology spread, which is cool. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the monarchy. Oh, wait, that's a thing, IRL? Well, I mean, it's basically like it's basically like American-style freedom of speech or whatever. Got a max guarantee li liberties to max? Yeah, for sure. Because it's going to give us, um, what is, what is, what is it, it gives like a, re a reduction in, so it gives like plus radicals starting to increase, minus radicals starting to decrease. It's going to be super good. Sorry, plus loyalists, not plus radicals, but point is this is really, really good to have. Um, so we're going to definitely max it out. We can become super free. The most free Belgians that ever existed. Sounds good. He's memeing? Surely he's memeing. Unless he's not memeing. Opium. Yeah, it's unfortunate about the all the uh, set over here. They should eventually get less less tumultuous over here, but we'll see. Okay, mechanized workshops are getting that. Real shame to sell that opium to our colonies. Yeah, real shame. Could have kept it for ourselves, but it is what it is. What over in society is anything I'd want? Maybe like the modern sewage would be nice. A little bit of quinine that could be good. That. Okay. What's up, bros, bros? We still have six months to pass Parliamentary Republic. We could, in theory, do it, but unlikely. 
Get to into six. Yeah, we're moving fast. I play the game pretty fast usually, so it is what it is. Um, sure. Actually, I don't really care much for the trade unions because they're so irrelevant to my politics right now. But in a way, I think I'd actually would rather have the character up here because then we get this guy who's going to help us, going to give us even more support for republics and all that. Well, they want a presidential republic, but it is what it is. Is it game time? Yeah, I guess. Oh, apparently he just let him go. Okay, sure. Maybe no one wants him. I mean, it's good because, um... Uh, it's good because... We, um... We can make the trade unions stronger. Any plans uniting the lowlands at all? Yeah, we're gonna unite the lowlands, probably. We're probably- we're gonna conquer all this. We're probably gonna protectorate, uh, Netherlands at some point to get access- to get control of, um... Get control of uh, the East Indies. See what we do, but we have to wait for our truce, obviously. The Gelders LARPing is a full kingdom. Look at it go, dude. I love Gallery. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it does kind of suck that I gave this to France, though, because we're gonna have to get that back later. To be fair, if we could become friends with France. It's entirely possible that we could um, eventually ask them for it, because they might one day be willing to give it up, right? Echoes Revolution, perfect. Netherlands Echo Revolution. So we're going to spread the revolution everywhere that we can in order to create turmoil. Hopefully we give it to France. You see, France already has turmoil. We're hoping they'll get even more, and then they'll start emigrating over here. Just if, like They'll do like a mass migration over to my land. We'll see though, right? It's, about, it's kind of luck-based whether or not we get them. Dutch unrest in Holland. Yeah. Oh, this is- oh no, that's- that's actually unrelated. That's a different thing. A radical for the intelligentsia? Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, it's calling a spot France more than trade states. That's kind of- that's what I was thinking of probably doing, yeah. Let's get actually loyalists in Wallonia. I'd like that. Because, you know, loyalists are nice. Yeah, I think if we can get an obligation, we can probably trade states pretty easily. Like, if I were to ask for um, French Low Countries, is that what I'm... And if I were to give them, like, Holland, they probably would say... They still would say no. Wallonia, though? Really, they wouldn't even want Wallonia. Oh, because French Low Countries is this, right? Yeah, that's not the same thing. We would want Arlingen. Yeah, so this... They probably would want to do this, right? Yeah. Uh, no, actually. Okay, wow. They really don't want to go Harlingen. They don't want Wallonia. Okay. Based. South German mass migration, by the way. Where are they at? There they are. South Germans coming in. Here comes Guaranteed Liberties, boys. A French colony, yeah, that'd be a good idea. We can break split a colony with the French and then trade with them. Let's just max this out right away, and then let's work on Parliamentary Republic. We need eight days. Okay, we're almost there. We did fail the petition, it looks like, unfortunately, but it is what it is. They're gonna be happy with us anyway because we're doing all the stuff that they want. All right, Parliamentary Republic. Um, the landowners in the Catholic Church uh, rebel against it, but I'm pretty sure they're way too weak to even matter at this point. To be honest, I don't think they're even gonna matter. Stamp out monarchism. Cool. Definitely do this. Yeah, they they barely have any. They're not even. They're not even gonna be able to rebel. It'll be fine. All right, iron's finally kind of running its price out. So let's get some coal going now. It's good. We're just going to be like a huge mining country. That's what we're going to do. Whatever is profitable, we make. Damn, though. This, these Iron Man are still profitable, though, eh? I mean, I should probably... We can probably just keep going. Like, we can generally just keep building these forever. Because they're so profitable. Radical character. I mean, I'll just take a new, another radical. Yeah. All these, all these free, um, these free dudes is great. 
I think there will be quite the uproar, Joe. I think we will be very upset if even after the delay, the new DLC is going to still be bad. But we'll see, right? We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure what exactly will will come of it. Time will only tell. I'm hoping it'll. I'm hoping it'll be good. I'm really hoping it will be. Never know. Sucks that this this high term all screwing over our mass migration chance. Hybrid cultures? I don't know if hybrid cultures would make a lot of sense for this game, to be honest. Not sure. My nose getting itchy. Ugh. It's an interesting idea. I remember I thought of it a while ago, where I was like, "Yeah, what if like you could have like French people moving to Sicily and they make a hybrid? They make a hybrid, but it feels like the game is a little bit too short term to have like real hybrid cultures. I don't know. It'd be kind of weird. We need more. We need more tax capacity here again. Sure, give me some railways and stuff. Sure. With the add homelands, I would like that. Yeah, I think it would be really cool to create homelands personally. That would be nice. I agree with that. Number ten GDP, by the way, we're almost up to Prussia's GDP. Love to see that. Another revolutionary for our time. Is, are the Dutchers not already radical? No, they're not actually. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, we'll take a radical then. When's the next election? Because we're going to have an insane election. Because everyone is going to join the Radical Party. Two years to the next election. Damn. Okay. It's going to be a little while. That's fine. Steam engine time. We really want the new Colossus, but obviously we're going to multiculturalism for that, so... Yep. Where that equality, fraternity, and liberty? Actually, where is it, bro? It's coming. We'll get there. Sounds good. Another revolutionary. Fuck it, yeah. More radicals. Everyone's a radical. Why does French language exist? It really shouldn't. You know, let's be honest here, right? It really shouldn't. The duel. Who was fighting? I don't want Mathieu de la to die, though. But he won't die. Fuck. <laughs> he died. It's okay. Uh, that's gonna lower... Our chance is quite a lot of passing this, but I think it'll be okay. Now we just—I mean, we'll probably just get an event to give a radical to the rural folk anyway. If we're being honest here, sure. Let's see, here it comes for the yeah. Look at that, radicals back, baby. <laughs> Never mind, we're back. It's, uh, now it's Matthias van Dorp. Also, my hair is really annoying me, so I'm gonna move it out of my face. This probably looks really funny right now. That doesn't look that weird, actually. It's alright. Pull it into a ponytail? Nah. I'm good. Can I have your hair? No, you can't. Sorry. My hair. All mine, little bro. I find weird the French are Germanic, your French is a Romance language. It's because of the just immense superiority of the Latinate languages. Sorry, pal. It is what it is. I'm 
Am I the number one? I'm probably the number one producer of iron in the world, am I? But I might be getting up there. Number two producer. I guess that's the British market, though, not just me. Rip. Now they lose rat. Now they lose radicalism. Another revolutionary? Sure. Another radical. More. Oh, so those separatists? That's unfortunate. Gonna be in my gold, I think. Yeah, it's oh god, it's all this. It should reduce the radicals at least, though, so that's good. It's gonna suck because it'll it'll end. I was so close to incorporating, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We almost got there. We'll have to restart our incorporation. Belgica must live on King Leopold stuff. This, I mean, I guess it is, but also it's fine. <laughs> is it always going to incorporate colonies? I wouldn't say it always is, but I'm incorporating this one because it's a Boer. It's like a Boer colony, so it actually has our culture and everything. Not our culture, but a culture that we accept. Okay, they only, okay, thank God. They only took the one down there. That's good. So it's not that bad then. Get down there, boys. 140 days to get there. Wow. That's unfortunate. That's also most of our income, because that was a lot of gold there. Sag. Guilty! I think we can just do this, though. We don't need to... We don't need to go extreme. That's why you should protect your Zulu. I guess because then we could have used them to... Back from here, but it is what it is. No, thankfully this one didn't revolt. This one revolting isn't so bad. Because at least we can incorporate this. Yeah, that's incorporated now, so that's nice. Yeah, I thought this one revolted as well, but I think it was that I had a chance to revolt and it didn't, which was good. And now it's going to take like two months to get through here, I guess. Oh, so I got South Italians coming to Flanders. Cool. Got some Sicilians moving in and some Portuguese. Uh, Lorenzo Marques, you're talking about, yeah. If this one revolts, then you, you, get, you get pretty screwed, but... Yeah. Lorenzo Mar Marques. I knew a guy in university who was from Portugal whose name was Marques. Like, they expelled this way. This one. I was like, nice. Cool name. It's a cool name, if you ask me. I don't know why it takes two months to move down here, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Is he just not attacking? Looks like he's just defending. That's really nice of him to do that. Oh, you have no... Hi. Now I win. When we complete this, I forget um, what we get for the Revolution Victorious. I forget what it actually does, but we'll see. We're going to have a crazy election. It's going to be insane. Here it comes, maybe we win here. Five days. Nope. Close though. Oh my god. 60%! <laughs> Jeez, why is it so high? This is a crazy advantage. Why so, why would you pick any of these that aren't just this one? What's the point? So this event is an example of like one of the things that Victoria 3 is so confusing about. Is like, what is... What is, like, the point of any of these? I get these two, where it's like, okay, do you want to get a chance at the higher percent? Or do you want to just get the guaranteed percent? Then there's just this. That's just like, okay, you know. Just, sure, take 60%. What's the point? 
Why would you ever not take that one? Unless you, unless I guess you didn't want to pass it, but you were passing it for no reason. I don't understand. Okay, bye bye. Now let's check our parties. By the way, make sure everyone's in the correct parties. Looks like okay, we actually have a party split. Okay, uh, because they're all radicals, they all none of they didn't actually form one big coalition, which is really funny. But maybe it's to nerf the AI. Maybe surely the AI needs a nerf. Yeah, surely. Oh, let's go back to incorporating this. By the way, I really think you should keep your incorporation progress, but you know that's just me. You know, I'm just a weirdo, I guess. We should have no more. Yeah, now we don't have any radicals here. Let's actually um, build railways here. And then we can get the gold mines built as well. Welcome delay. Sorry, I missed our stream. Oh, no problem. The, the delay is unfortunate, but I guess it's better than having a bad DLC. But also, there's no guarantee that... Um, there's no guarantee that... Um, that, like, uh, you know, there will be a better DLC for it, right? So... Yeah, it is it is what it is. Hopefully the DLC will be better because of the delay. That's that's all I'm hoping for. That's, all, that's the best you can hope for, right? Why is Tripolitania free? Because the Ottoman Empire stopped being... Uh... Oh, they still are still recognized. Never mind. I don't know why then. I guess they must have broken free naturally. Yeah, I guess they must have... There must have been a war goal the Ottomans got enforced on. Looks like Egypt took back Suez. So then Egypt must have beaten them in a war. And then demanded that they go free. Here's the bug free. Yeah, there's now much higher expectations at the cost of, you know, or sorry, at the benefit of, you know, being able to delay, I guess. So it is what it is. Don't leave a state hanging, bro. Okay, we're incorporating it. Getting there. Alright, we have a 100% chance to pass this, so surely it will pass, right? <laughs> I will not fail the 100% chance, will I? There's no way. United States of Belgium? Let's see. Here it comes. There it is. United Belgian States. Poggers. With uh, Chancellor Matthias van Dorp in charge. Do we get our revolutionary victory? Do we have to have no... Yeah, there's Revolution Victorious. Do we get 25 legitimacy just for good? Or we get more... Everyone becomes more loyal? I will absolutely take the more loyal pops everywhere. Boom. That's nice. Here comes an election. Okay, great. So there, we already have a maxed out thing here. Okay, so what else can we even pass? Everyone's a radical, so everyone is just like... Every, everyone is, is just like totally all about that freedom and shit. But I think we kind of already have all the freedom that we want, eh? I guess we can get protectionism, but I don't really want protectionism. Get police, but don't really want to bother with police. What else do the uh, radicals even want? They would want... Yeah, we kind of already gave them everything that they want, so I guess we're done with radicals now. So that's cool. Is there anyone else that we could invite? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, first of all, we have to fix our, our problems with uh, authority. So let's try to do that. Let's maybe just get rid of the social mobility. And maybe like this. We don't really need that there. It's fine. That yeah, looks good. And we have a bunch of migrants coming here as well. That's awesome. Okay. Feels pretty valuable now, eh? Alright, alright, alright. United Belgian States. You love to see it. We should invade the Congo for the memes, shouldn't we? It's kind of like, that's our territory, you know? The Congo. This belongs to my country. Oh, 
Almost have next level of home affairs, which is good. Probably want more education as well, so let's do that. I want to check actually, can I get the let me get the industrialists in power? Um, let's get them in here. And then can I try to go to Leslie Fair again? Can I try that? It looks like it'll piss off a lot of people, but I think we gotta go for it, eh? All of Greater Madagascar? Ain't no way. That should be an easy clap. Okay. Oh, we got another fleet. Probably from Holland. Yeah, that would make sense. Get you here. And let's raise this army. We'll start sending them down to South Africa, but we're gonna, you know, turn them back around for the, for the naval invasion. I think it's 1789. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. Good to know. We almost have this maxed up. We have to get tech for that, I think. So yeah, get there. Russia rivaled me. Okay, big boy. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Number one producer of iron. Let's go. Things we don't actually want you to reach Africa, so we're gonna continue to send you back and forth over and over again so that you kind of stay in the area. This is kind of like weird, uh, don't worry about it, but it just works. This way they don't actually, because we don't actually want them to go all the way there, we just want them to stay right here, basically. Patrol duty, exactly, exactly. So stupid. If only I could just station them on the boats. Wouldn't that make sense, right? Wouldn't that just be so reasonable? It is what it is. Okay, here comes the war. There we go. Now we can actually send them on a naval invasion. There we go. That way they're nice and close by. So they can get there nice and fast, of having to take this two-month trip from here to here. What we're gonna do for reclaiming, like the like, we're gonna, we're gonna make the Netherlands a protectorate, and that way we can get control over all of their colonies here with relative ease. It's gonna be really nice. Hopefully, they haven't been protectorated by someone else, so they're just still independent. So that's good. Our truce is until looks like fourteen more weeks. So probably after this war, we'll go for it. We'll make them protectorate. Then we're good to go. Oh my god, the profits here, dude. The lavish capitalists controlling these iron mines. Mine. I'm gonna disband this army. Okay, we won. There we go. Easy clap. Conco is mine. South Africa and Taiwan. Oh, I mean Formosa. No, but yeah, sure we could do that. We could go for Cape Colony. The problem is that we're in the British market. Like we we made a customs union with them, so I don't think we're gonna betray the Brits anytime soon. Because right now we're just sucking population from them. If you look over here, we see we have a bunch of English pops. We're taking away. We took a quarter million Englishmen from them. So we're trying to just grab more off them. Protector it maybe. Um, I think we'll be able to, yeah. In, in this, I don't think so, but I don't think we will. Also, we're already in a war, so we can't yo yo sway. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off because they hate me. Yeah, I can't piece them out anyway. I, I have to. It's too late. Can't yo yo sway it. What happened to the Dutch? I conquered them. And then I gave the French a treaty port in return for their help. Okay, our, all, I think our truces are up. Protectorate. Only 12 infamy. That's crazy. 12 infamy for this. Okay. Works for me. Is all the conscripts, no matter how expensive it is. Ensure that we win. 
wait for the war to end. I mean, it's it's too late now because it's the the war already went through. It was taking too long. Does the revolt will not be your protectorate? But the revolt's not gonna win, is it? Ain't no way. If they win, I don't think they're gonna win though. The East Indies usually can protect itself pretty well. Let's see, this is their. I think they'll be all right. Surely. You're just me versus Netherlands. Cool. Let's add some war goals. So they might they might back down this way. Maybe they'll back down this way, I don't know. Because the more stuff we add, the more the more likely they are to back down. Check armies. So the revolt has 14 battalions. They have 13. Okay, so they seem to have more. But I don't think they're going to win because there's probably going to be a bunch of uh, shortages. I think if we look at their barracks, you see the problem is, um, is this, right? They're going to be having shortages. So they're not going to be very effective. Bro, can we stop getting bad events, please? Looks like he won't back down. That's okay. We can easily beat him. Not worried. Where's their capital? Is it here? This is the gallery is the capital. Hope this goes well for you. I think it will. Nice. Get wrecked. No sending. No sending links allowed. Destroyed. So if they already occupied the other, the other guy's land. Is that his capital? They did. They already occupied East Java, so we'll be fine. They took. They took the capital of the revolt. We're all good. Ooh, but they're winning the battle. Ooh. One cast. Well, what we do in that case is we just grab this fleet and we do a naval invasion, like right here, and we just troll. We do a little trolling. I probably should have sent the fleet over though earlier. I kind of made a mistake with sending it so late. Let's put these guys on defense. They're winning, that's good. They're losing here though. Here's where I somehow lose to the Dutch though in this war. They will invade back, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Why is Taiwan called Formosa in this game? I guess it's like the colonial names. They're they're being they're being pogged up. We can also raid his convoys just to screw with him. Sounds good to me. Let's keep attacking. Maybe we can win like this. This. All naval invasion. That's fair enough. I don't know, offense. Yeah, I thought I wanted to defense for a minute so we could kill the army more, but yeah, we're going to be fine. It was a little monk ass for a second, but I think we're going to be just fine. Oh, this one? They're on offense. Surely they will not stomp you, Musta. We'll see, though. We'll see. Surely. Good luck with that. Playing Morocco. The brave move. Patrol order? Why? Why would I have to be on patrol order? I think I can just invade with. Yeah, so I should be able to just invade in any way. Like so. Good. I've used convoy rating before. It still it still lands. The reason why we weren't landing there also we got another another succession. The reason why we weren't landing there was because there was another fleet there blocking me, so I had to destroy that fleet first. Fluvial Bantu, that's in Belgian back Hong. Okay, there's this. That's fine. The naval invade that really easily. Ooh, France has Egypt over here. We could help the Ottomans. But I don't really want to. North Germans coming to Flanders. Let's go, dude. Love to see that. Formosa is beautiful. Egypt, Portuguese are beautiful little island. Oh, that's cool. Cool name. 
for a place. Obligation and peace out then. I guess I guess we can do that, but the fear is that well actually no, they won't put any war goals on me, will they? That they won't be able to, eh? Obligation never hurts. I don't want France to change attitude towards me though, because what if France gets upset at me for being at war with them? Like what if France is like upset, you know? I don't want them to change attitudes to, like be belligerent or something crazy. It's fine, we're gonna leave it. We got the Netherlands now. They're still occupied though for some reason, which is really funny because the turmoil's gonna take their station's gonna take up. Never mind, it's not. I don't I, I don't like when this happens. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really affect things. But they're like <laughs> they're like perma occupied by me now. Do I have my own market? I don't. I'm in the British market. As the band secession. I will be able to deal with that pretty easily. Let's get the boys down here. And we'll raise uh, again our, our these guys. I want to send them back and forth. Uh, sure. That's okay. We can easily put this rebellion down. It's no big deal. If anything, when they rebel, it's kind of a good thing because it clears the radicals, right? So that's that's actually kind of nice for us in a way. I'm kind of happy about it. Yeah, there's no more radicals here now, which is great. Um, let's build up these gold mines. Because we're going to want these for sure. Yeah, gold mines will be good. Alright, and now you're just going to go back and forth. Got a day you haven't tested? Ooh, what's the idea? Curious. Dot colonization law that oh that's I never thought of that that's an interesting idea making like frontier colonizations so they just start they just start colonizing that is an interesting thought I haven't I haven't considered that before yeah that is interesting hmm. I might I might. I don't know if I'll test that, but I might mention it. I might ask Generalist about it and see what he says, because he might just know off the top of his head how that would work. But you told me earlier? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Dreams. I wasn't paying attention. Now I feel bad. Listen, listening to a chatter. Garden Congo? Damn. Okay, well, good to know. If that works, that works, and that's pretty cool. But I didn't know that. Okay. So France, I wonder if we can try to trade for this because we could, in theory, form the uh, United United uh, Netherlands once we um, once we. Well, I hate that it's United Netherlands. I'd like it to be Belgian in some way, but we'd have to first make a dominion of the Netherlands, which won't be too hard to do. Then also get that treaty port off France. Because the plan is pretty OP. Okay, that's good to know then that you can actually just get them to colonize. Would they... I mean, they would just do it, right? They would have no reason not to, so I guess they would, eh? It's cool. Surely we get laissez-faire this time, right? We have two setbacks already. Huge stall chance. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, that's good. Let's get another phase. I think we'll take the success chance. Works for me. Act it faster. I see. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we already conquered this area. Although we could just release them. Can't I just release them as a? I could just release them as a protector or whatever, right? Can't I? Then that makes them. That'll give them my laws. Do they get automatically the laws that I have if I release them? I don't even have colonial affairs. <laughs> Damn. I probably should change that. I'll keep it in mind. I'll try releasing them if uh, uh you know later. I can? Okay, okay, I'll try that. That'd be really cool. That gets rid of them. Great, still a little bit of turmoil, but we got clone affairs? Yes, good idea. Very good idea. We will do that, but first we're going to try to get laissez faire. The head of state declared in the Congo. Yeah, exactly. 
We don't do colonies around here, okay? We don't believe in that. Yeah, that just ruins our legitimacy, unfortunately. Interesting, we can get an Orleanist. <laughs> That's always something. I mean, he would help, because he is actually supporting laissez-faire, so... Sure. Put him in charge. It will it will help, because he's gonna, he supports laissez-faire. So, based. It does give us a little bit of a better chance to pass it. <laughs> it just works. Isn't this, like, THE King of France? Did I just bring, like, the King of France in to Belgium? Like, this is THE King of France, right? Or at least it was. I think Louis and Napoleon Bonaparte, like, you know, replaced him. Learn more? I think this is the King of France. <laughs> That's funny. Just for income? That's a good idea, yeah, we should get some subjects. We have the Netherlands. We'll get. We'll make them into a. We'll make them into a. Uh, into a dominion soon. We just need to wait four years. That's kind of a long time, though. It would be a good subject. Maybe like. The problem is we can only really make. Um, we can only really make. The like we can only make protectorates, right? So we need to wait for a bit. But we can plan around it for later. Who has a relatively high GDP in here that we could use for some good income? Like, New Granada could be alright. Peru Bolivia is probably not bad, actually. If we can even beat them. I guess with our, with our conscripts. Well, we don't. We need to invade them navally, though, right? So it's a little touch and go. We probably can't beat Peru Bolivia. Though they are quite rich. They use line infantry. Yeah, okay. We'd have trouble. We'd have to expand our army a bit to beat them. Or Siam. Oh, so we can we can factor it Siam. We can mean like attack Johor and then attack Siam. Hmm. Do they have irregulars? They do. It's not a bad idea. We got more gold. Let's go, dude. Okay. Hog. More gold. Okay, that's good. That'll keep our in our income quite high. Nice. Should help with that. That on these as well. You know what I would like actually more than anything. I think I would like um, dynamite. That would be super good. We get more engineers that way. So let's work towards these and try to get dynamite. We'll say screw it to quinine for now. Yeah, true. Just keep them around for the tax income. Basically, that's a good idea. I just need to fight in some war. Doesn't matter. So I could attack Johor and then use that to invade Siam. Okay, I like that idea a lot actually. Let's go for it. Oh, we're in a. We're probably this guy's involved in the same play that I am. Or we just he likes me maybe. I can't. Oh, do I not have an? I should have an interest here, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Screw South China. Let's grab this. Nice, we did it. Okay, awesome. Now, can I get the gold company? That's what I'm looking for right now. Is the gold? Do we have the gold company? Yeah, the gold syndicate. This is perfect. This gives loyalists and minting, which is super good, and it makes the gold mines better. So we're definitely taking that. That's crazy. Look at the income now, boys. How do you like me now? <laughs> Feels good, man. We can lower taxes. I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice, nice and low taxes. And now I think we go and invade anyway, so we'll build up a much stronger income. Okay. Conquer state. Six infamy is like nothing, although we're already at, yeah, we're at 13. We're okay. We can do this. Ching might join, but that's 
That'd be funny. That's all I'll say about that. Be a good meme. Really, you can't reach that? That's strange. Legitimacy. I'm on 90, so I, I am on the correct amount of legitimacy. I'm barely there. <laughs> barely at the correct amount of legitimacy to pull that off. But yeah, that's super good. So with more loyalists... Oh my god, we just gained 100k. Okay, look at that. Great Ching does side with Johor. Britain wants Netherlands? No, absolutely not. Well, um, I don't think we actually have to care because... Do they even have a navy? They have 20 sh uh, 48 ships. Okay, they do have a navy. Maybe we do have to care. Because we should be able to just to naval invade Johor and it won't even matter. Unless he actually stations troops. I could try to take Formosa here, but I don't think we're able to pull that off. So rip, there goes our... The Ferdinand Philippe d'Orléans was a prince slash general who defended Belgium against the Dutch in 1831. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really really funny. So yeah, we got him in the we got him in our country. Okay, um, let's go like this. That looks pretty good. Matthias van Dorp. He seems like a good president or chancellor, whatever. This will be good once it gets up to the higher prosperity. What's the problem here? Are you having trouble with qualifications? That's what I imagine it is. Yeah, we need, we, need, we need universities here. So this is built like, you know, let's build like a couple universities. And also another railway. And a university. And a railway. Yeah, treaty port off them. But GB, I think, only wants... They just want the Netherlands, and I'm not willing to give them the Netherlands. That would obviously be a little bit insane, so we're not going to do that. Um, I think we're just going to say, you know, oh well to dealing with, like, to the Qing being in the war. They don't seem to really be doing anything about it, so... This song is so epic. Oh, who subbed? Who subbed? Thanks, Wurtert. Appreciate it. 19 months of subbing. Oh my goodness. Bro. I feel like it's the first time I've seen you sub, and yet you've been subbing for 19 months. Probably haven't been clicking the, like, notify the stream button or whatever. Crazy. How long will it take you to get here? Probably a while. Fortunately. Are they actually sending a fleet down here? Not much is happening on the screen. I mean, true, but also, like, it's epic, you know? They are actually sending a fleet here, but it's only 12 ships. So, they're invading Flanders. Um. <laughs> what? Okay. I guess let's mobilize, and... It sucks to have to conscript here, but... We gotta, we gotta do it, I guess. I don't want them to be able to invade me there. I've seen the past 19 months. Excuse me, I've been streaming consistently, okay? Excuse me, sir. Good AI play? Yeah, the rare, actually competent AI play. So that, okay, but the thing is, okay, let's be honest here. Can I not just capitulate Johor before they possibly can, like, before they can possibly land in Flanders, given how far they're traveling? Like, don't I just kind of win? So we'll do interceptions to try and get the ships out of here. No, he's he's beating me. Get war ups on them? No. I did not get war ups on on Ching. Come on, don't lose. Oh, there we go. Just gotta pay them more money. I don't think that's actually what did it, but point is that yeah, there we now we're winning. It's good. More mana wars. It's fine. We don't need those. We don't need mana wars. 
Oh, now they're winning here, though. Sag. Failed attack and failed defense. Weird. Okay. Ooh, there's a thing for public schools, but oh, I don't want to do public schools. It'll cause assimilation. Blech. The public schools are better, but I'm like, it's like for role play, it's worse though, you know? I want to have like the big, massive, you know, bunch of different cultures and stuff. I'll see I get wrecking. God, look at this. Look at these people migrating in. Nice, we're winning again. Will this fleet leave, please, if I beat them one more time? I, I don't know how many more wins I have to get to make the, the, the Admiral leave. Hopefully not that many. Slovenes coming to Wallonia. Okay, sure. Yet more people. We're going to make Wallonians a minority, boys. This always happens with public schools makes it faster. Yeah, but I want to I slow it down, right? The idea is, um, I think it's more fun to have like a bunch of random... Like a bunch of random BS like cultures just like chilling. So I wanna I wanna assimilate them as slowly as possible and public schools make it go faster. Bro, like how many times do I have to beat this navy for them to leave? How many times? Yeah, but the just schools can do that. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, there I think now we're not being contested, although it looks like one last battle here. The ghost battle. Okay, I guess we could just throw I mean just throw everyone in, I guess, right? I mean why not? Sure. That makes this guy the the new new guy, and he's cautious. And cautious is kind of nice because you get less. You see, cautious because you get less infamy. So I'm kind of glad this guy's the new the new chancellor. Yeah, it'd be cool to have like um, it'd be cool to have like a type of multiculturalism where they don't assimilate. Yeah. To me, I just think it's weird that you only assimilate cultures that you already accept, because then what's the point of assimilation? Like, should it not be the other way around, where cultures you accept don't get assimilated? Like, they, they are, like, just allowed to exist, whereas non-accepted cultures do get assimilated? I don't know. They will not screw it. They will not, they will convert not like assimilation? That's cool. That's pretty good. Also, dude, he, he got to send the fleet here again? Didn't we just send this fleet packing home and they're already back here again? Come on, Ching. Why are you doing this to me? There we go. Now let me land. Please. Thank you. It was looking very nice. Thank you, Liam. Appreciate it. I do be getting some volume because I've let it grow out for quite a while now. So it's finally getting a lot of volume. It was in a weird place where it was like too short to be cute looking, but too long to be like like, it looked kind of homeless for a bit, but now it's long enough that, like, you know, it looks like a style and not like a, you know, like a homeless after effect. So, yeah, I like how it looks right now a lot. And it's very voluminous. Okay, another fleet is here, bro. Why? With the pen. Is that what his name means? Hold on. This guy? Met the Penningen. Oh my god, I do see how that. Yeah, okay. He's Wallonian though, bro. He's French. He's a francophone. No more gold, Sag. Med de Penningen. That's a really fucking funny name. Dutch names, dude. There's like you, just more waves. Nice. I respect that. My hair is um also pretty wavy, but it kind of curls when it gets long. Most wavy hair, I think, does that, where like it waves, and then once it starts getting longer, it starts curling. Now he was actually gonna beat my navy. Are you kidding me? Flemish names ain't no way. Bro, I just want to naval invade a random guy. Just let me let me win, please. They're naval invading again, bro. Ain't no way. Come on, Ching. Why? All cobbled together is Flemish, not Dutch. I see. Okay, good to know. But also, what's the difference? Got him. He's growing shampoos and conditioner, you get even more? Damn, I should do that. That'd be cute. 
Okay, they left. That's good. Can I invade now? Excellent. We see to win one more one more time after this. Want one more? There we go. Okay, there. Finally. Finally. Jeez. Oh, he became a tributary of Qing in, in this war. Wait, does that mean that I can't capitulate him until I capitulate the Chinese? No, dude. Ain't no way. Why are there Qing armies in Russia? What What's happening here? Bro. Ain't no way. So let's promote you. Do this. Radicalize the rural folk. Okay. Oh, the Heavenly Kingdom just popped. Oh, that's really good, actually. They should be more willing to leave now. Made Manchuria? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, it looks like they lost Manchuria. They still- yeah, they actually- never, the Death Strap doesn't even work anymore because they lost Manchuria. Um, well, we can try to invade Beijing while they're busy with their- with the Heavenly Kingdom. <laughs> this is a very complicated situation, okay? Subutai Lart by the Qing General. Honestly true, as he traveled over here. Then see South and China, North China switch. I think we'll be okay because he's going to pile his units over here in the Rebellion. So we should actually be fine. And then we can just invade here. Against six guys, we'll almost certainly win. Yeah, we should be fine here. So I think we'll just be able to invade Beijing. Damn, now I've, I mean, obviously there's no way I could have known this would happen. But I, I now wish I had known, so I could have tried to... Okay, they're packing a bunch of people there. Okay. Instead, then, let's maybe switch to doing... I'll cancel this naval invasion. Let's go do... Down here, then. Six days travel time. See if we can get in here. We got no men. Oh, there's a fleet here, though. God damn. Okay, now they're moving. Okay, now they're moving. Hold on. Cancel. <laughs> Surely this will work. Surely this will work. There we go. Okay, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too easy, boys. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Let's just defend now and hope that we don't, you know, get too shrecked. They won't invasion this game are so funny. Yeah, they're kind of crazy. They're kind of insane. <laughs> Thank you, dreams. Thank you. What a, what a, what a, what an amazing lesson to have learned. <laughs> Good lord. Just, I'm just asking for like this, and they they're willing to fight like all the way to tooth and nail, like to the end of the days to defend like this, to defend like, Malacca. It's funny. How are they doing over here? Are they are they trying to invade me still? I mean, to be fair, the more casualties they incur up here, the better it is for me for their war support. So, fix out. They're obviously going to defeat me here, but as long as I can hold out for long enough to win the war, it doesn't matter. Stamp out monarchism. So we can make the... So Ferdinand, this guy becomes moderate. Interesting, I guess because he's like seen as a as Orleanist pro-monarchy. Yeah, that's what it is, okay. So we can... Yeah, sure, let's do this. Let's make the Ferdinand Philippe a, a moderate. Um, although he's not even... He's, he's literally not even powerful. Damn. Four armed forces. I'm definitely going to lose this here, but I think we're going to be fine. This we're going to definitely win because they don't have enough naval support for this army. Not worried about that. I think we'll be okay. Minus 2 versus minus 1.7. I think once he gets below 0, he should be more willing to submit. Once he gets below zero, I think he'll give in. The Belgian Meiji Restoration, holy based. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, no, he wants white piece. Okay, he was willing to accept, but now he wants white piece. Oh, and we're just going to reinvade because the army's like right there. So we'll just reinvade. Got North Italians migrating. That's great. Will they have open borders that can migrate? Yo. I don't think they're going to win, though. I think they're going to lose pretty hard looking at what's happening here. What's going she? Okay. I will not take white piece after all this. I was on defend. I wanted it to be on defend. Okay, there we go. They're not quite willing to surrender yet, but they'll get there. We're not going to lose because they can't occupy me. So we're not going to lose. We want to speed this up as much as we can, right? So. There's a heavenly kingdom. There's also a hell kingdom. Sure. Why not? that throughput crazy so i believe we need to set yeah i forgot to set these all to their better things oops got to do all that we've been sitting here on like worse production methods for a while cool. okay Division switch again. I think we're just going to wait it out until we win, because we're so close to winning already. I'm not going to do all the, like, the switching, because we're already so close. We'll just win naturally. Here. Yeah, we're just going to win through through this. Okay, great. Denzos. Is there a port here? There is. That's very nice. So the whole point of this, by the way, was so that we could uh was so that we could uh protect her at Siam. Which I think now is a good time for that, because it looks like the Qing are gonna be a little busy, although they're almost done their war, I think. This war won't last long. Wait for the interest to be declared here, then we can invade it. Our gold is good. There's Indochina interest. So who looks like Luang Prabang? Who cares about them though? And this is only 18 infamy. It's perfect. You have not much manpower. That's true. Actually, that is true. We probably should wait for reinforcements. That's a very good idea. Okay, that's acceptable. We did lose a lot of men to the Qing War, and we have good income right now anyway because of all the gold. So we're not in really in a rush. Fish or meat? I think fish. Oh, meat is better, okay. Romanian mass migration to Wallonia, cool. Borders kind of, we want to take the Mo Mozambique. I think um, Portugal is in the British market. Are they, they're, they're not a protectorate. They managed to get the Trucial States as a protectorate though, which is, which is funny. Uh, we'll take this, that sounds good. Lost more gold, that just means we can build more gold mines. Fine. We're working towards dynamite right now, right? Yeah, we're getting baking powder so we can get dynamite. And once we get dynamite, we're gonna get even more, even more the Heavenly Kingdom lost. We're gonna get even more Insano uh, gold, which is great. Who's got the uh, migration traction going right now? I'm actually not even that high. I'm not even very high up, damn. Where am I? Here, we're like here, okay. So America's, yeah, most of the New World is getting the stuff, although we're getting some migrants, apparently to Transvaal, which is cute. Oh, Dixie migrants, look at this, when did this happen? Southerners escaping. <laughs> the Southerners are coming to South Africa. They're like, man, we wanted to enslave black people, so I guess we'll just go to where the black people are if we're not going to be accepted back home. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> okay. Why is there less serpent next to me in Belgica? Oh, I mean Portugal. Hundred thousand Dixies. Yeah, they're just they're just chilling here. In in Transvaal. For some reason. 
English still gaining over here. Not really getting much immigration here, which is makes sense, but um. Okay. We can probably do more construction at this point, because we have quite a good income, so let's do more construction. Like five more. So it's good to get into victory is too different. Um well uh as someone who literally was that, someone who was into CK3 and then tried to get into Vic 3. The game is is radically different than CK3. Like, there's not really much similar between them at all, to be honest. But the game isn't that hard to learn. You can definitely learn it. Um, I'd say if you want to get into CK3, you absolutely can. Or sorry, Vic3, you definitely can. Um, you just have to take some time to learn it. When do we get this truce up? Seven months. Okay. They're going straight to the source. Yeah, these Dixies were. They're looking for. They they, they want to sneak gold from the locals. Yeah, true. They're crazy, man. Why did, did they maybe migrate from Texas? Like, where did they even come from? The Texas is majority fluvial Bantu. Bro, ain't no way. He's got the slave trade on, and he's just he's just importing importing slaves. Hold on, wait. Look at the culture, the culture overview. Bro, they're not even Afro American. They're just like fresh black people. <laughs> Jeez, man. What is this? What is this? Is it worth it to play again? I'd say wait for the next DLC if you want to really get into the game again. The game still has lots of good memes, like you can see now with this. This is funny. Now is Siam. I think we have do we have manpower yet? Yeah, we almost have enough manpower, looks like. Getting there. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. For more gold mines. Quick figure construction sectors to finish, then we'll gold mines. Let's destroy these guys. We should probably upgrade. Are any of these guys? Yeah, these guys are line infantry. Let's get them upgraded. Make sure everyone's, you know, skirmish infantry. That's good. I think we're good. Industry band, Giga Chad. Not gonna do that, obviously. Should use the edicts in your states. Yeah, but I don't have much authority, and I want to spend it on um, on greener grass campaigns and road maintenance. I'd rather do that. Okay, about that, because I'd rather have the the mass migrations and stuff coming in. Are we almost done with the construction sectors? Two more to go. Okay. Cool. Let's see about this. I think we can handle these guys. With the conscripts, I mean, they're going to have like, what, 90? Maybe a little scary. Cover over the Netherlands for a second? Sure. You mean like they're the fact that they're occupied? Is that we're weirding you out? We're just chilling. I should have been improving relations with these guys. How do you fix that? Yeah, how do you actually fix that bug though? I don't actually know how you fix that. It's really annoying. It's not. It's not a big deal, but it's it's bothersome when they just stay fully occupied forever. So they will upgrade soon. Will they though? Do they have access to guns? Where's was early? One. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Good to know though. I think we, I guess we can handle them. Let's see. How much longer till we can reduce autonomy? Probably a little bit longer, right? Still gonna be a couple months. Yeah, five months. Okay. I think that, yeah, it probably is best if we go for them. Let's first build up more gold mines, though, because, lol, well, great. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, looks like, yeah, I think we'll be alright. We can probably, honestly, if they stack up their units on the front, we can just send our marines around over here. 
to go and naval invade, so checks out. And I'm gonna add stuff like uh, war operations. We can even get Britain to help if we wanted to, but I doubt they're gonna come in without asking for something. He's worried, okay. Who cares? Yeah, I want war operations. How much would it cost to um, to change their regime? It's four infamy. I think that's worth. What would it change them to? You know, conscience, guaranteed liberties. Do they have migration controls? They have closed borders. I wish we could ch select what they change, but. Yeah. Oh well. I want to open their borders. If we open the market, it doesn't open their, their borders, does it? Ban slavery. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. I don't think we need the British. We can get the French to come in, but they would want... Treaty port. Good. I think we can take them on our own. I think we can take them on our own. So we'll do this. Um, I, think we will, I mean, if we regime change, then they just get they just get guaranteed liberties. I mean, it's not really a big. I don't think that's really worth doing. Okay, it's fine. When do they? When do these guys arrive? Probably gonna get 70 days, jeez, like I'm not gonna get there in time. Um we can just delay this more by just doing this and this, so that way the, the no days the, uh, increases the number of days till they can progress this. And I guess you know, like we still have how many what we have 30 plays? I guess we can just get more war operations. Not bother with that. Change the Republic could be worth it, yeah, but it doesn't change the Republic. It, at least it doesn't say it does. Oh well. It's, why, does it take four, why does this take 45 days to land? Explain that one, my dude. I guess we're actually better off. I mean, we already fucked it because they're already going to the next node, but we'd be better off trying to just do a naval invasion like right away. Oh well. Can we actually send you back? I think it's going to just... Yeah, it's not going to let us because they already started. I actually think I want to quickly reload. I oh, know it's fine. It's fine. Okay. The so Siam or Vietnam with a higher GDP looks like it's it's probably going to be Siam. I would guess. No, it's Vietnam. Just barely. Vietnam by a little bit. Interesting. I think we'll get there before they can possibly occupy all of this. So it should be it shouldn't be too bad. I was going to set these guys to defensive. Playing tactics. Yeah, that sounds good. Then you, uh, you can go and invade. We get them, the navy up there. Where's the state they're landing on? Is that actually how it works? That'd be very interesting if that was how it works. Yeah, they are trying to invade. They shouldn't be able to actually occupy it right away. Oh god. They're going fast. Oh my god, they didn't- are you kidding me? They didn't quite make it, bro. Ah. <laughs> It is what it is. Okay, well we'll try to land then. That sucks so bad. And they're trying and that's their war goal as well, so they now have the war goal. I need you guys to stay close by though, okay? Just we're gonna have to rotate them between going and not going, but there's not really a good way for us to do that. God damn it. Are you kidding me, my dude? I guess I can alternate HQs, because this is all different HQ, I think, right? Fade your state back. Are these different HQs? Hold on. How do I even check that, strict regions? They're not different HQs, that is unfortunate. Bro. Because if I cancel this, and then we do another invasion here, 
I don't believe. I think they're still gonna have. No, they don't actually have units there. Never mind. Okay, cool. Yeah, it does work. I don't know why that works, but I wish that these guys could just stay. Why do you have to leave? Like, why do you have to go? I guess at least go to the Congo and not go all the way back to the Rhine. Yeah, see, their units are still here. We can't get this back, I don't think. Or we can just attack zero men. Okay. Or there's just no one here. Okay, cool. There's just no one here. That's fine. That's that's cool. <laughs> Whatever, dude. 73 days? Why is 73 days to go back? Are you kidding me? Okay, well. This game can be so... raw sometimes. I don't even know what's happening anymore. It just works. Okay, so they're here now. I think now we defend. Just for now, until the other army gets here. And then we'll swap over to doing a... Uh, let's see, they're going to attack, and hopefully we can just defend. Yeah, we should be okay for defending. And then we'll use those 14 to invade uh, to invade Bangkok. We already have um, we already have everyone conscripted. We're already conscripting as much as we can. Nice. Okay. To be free landing? Yeah, but I need someone to be here to defend first, so these guys gotta get here first. That way they can hold the line. And then we send the 14 to go and land in Bangkok. Okay, they're winning this battle now, unfortunately. We'd go a little faster, please. The 29 as well. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, because there's gonna be no one there, so it's just, it's just really free. Okay, my bad. I didn't think of that properly. Okay, now that they're here, we can do an invasion. We have to wait, though. Okay, we have to wait until the um, until these guys' battle is done. We'll wait. We're good. Now they can go. You're right, though. I could have done it. Could have done it with the other army. It is what it is. we go great okay, get up there and these guys can defend easily in fact they can actually attack looks like yeah they can actually attack so let's get them attacking how are we doing how's run going so far i'm doing well the run's going pretty good we're playing as belgium we've uh we've protectorated the netherlands and we conquered holland uh we gave france a treaty port though which might have been a little mistake we're in the british market oh my god look at that prussia we're in the british market so we're just trying to kind of steal pops off them over here Basically, what we've been up to, you see, we've just been. And we still we got like a bunch of Englishmen here. It's been fun. Um, we need to get more construction, though, to be honest. Our construction's pretty weak. Wait again. When uh, it's okay. I think I think we'll be uh, we'll be able to beat that army. So I'm not worried. Oh, and they're winning now. Apparently, okay. Rip or retreating, I guess. We were winning, but now we're retreating. Does that actually just work if I if I just if I just cancel this invasion for like a second? Let's wait till they get here. Turn. Pretty good. France likes me more now. If I like cancel this now. Will they leave? Okay, now where are you going? Okay, we don't want them to start going back to that front because they're never it's gonna be forever. We gotta be very careful about this. Okay, now they started moving. That's perfect. Now they started moving and they're stuck, so they have to keep moving. So then we can invade. And now these guys are splitting off. Okay, we should be okay though. We should be able to invade before you do we do a lingo lesson? Okay, we'll I'll, I'll see about doing that maybe. We just okay, we we landed, we're good. Okay, we need to send you up here, though. That's... Oh, God. No, they're gonna break the occupation, like, immediately, because of this weirdness. Come on, get up there. 
Oh my god, I hate that it's a two-sided front, though. That ruins it. And then they just leave. Look at them, they're being smart. Look at this AI, dude. They're exploiting the game. They're exploiting. The cheese tactics. I, I hate these tactics, though. I hate that they work, but also I love that they work, because it means that now I can exploit the game easily. But also, wah, I hate it. God, and now they're just... Okay, now we have to swap fronts again. Oh my god, but they have people on this front as well. No, 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 no. To be fair, though, we should be pushing over here pretty easily now, although, yeah, we're attacking, so we should be able to push over here. and We'll eventually win this, but it's just going to be really annoying to win. I guess we can just push into... Okay, now... Okay, there we go. That didn't work now. So many battalions? Yeah, that makes sense. Now we do this, and we just do it again. And hopefully we can do it that way. How are you not pushing harder? Come on, dude. These guys have no manpower. You got this, boys. I think we're lacking hardwood in the British market, somehow. I mean, there's no one here again, so we can easily just land in, land in Thailand again. They're sending guys up, it looks like, but I think we'll be able to invade before they can get there. Looks like it. There you go. There you go. Another invasion success. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. This should not be working, and yet it is. Okay, there's the new parties. Cool. You wanna, you wanna end the war now? I think if I just don't, if I just like take less stuff, then they'll be able to end the war faster. So if we just don't take the other BS war operations, there you go, cool. Nice. Okay, great. Now we should try and uh, make the Dominion of the Netherlands. Ninety percent chance to accept. Awesome. Easy clap. Now does that mean that these guys? Yeah, these guys are now mine. Dutch East Indies is mine now. That's cool. And they owe me not. Oh, the obligation Netherlands. Never mind. Oh, there's still a domain of the Netherlands. Okay, until we make them a puppet, I think that they stay in the. Uh, they stay with the Dutch. Cool. I honestly don't know how exactly you fix that that the like front system because it's so, it's just so broken. It's hard to it's hard to fix. Do we want wage subsidy support? I think I'm good. Let's just get this one. Okay. We're still just building gold mines. I think we need to build even more construction. Constructing time. And just get me to 20 in the in Wallonia. I guess Britain's lacking, um, they must be lacking convoys because they don't, we seem to have market access issues, but it's not really much I can do about it because Britain's just got to get more convoys for that. Yeah, just how it is. Britain is invading here. What's this war for? They're taking a, so what's the point of taking a second treaty port? Or no, they're, oh, they're trying to conquer the Guangdong, okay. Wow, they're trying to fuck the Portuguese by taking the land that would give them... It gives that- they're trying to take over Macau's treaty port, basically. It's funny. But then China's in return trying to conquer the, uh, the British treaty port. Grab the whole war system for this game? Yeah, they kind of do. With how it is. Kind of true, though. It is what it is. You know, they'll, they'll- they'll- they'll do something about it one day. Surely. 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 I don't think they ever will. I really don't think so. When it comes to the Netherlands, we'll probably puppet them, I guess, once the truce is up, yeah. And then in terms of our income, we're looking quite good. Um, Siam pays pretty pretty good amount. Netherlands pays pretty good as well. But most of our money is coming from, most of our income, rather, is coming from the, the gold mines. That's cool. We almost have dynamite, and dynamite's going to make our income go even higher. 
We still haven't even built all the gold mines, by the way. Which is amazing. You want state religion? I'm good. What's up, Luck? I don't know. How's it going? Let's get this now. We should work on that, yeah. They should stay in government. They like me enough, they should stay. All these farmers and peasants. Awkward? Oh, so. Get Borneo now? You could. They have, um, they do have more gold, so I guess there's no reason not to. We could also try to protect her at Vietnam. Um, to be honest with you, this could be a good move. Because, I mean, we it would put us about 25 minutes for me. But we could. Maybe we wait until we make a Dominion of Siam so we can get a land border. Because this would be much easier if we can have a land border, right? Anima. Panama could be good just for the company that gives you like a bunch of like 50,000 budget or whatever. So to be honest, Vietnam. Right now we probably couldn't actually invade Vietnam. I doubt we could actually beat their army. But if we can make Siam a protectorate, then we should be able to. Throw out my other interests. Oh, we should maybe focus on Arabia and Persia though, right? Because... It would be nice to maybe protect her at Persia, which would be very ambitious, very high in infamy. But if I could, for example, conquer like Macron first, use that as a staging ground. And this patch dimin diminishes when your wars too. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. Who are these people, dude? This guy sucks. I mean, this guy's just another radical. I don't even like radicals already have everything they could ever want, so I don't know what else he wants. But Britain want help. Make any difference? It's fair enough. We really should let our manpower recover, though. We don't have a lot of manpower left. So on low taxes, we're on the very lowest. Lowest taxes. Which is good. Game's a little frozen. These iron mines are making so much money. Bro, the engineers are rich. For Vic 3 or CK3? I prefer CK3. But Vic 3 is a game I want to be really good, which is why I still have faith for it. I, I want this game to be really good. But this game is kind of whatever. I think CK3 to me is, is definitely a better game. Almost a million levels. Yeah, we're getting there. Getting there. Kikuyu backs down. Really? I didn't know natives could back down. That's crazy. Natives, like, never back down normally. Okay. If I can invade Sindh, which I think we can... Which I think we can do. Then we can go Protectorate the Sikh Empire, and that would be a really, really good thing to protect her. But the problem is they're actually relatively strong. They do have line infantry. We'd have to increase our... We'd have to get a bigger army, basically, if we want to do that. We could invade Portugal. That would be interesting. The program that's never happened. Yeah, I also thought that, but I guess not. We could try to take Lone Summer Marques and uh, Zambezia. And not be too bad of an idea. Although I need to have a uh, I need to have colonial colonial levels in order to maintain Zambezia. Oh, we got more migrants coming to coming to Wallonia. Let's go. Nice. Look at all these cultural communities. Beautiful. What are any pops we can pack into Flanders? 
late annex them instantly. I do remember those days. Those were crazy. When you were hoping that they would rebel against you, you just full annex them. It's like, damn. That stuff was actually insane. I missed it because it was super, like, powerful. But it was kind of bullshit, to be honest. This is still making me laugh, by the way. The fact that the Fluvial Bantu still dominate this area. That's crazy. They're importing that many slaves. Never lucky, Sag. Then attach Portugal. Oh, I see. That way we could uh, try to attack Port. Yeah, okay. Why is Tech still independent? I don't know. They're just kind of chilling. They even in their own market. They're literally just chilling, importing slaves. <laughs> Maybe America's keeping them alive so that they can import more slaves to get extra pops. Maybe that's what it is. Wouldn't that be funny? Hundred sixty-eight thousand Dixies in Transvaal, by the way. Dynamite in twenty-one months. We can start bombing the gold out. With the Mexicans, they're trying to be friends with Mexico. That's their friend. It's their buddy. They're almost there with America, though. They're getting there. They're getting there. Can they approve the US? Yeah. They're just being weird. Sometimes the game likes to throw weird things at you, you know? It is what it is. Number 9 GDP, by the way. Okay, looks good. Alright, what's going on here? British Raj trying to fight one of their rebels. Oh, this is another Avadi uprising. Okay. President Vishwanath Ittijahid. It. Ijtihadi. Okay, there you go. Vishwanath Ijtihadi. Full name. The USAI has not been the best in the latest patch, said by a guy named America Man. Big respect. Also, they have they still haven't conquered like Mexico and stuff. Can't use it because they're puppet. Yeah, but you know, it'd be funny anyway. As for transfer state, give me this it's literally. Slovaks coming to Flanders. All right, works for me. Well, look at that Portuguese just hit number three. Nice. Do I want to get Bur How strong is Burma? Could I possibly... 50 battalions? I need to 17 flotillas. Actually, yeah. Let me, let me try to build up more of an army or something. You know, let's try to, let's try to build up more, more of a navy and an army so I can conquer more stuff. I should build that many mana, mana wars. Hold on. That's too many. Like that. That's going to give us a nice big navy. And then we'll make more army and then we can go and naval invade bigger enemies. Can I beat Sindh? 21 troops? I think we can beat Sindh. Ecuador into Colombia. We could even do Ecuador into Peru, Bolivia. That might be a pretty good choice as well. A lot of different options. A lot of different options. We might even want to consider eventually leaving the British market. But to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy just to always be in the British market. Because we're just going to keep stealing people from them. Is it the Netherlands? Oh, I do have access to Brazil. Yeah, you're right. It's Brazil. There is still, I, we could probably beat them. But it's going to be a lot of infamy to make them a protector, won't it? That'll be a ton of infamy. Once these uh, once these naval bases finish, we'll get more interests, so we can try. 
but it's going to be a lot. Also, I don't think we even can. There are minor powers, surprisingly enough. There are minor powers, so we can actually do it, but it's going to be kind of insane, though. So, how many... What time is it? It's 5.48. Okay, it's not too bad. Like 40 infamy? I mean, we probably can take it, right? Can we afford 40 infamy? I mean, we have Britain to keep us safe. Like, who would attack me, right? With Britain keeping me safe here? Not to mention 40 is not 100. The only number that really matters is like 100. They're not really doing much diplomacy. Give me clone exploitation. Nice. Good. I want to try now releasing uh, the Congo. Oh, I can't release them. Is there a reason why I can't release them? Do they have to be a... Is there just no, like, core here? Is there no country that has a core? Is it because it's a split state? Is that why? But it'd be nice to release them, maybe, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's declare an interest over here. Maybe I can try to grab Brazil. It'd be kind of insane. We can build even more construction sectors, to be honest. Do that, I think. We can really pump up our construction at this point because we have all this gold. And once we get dynamite, it's gonna go crazy. If you look at our interest groups, all of them, except for the Catholics, are um are radicals. Damn. 50 infamy. And then Venezuela and Paraguay would join the war for them. We could maybe convince Britain to join, but once we actually click this, I'm pretty sure that they'll be um, that they'll be less likely to join because they're going to be upset about the relations. It's probably worth trying, though, eh? What if we started off with a banned slavery, and then we just wait until everyone declares neutrality to make it easier on us? Be a good way to do it. Will folk want protectionism? I mean, sure. It's better than mercantilism, I guess. Yeah, it's a little better, sure. Sway GB with slavery. Oh my god, that's so based. So open market, sway GB with this protect with slavery, and then make protector when we're at the end. Okay, I like that a lot actually. Okay, let's do it. With G with G GB, what it they probably want something. Okay, cool. We'll see what they want. Oh, there's actually no front here, though. Oh, interesting. There's no front there. Interesting. It's probably because that's, like, inaccessible or whatever. But once we get GB in, then we'll have a front here. Yeah, there's a front there, at least. So let's move our guys towards the HQ, at least, to get them closer. So... You guys want to ban slavery in Brazil? Okay. Cool. Yeah, ban slavery. Interesting. Okay. Epic. So that brings Britain in, which gives us a front. And now we're going to wait. How much to protect it? Okay, 39. I want to add... We don't actually want to add more goals, never mind, because then that'll make them more likely to capitulate. So we're going to send the... Um, we're going to send the big army to sit on the front. And then we'll send the small army to naval invade Rio de Janeiro. They want to humiliate Netherlands. That's really funny. I, I doubt they'll be able to get in here. I just gotta make sure they don't back down. That's the only fear. We don't want them to back down. 
Everyone's declaring neutrality now. That's good. Well, obviously, if you can, then protector it. Sure, we could do that. I just, yeah, I think they're not going to back down because all the war goals are primary, so I think we're good on that. But the more war goals we add, the more likely they are to back down, unless we make them primary. Five. Yeah, basically everyone declared neutrality, so now we're going to do war operations, and then we're going to do protectorate, and make this primary so that's likely to back down, and we should be good. France, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's not good. Wait, I can get them. No, but they don't have enough plays. No, damn it, France. Oh. Okay, well, we gotta reload then. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta maybe we wait a little bit more to see if France won't join. Because France joining screws me, because France will just completely overrun me like right away. And that's not good. Let's see. Okay, let's try this again. No, I'm good? What do you mean I'm good? If France will destroy me. Okay, we have to we have to do the war goals now. Ah, uh, it's painful. Just don't get destroyed. True. Okay, France joins. They won't accept anything. Fuck, dude. I got no- I don't even have an army here to protect my front. Like, I need Britain to send troops there or something. Fuck. Um... They're trying to transfer Netherlands too, are you kidding me? Come on, dude, really? I mean, I guess I can just try to beat Brazil before... France beats me, but I don't think that that's... Yeah, I think that's gonna work. We have to go back. Oh, what month What month is it? April 30th, we have to go back to, like, March. Hmm. How can we make this work? I guess we could send this army to go and defend, but the problem is that, like, GBs is gonna be sitting here on the Brazil front. They're not gonna come and protect me. There's no way I can make France, like, friendly with me or anything, is there? We already have amicable relations, but they're still cautious of me. Hmm. It's a pact with France for obligation? I don't think they even accept that. Because they just, they're cautious towards me, so they, they just won't. They're like, they're like, we're a natural enemy or whatever. Military threatening neighbor. Um, okay, here's some interesting thought. If I were to get rid of some of my conscripts, would they be less scared? Would they think I'm less threatening? Boost trade with them. Ooh, okay. But I don't have I don't have the control of the market though, so I can't make trade routes. Oh, I guess actually can I? Wait, I can. Okay. Let's take a look at their market. See, let's just get whatever whatever cheap goods they have. Let's import. Oh no, we can't. See, we can't. Oh, they have embargoes. Never mind, we can't. Can't do any trades with them. We have embargoes. Okay, well. What we can do then, maybe to do, to, this will help us prepare for the next time we go to war. Let's get war operations. And let's maybe try to, like, we can just conquer a state maybe. Maybe we conquer, like, we just take something that's small that we can use as, like, a, a prep for later. We can always come back for them, right? There's no reason that we have to do the war like right now. Like, what if I just take Rio de Janeiro? Like, that should be alright, right? Get their capital? Yeah, so I'm thinking yeah, we just take we just take Rio de Janeiro. That way we can at least have like land connection with them to fight later. 
Or we could have released people. But then that makes protectoring them weirder. Because then we'd have to, like, you know, protectorate more countries. I'd rather protectorate, like, the whole Brazil if we can. Rip, okay, oh, going for it. At least France didn't join this time. We should be able to easily naval invade there. Yeah, okay, it is what it is. No big deal. Send the Marines in, boys. Send them in. They do actually have a navy here, but I think we'll be able to beat it. Yeah, I think we'll be able to beat it pretty easily. They've only got three men there, so I'm not worried about the army itself. <laughs> nice. What's the goal now? Now the goal is um, we're gonna get we're gonna ban slavery, open the market, conquer Rio de Janeiro, get the war operations, and that's all. Which I think is good. That's still that's still solid to grab Rio de Janeiro. And the British are just gonna march through here like it's nothing. So good for them. We're going to win the naval battles pretty easily. Alright. I think where we should go next. I think that, honestly, I think getting into Sin and grabbing the Sick Empire would be super good. Getting them as a protectorate. That'd be really, really nice. They're just really strong is the only fear. But I think they're going to have shortages if they actually mobilize. They tend to have this when, when, whenever the player plays as them anyway. They pretty much have perpetual shortages of guns and ammo. So they went to skirmish infantry. But they got they got shortages though. So I imagine we can just beat them because of their shortages. Who general is gaming? Omega lol? Bro, I love saying Omega lol. What's wrong with Omega lol? The great emote. How are you doing by the way? How are you doing sir? Welcome to the stream. We're doing, we're doing a little bit of Belgium. RE the delay. Yeah, I mean the delay is probably like good, a good thing. But also like, man, I was I was planning I was planning to get back and see into Vic three content like because of the DLC, and I was thinking, okay, I'm not gonna release any content on the current patch uh, because like why would I, right? Like it's gonna be outdated soon. And then of course <laughs> this delayed, so I'm like, well, fuck it, I guess. Um, I guess I'll just, uh, you know, make content now on Vic 3 because I want to get back into the game, but <laughs> nobody's waiting for DLC. You gotta wait for like a month, a month and a half extra. But I bet it sucks for you though, Generalist. I mean, your whole channel is Vic 3, so the content drought begins for you. Welcome to the, um, uh, welcome to the, uh, you know, the, the CK3 grind set where we have, uh, a lot of content droughts, like, all the time. And it sucks because CK3 content comes out really slowly. Damn, we're losing Dutch people, Sag. We're going to Minnesota or whatever it was. So the first full DLC, yeah, and it's getting delayed. Yeah, it doesn't look good for doesn't look good for the Vic 3 community, but we'll see what it is. We'll see, we'll see what it, we'll see what happens, right? Hopefully, it turns out to be an okay DLC nonetheless. But only time will tell. I've been watching a lot of your videos, Mr. Gaming, in the attempt of, um, in the attempt of, uh, you know, getting better at the game. It's been very helpful, so thank you for that. Ramadan question, can you eat during the eclipse? I actually have no idea. Um, I'm gonna say probably no. I'm pretty sure there'd be like a, nah, sorry pal. But, it's a funny question though. <laughs> Big nice, yeah, I'm trying to get, I watched your America run through, okay? And I tried to basically emulate it on my own. I'll show you in a second. Actually, I'll just show you now, because screw it, I can just quickly save and show it to you. But I basically, I, I was watching your America playthrough, and I was like, let me try to emulate it so I can learn, okay? And uh, some memes ensued. You know, I'll show, I'll show you what's going on in the America game. Quick detour off of the Belgium game for a second, because I want, I want Mr. Mr. Gaming to notice how, notice how cool I am, okay? Look, I took Beijing using the strat, okay? I took Beijing along with the, with the British help. 
Okay, plus a treaty port. Okay, and the 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 creme de la creme. We've got Louis Napoleon Bonaparte as the king of the America. You know, pretty cool. Right now we're getting invaded by the Russians, but it's fine. We got so we got Peru Bolivia. I've been doing that from now on. Uh, I did not grab Transvaal and Oran. Yeah, I should have done that, but I was being lazy. Um, I've been doing Yo-Yo Sway, so I have Katiri, like, randomly. I think Bahrain is my protectorate. Yeah, they're my protectorate. I'm doing some Yo-Yo Sways and all that. But yeah, I've just been doing... Just been doing a lot of stuff. It's been fun. But yeah, we got, um... We got... No, Napoleon Bonaparte here. Gotta grab the gold. I know. I know I gotta grab the gold. But either way, look at that GDP line. That was very satisfying to look at. Um, pretty good... Pretty good, um, pretty good construction. Not not as good as yours, obviously, but I was pretty proud of this. Getting back into the game and stuff. Here, I'm trying to conquer Suez right now. That's what's happening. And I bet Russia is invading New York. Check out New York, by the way. Got a shit ton of uh, immigration. Eight million pops here. Lots and lots of pops. You know, so that's been nice. Getting all the massive immigration. It's pretty crazy how much immigration you can get as America, like you've mentioned before. Pretty absolutely insane. But yeah, we just got this. We got crazy. We got crazy mass market, mass migration attraction. So just like every every state just has like a huge mishmash of random pops, and the culture map mode is like a huge meme. It was worse before because we we have assimilation now. But look at the Han, for example. This is just like a huge meme, you know. Um, <laughs> what happened here with the Comanche, by the way, was the Mexicans had a had a um, what happened here with the Comanche. Was the Mexicans had a native uprising, and the, the Comanche swayed me in with offering to make Mexico a protectorate. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, that sounds hilarious. So I did that, but now I can't colonize this because the Mexicans have a claim on it. So I've, it's just sat here because Mexico has not been colonizing because they're my puppet now, so they can't uh, they can't colonize. So I have to, like, I, I don't know if it's because they're puppet or whatever, they're not colonized for whatever reason. So they're just sitting here in the middle of us with a, you know, Comanche majority. So it's like, you know, Native Americans rise up, I guess. And they're just chilling here, and I can't colonize them until I integrate Mexico, which is really, really funny. <laughs> so they're just sitting there. But yeah, by the way, that's, that's been a really fun run. Back to Belgium, though. I've really enjoyed playing that. Where did the Han come from? I conquered Beijing. And off of Beijing alone, they just came in and just started making themselves majorities across the area. It says you annex Mexico, France, and UK will colonize Texas. That's going to be really funny. I think that will be hilarious, personally. Alright, I want everything, of course. I want the... Yeah, I want the loyalists. Finally, we have more loyalists than uh, radicals now. Love to see that. Love to see that, boys. English over here. Dixies. This is always funny when the Dixies go north. Scots over here. That's funny. Dutch. These should be my Dutch people, but whatever. It's fine. I've used the Abdicate Cheese. I haven't used it effectively yet, but I am aware of it, and I would like to implement its usage in my play in the near future. Also Dynamite, so get ready for the massive increase in our income, boys. Well, dynamite time. So why aren't these on... Condensing engines. Probably conquer these with someone. Oh yeah, look at this. Of course, immediate explosive shortage. I expect no less. But yeah, the nice thing about dynamite, okay, this is, in my opinion, the nice thing about it, is that it, uh, it creates more engineering jobs. So if you look here, you see it creates 50 engineers. That's really cool. To get a bunch of engineers in there to make even better wages and stuff. Build up unis to get max innovation. That is a good idea. I definitely should do that. Well, there's the war. Alright, cool. We got Rio de Janeiro. We were gonna protect her with them, but France didn't want that, so... Alas. There is a port here, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. Where's the... Is it this? State actions, yeah. Set production methods. Cool. Yeah. Our Belgian state is doing great. Got great legitimacy. We've got lowest taxes. Protectionism, just because the petition wanted it. We probably want to go actually free trade, um, but it doesn't really matter much. Not for this run, because we're just part of Britain's market, so 
We could get private health insurance. I kind of want public health insurance, but no one wants it. The Catholic Church wants it, so we could try to do it. We could try to get public health insurance. It's going to be like, you know, a, a long shot, but you never know, right? This is super good. Can I click United Netherlands yet? No, because of this treaty port. <laughs> that treaty port is fucking me. So, no, we can't do it until we get the treaty port. I'll just turn this ass. Yeah. I don't want a police force. We don't really need police, to be honest. We don't really have much turmoil in our actual incorporated states. So I don't really care much for it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be tough to pass this, but we'll try. So, I mean, debate is high, so it's just luck. This is just going to be like purely hoping for good luck to get public health insurance. Okay, I think let's go and let's try to get multiculturalism um, if we can. So when I understand multiculturalism, I believe that anarchists and humanists and enlightened royalists like multiculturalism. I think anarchists are unlocked by anarchism, obviously. I think that you unlock humanists with human rights. Correct me, I think it's this that gives you humanists. And then enlightened royalists, I don't know if that, I think that's only for Brazil. I don't even know though. So I think we want to go like quinine... And then we want to get anarchism and just hope for an anarchist. Um, or we can hope for a humanist. Both behind feminism. Okay, I see. Human rights plus feminists. Okay, okay. I was close. Yeah, I was close. All right. I was pretty close to getting that right. So we definitely, we definitely want to get, um, we 100% want to get multiculturalism and then just start bringing all the pops in. I want to load up as many pops into Bologna as we can. Because that'd be a good meme. Health taxes? Oh, this is a good one. This always gives, like, insane success chance. Yeah, we'll just pay the money. That's totally fine. So that was good. Now we have a pretty good chance of actually passing this. Should you form Rome this run? Um, we'd have to do that before Italy unifies, right? Because can't we, like... Can't we do, like, Central Europe in order to get Italian culture? And then we can use that to, like, become... Like, unify Italy and be Rome. I don't remember how it works exactly, but... I, I, I vaguely remember your playthrough, Mr. Gaming. Where you were playing as the Papal States. I didn't watch the whole thing. Was, you know, I wasn't as into Victoria 3 at that time. But you were doing the Papal States run. You made Rome by being a Republic as Papal States, but... I don't remember... I, I'm vaguely aware of some of, like, the weird stuff you can do with, with like, getting all these different heritages. Or these different primary cultures. But I don't know for sure. I imagine it's quite complicated. Also, we have um, colonization now, so you might start colonizing. All of this is stuff we can take. Oh no, actually we don't have Quinine yet, so never mind, it's not, but whatever, we'll do it anyway. You do Central Europe, release Papal States, and get annexed by the Risorgimento. Uh, turning you into the Papal States tag. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, okay. That sounds about right. Also, why did I my income just, like, die? What happened? Did, is it... Did we lose minting? No, what's... Did we lose taxes? What, what did we gain? I'm not sure why my income is, like, massively decreasing. It's fine. Central Europe is pretty easy as Germany, yeah. But unfortunately, it's a lot to do as the Belgium. For the Austria, the H3, both Holy and Roman. Based Giga Chad. Based Sigma Chad. Can we reduce autonomy here yet? Nope. How about on Netherlands? How much longer for this? 19 months. Okay. Yeah, what is... I guess just all the construction sectors I made are probably costing me a bunch of uh, stuff. Muslim Atri also possible. Holy Giga Chad. That's based. Ooh. That's interesting, yeah. We could try to protect her to Egypt for like no infamy. That'd be kind of crazy. Sure, we can try it, yeah. I like the idea of trying for that. I've seen the Prussian AI make Germany here and there, but they just they just not very good at it is the problem. Will they win this though, eh? I mean 
They kept the most important part of Egypt, which is this part. What's the army size? 70 versus 50? They might... So what might be happening, though? So it looks like it's pretty scary. Ooh, ah, uh, sure, let's try it. Nice. It looks pretty scary, but it's possible that they're going to have a bunch of shortages. Yeah, so we see, we see these uh, shortages, right? Whereas, does Egypt have them? Egypt doesn't have them. So Egypt probably is going to win this then, because I imagine that they... Oh, no, they're winning. Okay. Okay, they're kind of... They're kind of half and half. Either way, I mean, why don't we refactor it anyway? But we can't, probably because they're... Probably because they're too high rank. Yeah, I think they're considered... Yeah, they're, they're a major power. But they're going to drop below major power soon. Yankees coming to Wallonia? Yo, let's go, dude. That feel when normally the mass migration hog of America is sending me pops? Go. Yeah, I think that... If... I mean, if they... Uh, if if the war lasts long enough that they drop a rank, then we can go and protectorate them. That's good. I think we just gotta make more iron mines, but I think um we might just want to increase taxes to be honest to fix our income. Although maybe we also need to maybe we also need to lower our construction or something. All right, I'll see you see you later, to Jonas. Thanks for release Bosnia. Good to know. Good to know. Kind of based. Ah, that sucks. Oh well, lose the lose legitimacy. We still had a hundred legitimacy. Dixie check in Transvaal. Let's see. They're third. They're they're third place still. They're chilling out. We'll keep an eye on Egypt for sure. But yeah, this this will tell us. We'll keep it here so that we know when they change. Just of income. We already. I guess yeah, we could do that. We give 7k, it's not too bad. I think for now, maybe... Are there any gold mines queued up, or do we already build all the gold mines? Let's see. We've already got all the gold mines, yeah, okay. So you get where those came from? I don't know either, they just kind of arrived. They just kind of people arrived, and that was that. Yeah, those are when I, when I, when I put the star on Egypt, by the way. It put them in the, in the, uh, in the, in the outliner here. That's why I'm, I did that, because now I can see what their rank is. I think my face cam's covering it when it's scrolled down, but just rest assured that they're there. I'd really love to get a new uh, tax law if possible, but I know that's going to be... I'd love to get down to you know, proportional taxation or something. But I know that's going to be a while till we can do that. Unless we swing the the law by going to, I know we can if we get to land based taxation, then we can get like the military to support force taxation. But I think like we have interest groups right now that probably are never gonna want to do that like any of that. You know, none of these guys are really interested in tax laws. These guys are. So we could do, if we did land tax, we could go to proportional. Or even if we do consumption based, then we can go to proportional. That would be super good. Because we could tax the shit out of our super high, our extremely profitable mines, but it is what it is. Bataneans coming now. Let's go, dude. Leaving the new world to come back to the old world. Big respect. We're almost there on passing public health insurance, by the way, which is going to be sick. Like Egypt, they're still, they're still uh, a major, so we can't, we can't protect them yet. They give them time. A new election means that it's just everyone is just super good. You already have the Catholic Church involved, so good. Everyone's still just radicals, by the way. Everyone's just radical. It's crazy. I mean, it makes everyone super happy, so it's good, but... 
Oh, I think I know what happened. Might have been that the, that this guy stopped being super happy with me, and then they stopped investing as much. That could be why our income dropped. That would make a lot of sense. Let's see if we get this. Nice, we did. Okay, that's good. Egypt is still a major power, so still can't uh, subjugate them. They seem to be losing quite hard, though, unfortunately. Big taxes for the memes. <laughs> I mean, it's a fair point, to be honest. We do have a lot of interests. We could just grab Texas. It'd be really funny. The fluvial Bantu Texans. Giga Chad. So funnily enough, although I thought that perhaps the that Egypt could win against their revolution, it looks like that may not be the case. Although once they win, once the revolt wins the war, we might be able to quickly throw a protectorate on them. Um, what will fall below zero though? I don't know. I don't know about that because I don't know about that because they they look like they're moving into Cairo pretty fast. Yeah, see, they're going to push into Cairo. Despite only having 14 offense, they just... Egypt's already out of manpower. So I'm pretty sure that... Pretty sure that uh, Egypt is kind of screwed. Grab Texas, that would be funny. Yeah, I think it, I think we do have to grab Texas. There's public health insurance. Let's go, dude. David de Guise. He's a reformer? No, that's fine. Okay, so now that we have that, let's get that up to the max level for sure. So, public health insurance is crazy good. Definitely happy to have that. Conquer Texas. I'm going to wait until we uh, until we see about this Egypt thing. Because if we can... It'll cost more infamy. That's true, but... I mean... Like, we could try this, but then Egypt is probably going to lose this war. Yeah, hey Tobias, by the way. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Tobias, fellow YouTuber. Fellow Victoria3 Giga Chadman. Let's try it, I guess. I mean, fuck it. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If the Egyptians can just hold out against the revolters, then we'll be okay. If I add a bunch of war goals, they might back down, which would be really funny. Um, that would be very funny if that were to happen. We can make them a republic. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yes. You know it. And this is... Have they taken this yet? They still haven't quite taken Lower Egypt. They're real close, though. I guess we can raise conscripts for the lulls, but... They might back down, which would be hilarious. Open their market, too, just saying... Because the more we put on, the more likely they are to back down. So... Let's see. They're winning now! Look at them go! Okay, okay, they're turning it around. This would be crazy. Good. Excellent. Marine Royale. Rouge. You can increase your size in case you get more dudes. Gold fields depleted in Vreistadt. Fortunate. Gotta, you know, get those gold mines back up. ASAP. Damn, they're winning. Okay, wow. Alright, Egypt. Yeah, the same elections. It's everyone's a radical. There's like no the elections are just meaningless. Everyone's just a radical. Nice. Well, it'll be nice to get a basically free Egypt. I mean, it only cost me like twenty infamy. That's pretty good. Now ah, they're pushing now. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if it'll be really like if I'll like ruin their war by choosing to invade them from behind, but I think it'll that by the time we win, they'll be done with their war, so nothing to worry about here. I 
And I'm pretty sure that their manpower is so low that I don't even need to worry about the armies. Like, these guys just have no manpower. Like, they have 4k men here. This is nothing. So I think we'll be just fine. And we should be able to beat their navy as well. I don't think their navy is going to stand a chance. Their navy has good manpower, as does mine, though. And I have a bunch of men. I have a bunch of um, the big ships. What are they called? <laughs> the Man of Wars. That's what they're called, right? I have a bunch of Man of Wars, so I'm not worried. They're already losing insane amounts of exhaustion because apparently. Oh, because they're being heavily occupied by the other guy. So that's really useful for me. Great, in fact, yes. And yeah, they just got no manpower, so we just win. Awesome. I think I froze for a second there. Oh yeah, dude. Then we go and grab, um, after this, we go and grab Texas. If you occupy the capital, the revolt can't end. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, the revolt can't... They won't capitulate then, I guess. Oh, the revolt, they can't... Oh, never mind. They can still capitulate. Even if I occupy the capital. We should be good. Because, yeah, I don't think Egypt's going to lose this. Yeah, there you go. They just won the war. So now we, now we come in and, again, their manpower is too low to matter. There's 111 men, but with no manpower, I'm not worried. Let's see, 80... Okay, well, apparently... Yeah, okay, 78 regiments, but only 20,000 men. I still think we're going to be okay, but we will raise this guy just to be just to be safe. In fact, we can actually split the navy. Let's actually... Let's do this. Let's split the navy. Twelve. Sure. Two fleets. Okay, it's involved in a battle. Air tree is unprotected always. Yeah, so we can always go in there. Because this might be okay. Hold on, are they they're still involved in a battle? Okay. Cool. Because yeah, I said about the no manpower, but to be fair, that is a lot of regiments, so regardless. Okay, now we can split the navy. Let's grab, we have 40 frigates, so we have 38, so let's grab like 10 and 4, sure. Still can't? Well, oh, it's because they're in the naval invasion, okay, I see. We have to cancel the naval invasion to do this. I think that's fine. Cancel the naval invasion. Now let's split it. We'll do double naval invasion from each side. Like 10 and 2. Sounds good. You get a guy. That's good. And then let's do two naval invasions. Perfect, that's much better. And then we'll send the smaller navy over to Eritrea. Slightly inefficient, but that's okay. And we'll see how this goes. This should go fine, I think, anyway. Lots of loyalists, not very many radicals, that's good. This 28 stack is like full manpower, I think they'll be fine. With the air tree if you're landing Cairo, that's true. Oh, geez, yeah, this okay, surprisingly strong army here. Let's see if we can bait that out. Yeah, maybe we can try to bait that out. Let's cancel the invasion where you take more losses needlessly. Let them go back home and see if they move to Eritrea to defend. Are you guys just going to the Rhine? That's fine. The Rhine is not too far away, so that's okay. It's gonna be a while till they get there, so we're gonna win this war. I think it's just gonna be a little bit uh, frustrating to win, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. Number eight GDP, by the way, we're, we surpassed Prussia. We're working on getting past, um, working on getting past uh, Austria Hungary. They're not going to get some major power, that's good. Okay. 
So once they take this, they should like feel like they need to move down to, to peck this front, right? Should be how that works, eh? They're not just gonna stand up there. I mean, it works if they stand up there, but yeah, they're gonna send troops down. Okay, there now they send everyone. Now let's get let's get moving. Okay, so the Marine Royale with the first Belgian army, slightly inefficient, it's okay. You guys push until armies get here, then you're just going to defend and just hold them as long as possible. Nice. They're about to arrive, okay good, you got one more push in. Then you're going to defend. And you all just chill there, hold the line while the... While the navy goes to invade. Unfortunately, he does have his fleet here, so we're going to have to beat his fleet prob probably. And they're sending 11 men up here, but 11 is not going to be enough to resist. You guys just hold out against 120 for as long as you can. You'll see, they won't hold out for very long, but it should be long enough, hopefully. Nice. Please win this battle a little bit faster. Okay, stop not winning the battle. Stop just cancelling the battle. Can you just win the battle, please? You want a white piece? Absolutely not. Oh my god, they're sending men back up. Because the damn navy was here. We have to defeat that navy first. Truly really brilliant AI. Yeah, I mean, they're trying their best. It is a powerful strat, after all. Also, we're not building anything right now, which is probably not good. Definitely be building stuff. Always. We use tax capacity here. Maybe that's what's been fucking me, actually, is the lack of tax capacity. Cancel and invade again. Oh wait, now we're landing. Now we're losing them. Okay, cancel it. These guys are probably going to get kicked out of here as well. See if they move. Okay, now they're moving it looks like. Yeah, okay, now they're moving. Now we just do it again. Take a Chad. They have to finish moving there, then they go back here. And now there's no- okay, this, of course they have another navy coming out though. Like, whether it has any morale or not is irrelevant, it just makes it so that we have to go through the, the process of beating the navy, and that's what's really annoying about this. See, because it just takes forever for the navies to get into fights. Just debated them? I mean, kind of, yeah. I guess we can defeat this navy, then try to fight again. How are we doing over here? These guys are actually holding out, by the way. Hilarious. We'll have to beat this navy so it goes back into the port, and then try again with the cancelling the invasion and stuff. Should be defeated? I think because they have multiple navies is why. But it is what it is. They're actually beating me, but now they're sort of retreating at the last second, so never mind. I guess now we win. Even though they were winning. Well, it looks like- are they still gonna be able to win even though they started retreating? Never mind. there you go. Now we're winning. That's funny. I, I love when that happens. It's hilarious. Like, oh, they were winning, but they suddenly broke morale and started treating. Waste. Okay, there they're gone. Okay, there we invade. Okay, but but now we cancel the invasion to make them leave again. Okay. Now they leave. Then we just send the army again. The four guys there. They're gonna send them all. Keeping four there. Okay, fair enough. Keep the four, pal. Now we do it against the four guys. Hopefully they don't send this navy out to come and fight. How's our occupation here? Hopefully they can hold out a little bit longer. You want peace again? Absolutely not. I will I will run you dry, Egypt. And now there's no now there's no navies to contest this. Thank goodness. I think we can beat the four the four thousand, yeah, surely. Oh, the Netherlands coming in clutch to help us over here, by the way. That's cool. We had Holy Lands, too. We could invade Palestine. That's true. We could do that. Fortunately, they're sending more troops up again. So I think we try to, like, win this fight, maybe. And then when the troops have arrived, we cancel the invasion once this battle wins. We're losing. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Cancel the invasion again. I send the troops away. And all of them away, please.
Okay, I guess we could try invading Palestine. I mean, sure. Do that instead. One from Sinai. Oh, okay, they broke that. Okay, now we have to reinvade here. This is so scuffed. Why aren't they invaded? Come on. Get in there. They just they just don't want to invade. They're like, no, I don't wanna go. Okay. Excellent. These guys are gonna invade in Eritrea again. Okay, now, okay, the front's open. Okay, hold on, the front is open. <laughs> this is so scuffed. But the Cairo is now open. We're here, you should be attacking. They, okay, now they're putting, they're put 12 dudes here. Oh my goodness, dude. They just... The AI is being smart. Someone stop them. They're not allowed to be smart like this. Okay, well, let's try invading Suez, I guess. Or Sinai, whatever. If we just keep spamming invasions, surely we will eventually get through. How many deaths have there been? How many casualties are we talking about here? Yeah, okay. My Turks should take to form Turkey? I have no idea. They're beating them on the open front? I don't think I can, though. They have a lot of... They have a ton of men. Oh, I guess we could go there. Hold on, wait a minute. Why don't we... Wait, are they going all the way around? No, we have to... No, don't make us go around. Wait, screw that. Never mind, we're not going to go all the way around the Red Sea. Screw that. Where'd the army go? Send them, send them here. Oh, they're going all the way around. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Okay, hold on. In that case, then let's go back to just let's go and naval invade. Uh... The Netherlands? Not yet. No, I I need to get a treaty port off of France because they they took a treaty port from the from the Dutch. Let's do let's invade Palestine. This is literally faster than trying to get to the front in Sinai or in in, in here in Jordan. Start conscripting. Why not? Because we could just beat them over front if we can get the big conscript army out there. They have another navy again, so that's really annoying. Apparently, these guys are ready for the naval invasion. There they are. They appeared. This navy is so annoying. Monarchist Mexico? I you mean like what do you mean did I know about them? Like there was a Mexican Empire in history, it's true. I'm losing so much money from having to buy all these uh these military goods. Unfortunate. Okay, there that, that ended. So now we have to reinvade Eritrea again to pull the army away. They're just going to sit here, unable to invade until we randomly attack these guys. You better to become a protectorate? No, I don't want to do that. I, in order to, like, become the Netherlands by joining France, I'd have to be their dominion. It's like, bro. Was it a bad Turkish joke? I didn't really get it. What if you add a Turk? Oh, like, add a Turk? Okay, now I think I get it. It just took me a minute. Was Mexican Empire? I do know about that, yes. I'm aware of that in this game. Where are these guys going? That's 129,000 men. Are they going to this front? Oh, they are, okay, I see. 
Can you like ever fight this navy, or are we just gonna sit here watching forever? I guess so. I guess we'll have to just invade Eritrea again. There we go, come on. Dream five minutes, your thing, Dream. Good. Blue land complete, let's go. Okay, so now you defend. Okay, it looks like okay, it looks like Pyro is open right now. So we probably should naval invade Cairo. It was once an empire? I did know about that, yes. That I did know. Yeah, it looks like... Are they moving here? No, they're moving down south. Okay. We just gotta get through this this navy, which is really annoying. They're gonna get her through it. Okay. Now, rather than do this naval invasion... Let's just cancel this. We're gonna invade Cairo. This time we're getting in, boys. I, I believe. Surely this time we're getting in. Get in there. Come on. Please. There we go. Okay, finally. Finally we're in. That took that took forever. Jeez. <laughs> we're in. Okay, now you're not defending the front anymore, so... I guess you guys can push them. Are you willing to surrender? Oh, but they became a major power! No! We wasted the infamy. Chat. <laughs> they became a major power, so it doesn't even matter. Are you kidding me? We did all this for nothing? Okay, well, we did all this for nothing. It's fine. Copium. Alright. Well, we didn't get- we can't make them a- we can't- we couldn't turn them into a, uh, protectorate. Now they're gonna drop to minor power, and then we can try again, but what a waste. Why isn't there releasable Jerusalem? There's releasable Israel. And so that's, you know, there's that. But. No releasable uh, Jerusalem. I mean, I guess we at least opened their market. You know, funny, I guess. Hilarious, haha. Made them a republic. That was such a waste, though. That's such a huge waste of time. Can I at least reduce autonomy now? Yeah, we can reduce autonomy. 1% chance they accept. Okay, let's wait till they seem like it to accept them. How about you? 38. I think if we let our manpower get back up, they'll be more willing to accept. No damage relations. Don't do that. Natural enemy. Come on. Texas time? Yeah, okay, I guess it is Texas time, isn't it? I want to let the men recover for a bit, though. There isn't a Christian state in the area? Well, there's not really any Christians here. That's probably why they, probably why that's the case, right? There's not really a whole lot of Christians in general. There's some Orthodox, I guess. I don't know if that's because of, like, that might be because of these North Caucasian immigrants, though. And Armenians. Probably make some paper in here so we can get better prices for our paper. Super, yeah, our paper is really expensive. That'd help with our with our economy or with our budget rather. Welcome back, Dream. Unfortunately, Dream, we managed to land in Cairo, but Egypt became a major power before we finished the war. So because of that, um, we couldn't enforce the war goal. So instead, we just got war operations. We you know made them a republic, and that was that. It became a major power. Very sad. Oh, Brazil became a republic. Cool. Oh, Britain's invading China again. Okay. Taking Guangdong. Based. Oh, dude, our um, our healthcare is going crazy. The war took so long. It took so long, and we didn't even get anything for it except for some war reps. But obviously, that doesn't cover the cost of all the guns we used. But it is what it is. It's fine.
What we need is this treaty port. That's what we kind of really need right now. I think maybe we could ask the French to trade. Like, if I were to... Economy and subjects, they would refuse right now, so I don't, I don't really want to go to war with them. I guess the Netherlands is pretty easy, though. Maybe that's just worthwhile. Because they would refuse. This bill is not over yet, unfortunately. 41% chance. Do we, do we gamble this? Uh, I don't want to. I think I want to wait till my armies are a little bit stronger before we go for something like that. That. Get rid of these extra fleets and stuff. What's happening here with Prussia and Russia? Hello? Everything is freezing. Ace. That was scary. Humiliate Russia, Treaty Port in Denmark, Treaty Port in Denmark, and War Operations. Wow, what a big war for like nothing. I have claims on that. Ooh, that's a good Okay, yeah, that's that's a fair idea. Yeah, okay, we could probably trade Tunis for yeah, that's good. Let's grab this then. That's a good idea. I like this. Oh, and the French are now in a massive uh, civil war. Okay. To begin improve relations with the new France. Because I assume that France is going to win. Unless they want help. Oh, I don't think. Do I, not, I don't have an interest in this area, do I? That's hilarious. No interest here. Okay, well, I can't help them. <laughs> okay, well, we'll take, we'll take Tunis anyway, and hopefully we can give that to. Maybe we can trade it with the French right before they go to war. Although I think they're going to end up at war anyway. Pretty soon. Even so, conquering Tunis could be good for me just because it's more land. You know, we could use it for... They have quite a few barracks here. 19 barracks is nice, actually. We can use them. Saved before though? Nah. That's coward strats. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh, Austria joined this war. I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. Why are they so anti me conquering Tunis? They're allied. I didn't know they were allied. Okay, rip. I should have seen that. Well,. Damn. Okay, well, I don't really want to fight Austria-Hungary, so let's go back uh, a little bit. We can beat France now? I guess, yeah, I guess I can just declare war on them, right? But then... That's scary, though, to fight France. It's very scary, because even though they're small, they're still pretty powerful. Yeah, so now we're not doing this anymore. I guess we start breaking relations then with France. Unfortunately, we're friends, so I need to make them not like me as much in order to actually fight them. Bro got no luck right now? Ain't no way. No luck at all. But Colin is anything they haven't finished yet? Okay, we can try that. Let's see, what, what do they have? I guess we could try to... Where can I establish colonies? So I'll do this, I guess. Yeah, so it looks like French Republic. They took all of South Cameroon, but is there anywhere else? I could try to give them, like, Guyana, but then I'd have to integrate the Netherlands for that. I guess I can declare an, yeah, I can declare an interest here and hope that maybe we can try to help them and they give me the treaty port back. Return for help with the war, sure. Hopefully the interest comes in. Okay, no, there's the... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> too too late. Well... 
can expel diplomats. It kind of sucks to do that, but we can expel diplomats. Even then, though, we actually don't quite... We need to reduce relations more. We don't actually have enough reduced relations. That's 10 infamy for, like, nothing. For just reducing relations. Like, bro. Ain't no way. We still have 81 bat battalions, by the way. Philosopher King. What is he, a technocrat? Oh, damn, technocracy. Crazy. You have the interest earlier? No, it's fine. I don't want to do that too much. It feels too cheaty, you know? We'll just keep an eye on where France puts colonies down and see if we can try to trade colonies. This is fine. Wonder why it's so unpopular on Twitch? Because people don't really like this game. There's a lot of hate for this game. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, because the game the game is kind of lackluster in people's eyes. So you get a lot of people who don't really like it much. So you don't, people don't watch it on Twitch much. Although you'd be surprised. Um, the problem, I'd say, more is that, uh, is that people, like, like, is that content creators don't want to make content about this game because it's so frustrating to play. Hey, for what reasons? The, this game is very, um, like, maligned for its sort of really random, like, like, it's, the AI is really bad, and the game is kind of simple, and, like, people get really upset at this game, basically, and I think it's, it's fun enough, and hopefully with the next DLC, they'll make it a little better, but basically a lot of content creators don't want to play this game, because it's very difficult to play, you could say. I guess I could declare an open market play on the French Republic, and then we can add, I mean, yeah, that works, actually. Then we can just add that we take the treaty port. I don't know why we can declare open market plays, but even when we're friends, but it is what it is. Add the take treaty port. I can't. I want the I want the treaty port. <laughs> That's what I want. So why can't I get it? Come on, man. Really? Oh. This is what I mean about why people don't like the game, is I want to take this land, but I know, I know what's happening here. It's, um, what's happening here is that, uh, I can't take a treaty port because he's too big, right? So, France is, uh, France is like a great power. So because of that, I can't take the take treaty port war goal against them. Um... Which means that, you know, obviously, we can't take the treaty port they have in me. So I have to just sit here and not be able to take the treaty port, which is really, really annoying. I mean, I guess we can try to just get, like, parts of Africa or something. Because right now, this is a big waste of my time, basically. And Prussia sides with them. Okay. That's funny. That's real funny. That's, that's, a, that's a real funny one, eh? Yeah, that's really annoying. Because we can't take this treaty port. That's awful. Can I maybe sway England in? They want a state? Yeah, that's, that's not happening. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't work. We can't do that. That sucks. Okay, unless it's not far back enough. <laughs> Hold on. Transfer for Alsace the rain. That's hilarious if they did that. It's really funny. France is giving up Alsace the rain. Oh, Terry, what's your name? How you doing? Cat, cat boys in chat. Let's go. Just a cat? Ain't no way. <laughs> I guess we can just reduce Netherlands autonomy then. This will be really good, so let's just do it. Even though it's going to put us in a war. It sucks to go to war over an autonomy reduction, but whatever. And we'll just, we'll just get all the conscripts going just to expedite this. The Morocco as well. Through they do. 
We're gonna see how things look once this once this revolt defeats the French. At least I assume they're gonna defeat them. Hot war operations. Both of them. I'm not gonna bother this because they're gonna come to me anyway. You're gonna revoke your claim on on Bologna, I guess. That doesn't matter. Apparently, Brazil will be willing to join. Cool. Very nice. Is France gonna win this against the revolt? Wow. Okay. Looks like they might. This is again probably because there's just like supply issues for the for the revolters. No, it's not. Okay, I don't know what it is then. I don't know why France is able to win here, despite like all of this revolt being there. Should get my navy up here, help out. I can just invade into Friesland. But not with France, they're getting a little, you know, they're just doing French things. That's what they do, you know. Regime change. Half infamy? Half a point of infamy? Sure. Why not? Make them become a republic as well, just like me. No more Willem van Oranje Nassau. They just have crazy morale? Yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're just getting the W. Or Prussia's involved. Oh, that's why. Prussia's here. I didn't realize Prussia was involved in the war. That's why. Okay. Fair enough. Just Sam's autonomy? I will after this war. They're pushing back. Okay, well, we gotta just do a, a, do an invasion around them. Of course, they have a fleet there. Something Texas yet? Yeah, we kind of other priorities came up, but yeah, we'll go for Texas. Don't worry, we'll get them. Get them eventually. Oh my god, they're actually pushing me though. Bro, ain't no way. Surely the conscripts will arrive soon enough to save me. Gosh. Oh no. I'm scared, chat. What if they'd beat me? What do they get if they do what do they get? They get independence? So they want oh man, they're not getting independence. They want they they are they're fine staying as a as a uh as a dominion, but they want Flanders and Wallonia, which would effectively destroy me. So yeah, they're not letting that happen. Their conscripts are coming in though, so I think once the conscripts uh come in enough, uh we'll be able to outnumber them and win. Now we're invading in here. Clap. Okay, we got that. That sadly isn't his capital. That's unfortunate. I think now we can just push though. This sucks because it's probably gonna cause a lot, it's probably gonna cause like um devastation here, I imagine, or maybe not. They don't want Holland back, yeah, that's kinda crazy. They don't want Holland back. I think we're gonna win now though that we, we got this back door and I think we'll be alright. It was a little scary for a second, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah. It's all good now.
We can paper to reduce our costs. That'll be nice. Big 30k on paper, that's quite a bit. I spend a lot on government wages, and unfortunately, like, we could lower these, but I do like having the, the authority and the prestige, but it is what it is. They got no manpower now. Damn, they're screwed. 15, bat 15 battalions? 2,000 men. <laughs> That's one against the revolt? They did, yeah. They sure did. Okay, fair enough. We'll stop doing that, yeah. We can try to just trade with them again. They'll show boom. Give the mines more throughput. What's the throughput now on our iron mines? 67%. Insane. You don't even have all the economy of scale that we could be getting if we get more stuff. Yeah, Sag, Barndo, but the DLC being delayed. Very Sag. What much joining that for? Looks like nothing. They seem to just... Maybe they got some bankroll or something, but... Looks like they didn't do it for anything. I think they're just friends. Yeah, they're just friends with France. Russia and France are, are buddies in this world. Annex Liberia. Paste. There we go. Netherlands are done. We don't need to. I, mean, I want to reach some changes because it'll be funny, but we don't really need to, to be fair. When I do this, I believe then the East Indies will become my, my subject, which will increase my income quite a bit, which is nice. Nordestino mass migration to Flanders. Okay. Cool. Love to see that. Alright, there we go. There's the war over. So now I believe you guys are my subjects. Yeah. What was the chance that you accept? Belgian East Indies. Curse. Let's improve relations. I should have improved relations before, to be honest. 42%. Um, I'm willing to risk it. Nice. Let's go, dude. Accepted. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's increase relations with all these guys. Can we do this on indies? Oh, because is that because then we gain all these guys as like guys? We don't necessarily want to actually. Oh, I see. We want them to conquer stuff. Sexist time now? I think maybe it is. Let's see, radical party formed. Okay, that's fine. Dixie migration to Wallonia? Let's go, boys. The Southerners. This, the game freezing like this is really scary for me, by the way. The fact that it freezes my timer as well. That's very monk ass. Definitely get better explosives. Need those for our mines. Declare Newport most likely, yeah, but at the same time. At the same time, right? They'll declare war on me, but we got Britain to help us. I'm in the British market. You know, it's fine. Right? What could go wrong, eh? They 1% chance they would accept is being conquered. Okay, let's see. Damn, never lucky. <laughs> never lucky. Move to Guyana to get closer. Those are income now. It looks like we're making quite a bit of money from yeah, we're getting a lot of war reps and stuff. East Indies being a Dominion is quite a good income. That's nice. The other one's probably isn't worth that much. Okay. 100% sure. Bro, it's fine. We got Britain, we'll keep us safe, okay? Britain's my Britain's my buddy. Well, they are they do have a defensive pact with America though, so maybe they're not so maybe they will prefer to keep Texas safe. <laughs> but I can always uh, you know I'll just I'll just release uh, CSA. Screw it, right?
It's too much of a meme to not do, guys. I gotta do it. I've had a bunch of extra war goals just to, um... Just to, you know, make them more, more scared so that they'll back down, maybe? We can even attack Mexico for the rest of uh, Texas, which would be kind of funny. We're number seven now, number seven economy. We're almost ahead of the United States. Getting there. So working on our paper mills. It's going to help with our expenses quite a bit. Mexico Major. They are a major power. Number 8 major power. We could have protected them. That would be pretty sick. But no, they're a major power. Unfortunately, no. Comes the war. I'm pretty sure Mexico's army doesn't stand a chance. Do they even have like line infantry? They've got they've got skirmish infantry. Okay, never mind. They got skirmish infantry. They're probably importing all that stuff. Although they actually have a munition plant. Okay. So they do actually make local ammunition. Makes sense for Mexico. Wouldn't put it past them. Nonetheless. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter who we even put in power. Everyone's radical. It's, it's all the same. It doesn't really matter much. We kind of have exactly what we want anyway, except for the fact that we don't have free trade, but we're not controlling our market, so it doesn't really matter. It'd be nice to get total separation, but Texas, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Did I misspeak? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It's fine. That is a that you're right. That is a massive Mexican army. That is crazy. How did they pull that off? Jeez. It's all line infantry, so it's not skirmish, but that is actually an insane Mexican army. That's not as big as the Americans because of the conscripts, but still crazy. Forty-one flotillas, yeah, that's pretty good. It's about as much as the Americans, holy. Oh, we should try to attack Brazil pretty soon. The great power, maybe. If they keep making the, if they keep their economy going. Although they're, they've had a bit of a depression, it looks like. But, um, maybe. Yeah, the Americans might be scared of them. Although, I, I think the Americans could still beat them pretty easily. Especially because they've got skirmish infantry and the Mexicans have line infantry, but still. Maybe they don't see it as worthwhile or something. How am I losing? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. This should not be happening. Anarchists. Surely Texas will not defeat me, right? Really. Oh my god. They're dug in. Guys. That'd be get obligation. What for from this? They won't want to give it. Sag. No meaningful difference. On oh, the colonies, Gabon. Oh wait, we can. Okay, they colonize that, so we can try to trade for that. Let's go establish a colony here. We can try to trade them. Surely, I will not lose to Texas, right, chat? Surely. A freezing game. I don't like this. Thank you. That's really spooky when that happens. Let's cancel this and then redo it. <laughs> I don't know. That way it'd be funny. Get in there. Oh. 
Now nah, we're winning. Let's go, dude. Only 6k men? Yeah, but they only have 2,000 men, okay? I, I think I should be able to win. They just have a lot of defense, unfortunately. How's the paper doing up here? Pretty good. Got 5 million pops here. It's not bad. Caused a lot of lag to look here. Let's just close this so it causes less lag. That doesn't seem to help much, fortunately. Texans are scary. It seems to be the case, yeah. Why neither Mexico nor America have conquered them, I guess. I think we lost that battle, surprisingly enough. We may have lost that battle. They only have a thousand manpower left, but I've only got... You know, not much more. 6,000. So we have six times as many men. New Central Americans arriving in chat, by the way. Is he not causing this because he has a claim? He's just not causing this for, like, no reason? It's kind of weird. Let's colonize it, little bro. Surely we can win this one. Come on. Okay, income. Make more use of construction. I want to get out of debt a little bit, though. I'm kind of high in debt right now. And also, a lot of this is from um, uh, war ups and stuff. So we're waiting until we can get out of debt a little bit. Because we're spending quite a... We're spending, like, a solid 8k on interest. I'm gonna wait for... Wait for some debt to clear up. Still losing what? What? What is this? Cancel the invasion and do it again. How do they do? How does Texas this powerful? Explain this one, chat. They're too strong. They've, only, they've got even they've got even less manpower now. 1,000 men. How much innovation do I have? Not nearly enough. Like 72. We need a lot more than that. The true superpower of the Americas. True. Come on, guys. Get in there. Okay. Only 900 men. 900 Texans versus 5,000 Belgians. I believe. Look at them go. Rapid advance. That's right. There we go, boys. Almost two times as fast? Yeah, we can. But then I gotta build a bunch of universities, and that would cost paper. It cost money for government wages. I don't want to look chat. Are we winning? Are we winning? How's the are we, are we at high enough morale yet? I think it was another battle. Really? Come on, boys. It's just a handful of Texans. I'm gonna wait till these paper. I'm gonna wait till the paper's done. Then we'll do. Then I think we'll do um, the paper and the government administration. Because right now I think we're having tax capacity issues. Yeah, well, not too bad tax capacity issues. This one's having bad issues. Let's build some here. Um, we're going to wait for these to finish. Then I think we go for universities. Has the paper in their market? You said you say that, but the, the price of paper was extremely high for a while, and I had to reduce the cost. Hey, look here, it gets going to buildings. I guess it doesn't really it doesn't show it here, but the price was, uh, was quite high <laughs> a little while ago. We look at like a graph of the price. I guess actually, okay, it seems to evened out. But most of the orders are coming. See, look, almost a solid seventh of the orders coming from me. Because I need more paper. There we go. That GDP. Regard, really, that's probably what it was. Yeah, for a while it was super expensive, so I, I stepped in to uh, increase the paper production. Yeah, it looks like they went to this one. They went to the standardized filing system. Come on. This is like the most heroic victory I've ever seen in my life. We're losing so many men just to like take a shitty piece of Texas. To be fair, there's a lot of arable land here, so we could just like drop all the corn ever in here and just make a bunch of corn. Although there's not many pops here, so we'd have to wait for some pops to get here. It's, it's just a bunch of slaves, Dixies, and Romanians. That's who lives here. 
And then some natives. Nice. 3 million loyalists. Yeah, we're quite loyal. A lot of loyalists going. Oh, okay, probably should deal with that. Although I believe, yeah, so... I don't know what, what what's wrong with this, but this happens to me sometimes. I don't know what's happening here. For some reason, I don't have access to uh, South Africa, even though we have a port in Gaza. I don't know what's going on here, but basically I can't send units here. I had this happen in my America playthrough when I was colonizing a bit. I'm just, like, not allowed to go to Griqua land, which I don't know what to do about it. It's really weird. I guess we can call Britain in for something, and then they can give me access through Cape Colony, but Cape Colony won't even necessarily join the war, will they? And they also want something that I don't really want to give them, so... Really annoying. There we go, we finally invaded uh, Texas. Finally. You knew Texas would be the hardest war so far? No, that would be Egypt. Egypt was the hardest. I don't really care for operations for them, so let's end this. Went to front directly? I can't actually. See, look, look, they're just, I'm not allowed to. They're just, there's no, there's no valid alternatives. So I just, I can't. They're just, I can't go to South Africa for some reason. Um, we can, I guess we can attack the Zulus and use that as a way to maybe get access down there, but I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not allowed to. I just, I'm just not allowed to. It's really annoying. It's like a weird bug. We did it, though. We conquered Texas. Insane. Oh, see, now are we allowed to? It looks like now we're allowed to? No, oh, no, so this front is available. See, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on here. I, oh, no, never mind, it's not. We're not allowed to send a, anyone to a front here. Feels weird, man. There's no... Yeah, Texas does have a lot of um, a lot of arable land, so you can get pretty good migration here. But still, it'll be it'll be a while till a lot of migrants end up there. There are 127,000 peasants here, though, so we could just that's quite a bit of people to employ. Run's going well. Having a good time so far. We're number six economy. We just beat out the Americans. Let's go. We gotta beat Russia next. Violate sovereignty. Base. Right, once the war with Zulu happens, I think we can just... There we kill the spider. No, I don't know where it went. It's just it's somewhere here now. I lost track of it, so I don't, it's, it's gone now. Once the war with Zulu happens, we can naval invade Zulu, and then through Zulu we should be able to get into Grickoland. So we can do that at least. I don't know why it's like weirdly broken. It's just, it's just really weird. All right, get in there, boys. Probably should sent the navy over, but whatever. I was being lazy. Um, am I making this a state? I am making this a state. That's excellent. Ukrainians coming to Wallonia. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds good. Another cultural community to add to the list. Oh my god, iron's price is back to... We can still make more iron and get even more profits from it. Crazy. I guess you might as well, right? Lots of infrastructure for it. 
we're supposed to make universities, though. Kind of messing up. I should be making universities. Oh, well. The Zulus have skirmish infantry? Surely not, right? They just got irregulars. Okay, I think we'll be fine. In fact, they moved their army out, so that was really smart of them. That was that was a very intelligent move on their part. I guess we can move the... So, so now can I move the other army in? Like, now we can go to these fronts. So I guess for whatever reason, like, Gaza doesn't count as access... Oh, I think I know why. I think I actually do understand why. So, I have... Lorenzo Marques is a split state, right? Okay. The port is here. I think because I don't control this, I don't actually have port access to this area, like, in terms of um, armies. But I do have port access through market, which is really weird. But yeah, I think it's because this is not actually in the part of the state that I own. That makes sense. Like, now I understand. I think no, now I understand now. Okay, checks out. Get there, get there, get there, get there for the do it. Okay, nice, good. If I come to the world, it is true. From your last run, yeah, I, I never, I never thought of it until now. I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, see how the ports here and the Portugal owns that, so the armies can't get in. They can't, they can't go in here to go and reach the rest of the, the rest of the combatants. Unfortunate. But now that I take, once I take Zulu though, we'll have access, so we'll be fine. Checks out. It's a bit of a weird thing, um, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, I guess if there's no port, then oh well. But now, now I understand, yeah, that there's there's no port here. We'll have to take this off of uh, Portugal, which to be fair, we probably could, but it's okay. We'll get Zulu, and that'll be good enough. This up. Polish migration from Krakow. Okay. Are there even that many people here? Am I taking like what what remains of their population? <laughs> oh gosh. That would suck for them so bad. They're just losing like a shit ton of their main their main pop type. Hate to see it, Zach. That sucks. Yeah, professional army? No, I'm still on national militia, funnily enough. Still a national militia. Maybe I should have get the professional army, but the problem is the rural folk aren't gonna like it, and they're kind of the main power here. Only ones that want it are the army, and they're they're marginalized, so everyone's just radical. No one wants anything. We already have we've done everything that everyone wants from politics forever. There you go, war's over. Okay, great. Love to see that. Guess we can integrate this. I mean it's gonna take forever, but sure. Let me uh, let's swap them over to my my type of stuff. Go. I'm just kind of stuck in this game. They just take a long time. They they take a long time to raise, but once they're up, they're about as good as any regular troops. The thing is, they don't keep um, experience the problem, right? So you're gonna have trouble with uh, your army's not really having like experience mod like veterancy modifiers. But it is what it is. Okay, France. Once this war is over, I'm gonna try to trade. I'm gonna try to trade, um, you know, Gabon over here, Belgian Gabon, for uh, for this treaty port. See if he wants it. He's genial, so he likes me, so we should be able to do that, hopefully. We'll see. It's okay. Great. Okay, now let's try to let's try to do a trade. So I want to give you none of these are Gibbon. Can I not trade on Arlingen? You want anything? I mean, bro, doesn't want anything. I don't know why I can't give any stuff. 
I just don't want any of this stuff, dude. Fuck. I just want to be able to become <laughs> the, uh, all I want is to become the United Netherlands, man. Oh, so we have full state. Okay, so we have to wait until he cuts me off so I can't, uh, I can't colonize anymore. I see. Okay. Well, so once he finishes colonizing, once Gabon gets fully colonized, then, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Look at this tiny Texas. 11,000 people. Who are all Native American Suans. No buildings, except for three barracks, which can't even get more than a thousand men in them. How do you even get that port? Which port? Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Oh, jeez. French Nigerian Congo. That's really cursed. Oh, the new the new landowner guy is a market liberal. That's funny. French in the Netherlands, up in Texas. That's not France. That's that's Texas. Wait, I'm, I'm reading multiple people, people's messages. Hold on. The French in the Netherlands. Oh, you mean oh this? You mean this was because I I asked them for help against the Netherlands and I offered them the treaty port and I was like, sure, you can have it. I expected I'd be able to get it back later by just trading, and uh, that so far has turned out to be more difficult than I expected. Texas does still live. Yes, Texas is still here. They're still here. There's some infamy to take, oh, to take Brazil. It's a bit much, considering my current... I don't want to go above 50. Going above 50 would be kind of scary. It sucks that we're imposing right now. Can I maybe get it? I mean, I'm not really going to be able to pick out the role folk, am I? Well, we could... That's an okay government. That's also an okay government. We could do this, but... Damn. That way we could get rid of the royal folk and we could have a different guy. Get the cautious guy instead for, for minus 3% infamy generation. That's probably worth... Or I guess we can do this. We can exile the current royal folk guy because he's imposing. Oops, let me pin him. Please. Let's do this. It's too similar to that of our ruler. Oh my god. Okay, we okay, we have to get a Okay. Um we need someone okay, the Catholics have to become the the leaders just temporarily. Just for a very brief moment. Okay, a, a protectionist, whatever. Um now put him back in charge. Who, who how is he though? That's yes, fine, okay. And we can go like this. Great, and then that way we don't have to worry about imposing. Okay, cool. You can abdicate. It would be a lot of work to abdicate, to resign from office or whatever. It'd be a ton of work compared to just like doing that exile. This. I'd like to get to malaria prevention, I guess. I mean, why not, right? That'd be kind of cool. Mutual funds would be nice as well, so we can try to uh, get... Or, oh, steel frame buildings, though. This, I, want, I want it all, dude. I want all of it. <laughs> it's all so good. All the, the level 3 society attacks are, like, insane. To be honest. Also, now that we're basically out of debt, I'm going to uh, start making way more construction. Really ramp up our construction massively. Get that GDP inflating. Gotta get past Russia, you know? administration in Ethiopia. I've never used colonial administrations before. What's the point of them? Like, why would I not just want to control the land for myself, you know?
Oh, because then they incorporate them. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. That's good to know. Oh, lowering a center lane. But this only counts the incorporated states, doesn't it? Or does it count all the... Or does it actually count all of the states? Maybe it does. In that case, yeah. Okay, fair enough. It would, it would make your average living pretty low. Okay, we've almost made the Walloonians no longer the true majority. Right now, right now they're still the majority of 1%. We're a little bit more and they'll become a they'll become a plurality, which is different than a majority. These are the largest of a non-major group. We're going to have to spend money for owning the states. So I see. Okay, so they basically pay you taxes. Okay, that makes sense. In the case like down here though, for example, like with... Um, I wouldn't want to do South South Africa because I can get all this gold, right? This is definitely worth holding on to myself. I wouldn't do it down here, but I understand. Don't need cool. that way. These guys don't have a, a, a shortage. They have their own armies. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Okay, okay, I understand. I got you. Lots of Portuguese here. That's crazy. Almost a million Portuguese in Bologna. Got more interests now, so I guess we can declare some. Looks good. like a Unite Ethiopia play going on here? Like, kind of. Let's go for this campaign? No, I'm just trying to have some fun. I don't really have a particular goal outlined. I think I just want to get, like, maybe, want to get, like, number one GDP. We'll see. I'm trying to learn how to play the game in the current patch because I haven't played I haven't played Vic three like full like properly in a very long time. Oh, more gold and trans well. I haven't played it like, properly in a very long time, so I don't remember like how the game works exactly in the new patches. I want to learn that again. That's basically all. Opportunity to get everything, maybe? What do you mean? That's all stuff, that's good. Just see some massive migration happening down here now. I mean, this is literally incorporated, so we can treat this like, you know, it's okay to build stuff here and get taxes from it and everything. Sex is still Bantu, let's see. Looks like it, yep. Still Bantu. I don't imagine like people are migrating here. Uh, one, one person came here, okay. Cool. Or Ethiopia forms. It's fine. I don't really, I don't, I know that maybe it's suboptimal, but I'm not really interested in Ethiopia right now. I'd get rid of that. What I really want is to get this, uh, get this, uh, you know, this treaty port, but it is what it is. Just that one guy, Jeff. Yeah, he was like, you know what? I'm going over there. What could go wrong? We could try to get compulsory primary school, but we nobody wants it, so we'd have to... We'd have to, uh, wait, you know, wait. Or we could, I mean... Yeah, there's no way we can possibly get it. We'd have to wait for some like reformers to come into power. I've been stuck with these uh, with these with these guys for so long though. It's crazy. These guys are all in here. You can check French Nigeria. 
French Niger. They got 7 million GDP. It's not bad. 6 million pops. French Senegal. They're doing pretty okay. The Spectre haunting the world. Here we go, boys. So this is like communist stuff, right? But I think we're not going to possibly... Yeah, see, we're literally... There's no way we're going to, like... There is no way this is going to actually fire because our people are way too happy. We'd have to, like, intentionally throw in order to make that happen. Although, it looks like Intelligentsia being anarchist means we can get multiculturalism, so... Let's go for it. <laughs> Hog. 13% uh, chance. Nobody wants it. Um, well, we'll see if we can get it. Let's see. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I'm willing to try it. Only problem is that I think the rural folk are going to leave government because of this, so then that's going to sap our legitimacy a bit, but it's okay. What map mode is this? What, what am I on right now? What is this map mode? Get me off. Eh. Oh, okay. <coughs> if we can get multiculturalism, then looking pretty good, boys. Okay, they do, they did, they did in fact do that. That's a little scary. Can we get a legitimate government with the Intelligentsia in it? Sort of, kind of, maybe. So we could just fight this revolution, to be fair. We could literally just fight it. Although it's very scary to fight, because it's like, Wallonia is kind of my big state here. I think maybe we don't. I think maybe we cancel Multiculturalism for now and we just try again later. Maybe we can hope for other Anarchists to pop up. Um, you never know if maybe we can get an Anarchist Rule Folk member. You know, it can happen. Let's fix the government again. Yeah, we'll try later. How do they feel about... So if we were to go like... Particularist. So, if we were to go to like national supremacy, isolation is that the one? Okay. If we went to national supremacy, they would be less upset at multiculturalism, so we can do that. Which we'll, would drop to zero. That's true. They would. Like we could do this first, and then that would make the rural folk less angry. So this is kind of a weird way to do, to do this, but this might work out. Okay, now we don't have enough infrastructure though, because they're upset. Let's fix that. Five here, a couple in here. Cool. I gotta use the washroom chat. We're gonna keep the game running, because you know the game's pretty slow, so be back in a second. Just gonna use the washroom. Never mind. My partner's in the washroom, so actually I'll be going later. Never mind. I'll have to hold it in. Dad. A new election, apparently. The rural folk are super gonna win. Okay. Based. Okay, if I just grant leadership to this guy. That might break up the... Maybe I can get someone in here? Who's like a good rural folk person? Get a pee bottle like generalist? True. Okay, this is good. So here's what we do. Um, we need to get this guy in here. Okay. Now he will he will oppose uh, national supremacy to the same level he opposes multiculturalism. So once we pass, na once we pass national supremacy, then we can put him on, right? And then that will mean that we'll be able to pass multiculturalism without the rural folk being angry. Because they'll just be like neutral towards it, because they dislike it equally. So that I think is how we're gonna pull this off. So we can get a more legitimate government for this. If we just do like this, for example. That should actually be easier to pass now, yeah, cool. Okay. We have a way to do this, chat. We have a way to do this. Hell yeah. God damn it. 
Okay, that's actually kind of good, though. It gets rid of- it makes them weaker. I guess we take this, yeah. Minus 5%. We, we want to have, still have a good chance to pass it. That means that the rural folk will lose some of their people, but it's not going to affect the election much. Damn, of course they got randomized, like, super high momentum when the intelligence got super low. Of course. Is Congo make them not kill I can't release them. Uh, they just weren't an option to release before, fortunately. Here. Like when I looked here, if I look here at the release subjects, there's just no con there's no Congo to release, unfortunately. Release the Confederates, Omega oh lol. That'd be funny. Not quite united. Not quite. The Harlingen Treaty Port is still there. Not quite, but we're getting there. Let's claim administration? I don't think so. Because we don't have- we would need more states. We need at least two states in Congo for that. I guess if I were to do this... Does that let me then do it? I could also just conquer a piece from here. It's all, it's all part of Congo though, so it doesn't really matter. Rubber discovered, let's go. Well, rip. Barthélemy. That's the... I don't know who this guy was, but... Check our things. Yeah, it's all fine. Nice. Socialist demagogue. That's good. The anarchist gets some popularity. I don't think it's going to help much, but still. It's, it's something. Our colonial affairs is good. How's our tax capacity? Still low over here. Um, so we need to build more of these, I guess. That'll come later. Oh. Yeah, see, he's trying to break free. Ooh, look at that. Part of me says we almost want to support that, but also that like this is part of my market. I'm in this market too, right? So I don't want to lose that stuff. So now my income suddenly went way low. Rip. Gustav Van Zeeland. Okay, who 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 got it? Who's in? Right, another okay, another protectionist. That's yeah, fine. What are his traits though? I made him like the skilled guy, right? So imperious, ambitious, charismatic. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. I can trade with France Treaty Port. I don't think um I don't think I can give them right now. If I were to do trade states, ask for Harlingen. I don't I can't I don't think of anything that they would want. Like they just don't want anything that I have. One day, we'll find something that they want eventually. I'm gonna see if I can give them maybe like Gabon, but we have to wait until this is like a full state, so it's gonna be a while for that. We'll do that. Help GB for obligation. I, I they don't want it. It looks like, but yeah, maybe that would have been a good idea. They just don't want it. They don't want to do it. Like nah, no meaningful support. Or I give on? No, because it's not a. It's not a full. It needs to be like not a colony. They have French Guyana. I guess if I can if I can grab Guyana. So once I annex the Netherlands, maybe we can do it by by giving them Guyana. Yo-Yo Sway? I don't want to piss off the... I don't, want, I don't want to piss off the Americans and the British, though, by, like, joining for a second. But I guess let's see. Oh, see, that doesn't work. 
if they accept. I can't mobilize the conscripts unless I'm actually in the war. So I don't really want I don't really want to be like in this war, nor do I want to raise the conscripts that cost money. It's okay though, it's just an obligation. It's no big deal. I, I don't need an obligation from the British. Fine. against Portugal. Hmm. Too late now. Just barely missed it. Also, we got all discovered in Texas. I guess now it's a good thing we actually have Texas. But, um... I don't know. It's fine. I don't really need to go after Portugal. I guess we could take this port, but it's it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Got the gold. That's what matters. Like, sadly, never got Egypt. Yeah, that was pretty sad. We could try again. It's 37 infamy to grab Egypt. But it uh, looks like, looks like French, the French allied them, so that's no good. Yeah, so we could do that. Uh, we could use we could definitely use an obligation to make it easier to get uh, Harlingen. But I don't know how we'd get one, like I said, I don't know how you'd get one, but... We could see if any wars come up, we could try to support them or something. Alright, we're almost done getting national supremacy. Once we have national supremacy, it's gonna suck for a minute. Check out the Ottomans, maybe. We could try, but they're they're still a major power, so we have to wait until they become a minor power. I'll pin them in case they become, you know, just in case. We'll keep an eye on it in case they become a minor power, and then we'll try. But I don't want what happened before to happen again. They're okay. Don't even know why they need my help. They they can they can deal with this pretty easily, but sure, I'll help. What's this? No, I'm not giving you no. Britain, I don't need I don't need help. <laughs> I'm good, little bro. Prepare navy. Well, my navy's pretty big. I've already got um forty seven flotillas. I think we can take the Brit the Ottoman Navy. You probably should move the navy though. You know what's a good idea is maybe to move the navy. That'd be a good idea. Let's get it in position, eh? How so long would it take to integrate the Netherlands? Uh, I think we can annex them pretty soon, actually. The truce is up in eight weeks, yeah. They got this. They don't need any help with this. Why they offered an obligation for that, but I'll take it. Oh, I don't need help, Britain. Stop. Germans coming to Flanders. Ottomans have slavery. Let's see. They probably still do. Yeah, they still have slave trade. I try to declare an interest in this area so I can actually try and fight them. Be a good idea. Their capital is still here, right? Yeah, Eastern Grace. Their prestige is like bordering on still being like on, on minor power. So it tells me they're probably not gonna, if they become minor power, they're not gonna stay minor power for very long. Yeah, Britain's really worried about this war for some reason. It's fine. Let them cook. They should be fine, yeah. They're, oh, they're actually apparently they're losing. Okay, well, shit. Nice. I think it'll be just fine. Those give them some time to wear the enemy down. The 
It's a republic, yeah. Not a peasant revolt, they're, they're a republic. That's cool. What's this? Ooh. Okay, if they if they if it ends up being the case that all oh, the Dixie Pops become more radical, no, it's fine. If it ends up being the case that we can't get them as a protectorate, it's okay, no big deal. Wasting the infamy is like whatever. It's like sure it sucks, but I don't know. I don't want to like have to reload all the way back and spend more time on this national supremacy stuff. It's like bro, I'm good. One thing I also need to do is I need to get off of freedom of conscience so that multi so that uh, you know multiculturalism can actually mean something. Because right now it wouldn't really mean a whole lot. The Raj won their war. That checks out. They occupy this. Yeah, they occupied that. That's good. The Ottomans just uh, okay, they gained more prestige, but it looks like they're still they're still barely below, <laughs> still there. But I think that they're gonna end up winning this before we can possibly get them. Yeah. We got against the Belgian overlords based. The Dixies are becoming less of a large population over in uh, over here. Looks for them, I guess. It's so funny that Texas is like majority Luvial Bantu. That really gets to me every time. I'd like to try and make a puppet out of Siam, if I can, uh, if they'll accept. That'd be really cool. There we go. So now, I should be able to put the Intelligentsia in. We can maybe get rid of the Catholics. Yeah, that's still 90, that's good. And then we can try to pass to multiculturalism or not, because we need to wait seven months. Okay, in that case, then we pass total separation while we're waiting. It's cool. And uh, yeah, we try to try to get this done. We need to put this guy in charge. Right? We'll do that soon. Okay. Because once this guy's in charge, um, then if it'll take a couple years to so put him in, but once he's in, then there won't be as much of a distaste for multiculturalism from the rural folk. So, okay, that's done. Okay, so Siam, forty five percent chance of accepting. Give it a second. First, let me see if I can annex the Netherlands. Seven percent chance. Let's see. You never know. Uh, never lucky. get a navy over here that we can use to this and now I'm gonna forget about the Ottomans I don't think we're gonna be able to just take them over just like that so it is what it is once we annex uh, Netherlands I think we'll be able to get, trade Guyana with the French for Harlingen the treaty port so that should be good yeah it's especially the Americas that are all about the uh, migration so like over here you get a lot of really weird migration patterns, but in the rest of the game usually the migration the map doesn't really change its look very much. Like it ends up being pretty much the same cultures everywhere, except where there's places with slavery. There's there's a lot of slaves being traded, then you can end up with like some weird like states that have more slaves than any other type of population, and it's pretty funny. That California. It's got this is mostly Mexican with some random Europeans here and there. Based. Majority state in Persia. I think. I think so. There probably is. Let's see. Uh. Yeah. There's this one. 
the Bongo Band. This is what happens when you import a lot of slaves, right? Is you can end up with a majority slave state. Which is funny. Even here in uh in Kars. Mostly mostly Bantu. Grab Panama. Um I don't know if I'll grab Panama or not. Maybe. Right now I just want to focus on getting Netherlands. And then try to get rid of this treaty port so we can form the United Netherlands. We've kind of just been sitting here unable to do that because of this treaty port forever. It's such a massive treaty port too. It's like, bro, you're taking up like... You took 150,000 people with you and you took Friesland, man. Damn. What a giga chad. Cool. And I don't think we even need to naval invade, but we might as well for the memes. Like a third of the entire state, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Alright, begin the invasion from behind. Cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, doesn't give us like immediate access to like another front, but it is what it is. I think I do want um, like maybe work consumption taxes, like service tax would be really nice, yeah, because we could use them uh, some extra taxes right about now. Our income isn't super good anymore. Oh my gosh, the British are just going, eh? Get them go. Here it goes. Almost there. Almost there. We go. Now ah, they're nice and occupied. Okay, great. So that should be the end of the war, basically. Once when they're traveling down there to go help with this front, that's hilarious. Does Netherlands have a front here? It's funny. Dutch Mauritania. Are there any special these things for Belgium? Let's see. It's all look to be pretty normal. Oh well. Burn Flanders plus Annex. Ika Chad. And yeah, the Ottomans definitely didn't become a minor power, so rip. It is what it is. It was close. It was an idea, it was a thought, but oh well. Bye bye, Netherlands. Great. Okay, let's go and integrate all those states. And let's see if we can trade. Let's see if we can trade this for, for Guyana. I could still make buildings less efficient in a state. Yes, it does. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll respond more to that in a second. We can't trade states right now because France is at war, I assume. Yes, they are. Okay, we gotta wait till they're done their war and then we can try to trade Guyana. Is this here since we really need to build stuff to lower radicalism? Yeah, it definitely, I would say it definitely sucks. Um, because it feels like, it feels like in order to solve the problem, you have to do something which is inherently not effective, which is like, yeah, you got to build to create jobs, but I think by create, by doing the buildings, it, like, it sucks. So usually like a, a revolt that happens in a place with really high turmoil is kind of a good thing in a way. But I guess it just disincentivizes conquest in general. It's like, yeah, you should, you should try to focus on not conquering stuff. If you don't need to. Fingers crossed. Og. Easy clap. Puppet Siam. Means now we get all these guys, so we can just reduce all their autonomy. Thank you. Great. Good 
Generation is building capabilities, so you can't build in your heartland because you need a barracks on another continent. Yeah. That def it definitely sucks, yeah. I, I totally under I totally agree. But it is what it is, you know. What are you gonna do? Just gotta live with it, I guess. Okay, we can trade states now, hold on. Taming Amazonia. Sure, okay. Trade states. Okay, so I want Harlingen. Do you want Guyana? They would not accept. Oh obligation? They would not accept. Oh my goodness. They're so close too. Let's try to improve relations. Maybe if we get the relations up, they'll be willing to accept. It's really close now. They're really close to accepting. Bro, stop. Stop. Stop with the setbacks. Just pass this, please. Diplo money check. 24.8k. Most of it's coming from the Belgian East Indies. Checks out. This will get them to accept, but that's so expensive. I can't even. I can't even. It's seventy-two thousand gold. It's a little bit too much for me, you know. No oh, cheaper start. They can't even use it. Build a few barracks real quick. Let's see. Maybe the military does. Let's see. Belgian Guyana. No, they just care about the value. I guess I can try to increase the value. Yo-Yo Sway for obligation. I guess, yeah, we could try to get an obligation from a Yo-Yo Sway. That's probably the best we can do. If we build these gold mines, it also might make them think it's more valuable, so then that could be good. So I kind of want to keep the gold mines, though. So, rip, but it is what it is. We'll try to get in relations up and see if that helps. I don't know if it's even going to help, to be honest, but... See. Banana is a good state, yeah. But oh well. It's worth it to, you know, unify our country. <laughs> quite frankly. gold mines are, are valuable. I do want to keep them, but it is what it is, you know? We can't, we can't. We're getting close to Russia now in terms of GDP. Give them Ivory Coast. All right, we can try, sure, we can try that. I mean, we can try different ones. So let's just ask for Harlingen and see if they want to accept anything else. I'm just going to click all of them and see if they want to accept any of them. I'm going to turn on the wall obligation. They don't want anything. Nope. Nope. Not that I want to give them any of this stuff, but still. Nope. They don't even want Wallonia, really. That's, that's crazy. Like, imagine if you were like, yo, like, I'll take that treaty port and you get this. This, like... 20 million GDP state. It's like, nah, I'm good. Okay, bro. You insist, I guess. Okay, that's good. Well, then I want to check in my partner because I want to use the washroom and they're still in there. I'm a little worried now.
I was able to use the washroom. Yeah, because this treaty port is in the British market, they can't even use it. See, it's an inactive treaty port. It's not even able to be used. So they're literally just like sitting there and not able to use it. Okay, have we increased the value of Guyana enough that maybe now they want to take it? Ooh, we built some gold mines, right? Maybe that makes it more valuable. Here they come. Let's see if the gold mines make them want to give it. God, I felt so good to use the washroom, dude. Oh. Okay, how about how about now? You want to trade states? You want you want that gold mine, little bro? Nope. Is it even helping? I don't even know if uh, if it helps the if it gives like more value to the state for them or something. Eighty-two weeks for a railway man? Are you kidding? Damn. Late night stream? Yes. Just colonize everything. Fuck it. Belgica will be real. I'm gonna stop streaming pretty soon though. I've been streaming for like five hours, so you know, maybe like another, at most like another hour maybe. We'll see. Okay, cool. So we, we did it. Nobody... So we can get legitimacy and loyal life standard living increases. We'll reduce labor political strength. Or we can get a lot more. Okay, let's get a bunch of loyalists. Well, we want more legit... Our legitimacy is already just like... Actually, it's not that good anymore. Never mind. <laughs> get legitimacy then. Are you back to Vicky? Because uh, the DLC was coming out and I wanted to get ready for the DLC. Then they delayed it, and I'm like, well, okay. Weird champ. The relations are 50 now, right? Okay, let's see if maybe we can do this now. Maybe with 50 relations it'll work. Arlingen. Diana. No, nope, still won't do it. The Skinner box, I hate to, I hate to love. Yeah, that's how Victoria 3 feels sometimes. It always burns me. Like, I, I enjoy it for a bit, and then it ends up burning me somehow. It's like, oh, okay, well, good. Hate to see it. It always ends up that way. You know. It is what it is. Watch for second 85 legitimacy, so we can't get this sped up a little bit. That's Sag. Possible we'll pass it. Be nice if we could. Let's see. If we can actually complete New Colossus, then we can um, we can get a ton of migration. It'll be crazy. Probably get rid of these armies. These. Get more authority to boost time? I guess so, yeah, we can try to get more authority, but I think every piece of authority I'm spending, I want to keep spending, because I've been doing these um, these decrees. I want the greener grass for sure. I guess we, well, we could probably turn off greener grass for a bit. Sure. Fine. But yeah, I just really wants that treaty port. I guess because they think maybe one day I'll, I'll leave the customs union. Because I can end the customs union whenever, and then when I do that, they'll gain a treaty port in me. But I'm pretty sure I'll become a great power the moment I leave the customs union. Look at my prestige. I have I have slightly more prestige than the United States, so I'd immediately become a great power. So it still wouldn't work. It's good. Good, it's good. Oh, no government wages. Oh, but the government wages are really expensive though. That's 14k. That's not worth it. Good. I don't want to. I don't want to go to 14k for that. You know, that's that's a lot of money. Good little bro. 20 million GDP. Yeah, you think they'd want this 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 state? You think they'd trade anything for this state? I mean, damn, it's so good. Even Flanders with 10 million. Well, that's my capital, so they can't have that. But you know what I mean? Would be crazy. Be crazy not to take it. With 60 iron mines. 
We wouldn't want that, bro. Mexico great power yet? No, they're actually almost a minor power. Yeah. Weird. America doesn't like me very much, probably because I have Texas. What's Texas's GDP? The country or the or the state? The state GDP is almost half is like more than half a mil. The country itself is two two K, three K. It's three K. Based. Oh, bro, APM. I think I already have it, but oh, I guess no, oh, not okay. Okay, do that. Sure. Sounds good. Pull these up. Cargo ports. I guess we can level all this stuff up. Sure. Now I guess we can do all. I guess we can turn railways on everywhere, but I'm not sure if it'll. It might make the mines have shortages. A little worried about that. Dynamite. I think it, this might cause a lot of shortages, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Also, have zero GDP. Um, probably not because you'll. I guess if somehow you were able to have like no like like a like a state that had people in it but no subsistence farms, get a lot of subsidies otherwise. I mean, it's only fourteen k in subsidies, but yeah, I guess it does go down after we did that. So. Fair. If you look here, like what's we're paying a lot in subsidies only because of the um, because of the normalizing the wages. That's the big thing, is to make the wages catch up with the huge wages in other places. That sucks, but it is what it is. We can always increase taxes by like one level and fix this, so I'm not too worried about it, but... Afro-Brazilians are mostly here, interesting. Alright, we have a 55% chance of passing this in 44 days. That's pretty good. The game is chugging so slowly now, it's crazy. We're only in 1870 and already it's it's getting so slow. Big three do be like that. There's cost of wave turn on these PMs. They don't go away because um ultimately a lot of a lot of the cost of a subsidy on a on a railway was uh is because of the no wage normalization. Because it's very rare that you're gonna have the the wages for the employees be high enough that it'll match the more successful places around. So this is just to normalize the wage. So if you look at the uh, workforce and we check their I think it's if we check here wages. We see here that the they're paying out 2.58 uh, because that's what they need to sustain the wealth. But then the uh, the higher wage in this like there's higher wages across this whole state, so they end up paying a much larger amount from the subsidies to maintain the normal wage. Because what you don't want is you don't want they they, they wanted to make it so that you couldn't subsidize a uh, an uh, intentionally like poor business to reduce wages across the entire state. So they implement that system, so they always normalize the wage, which is, you know, reasonable, but still, bruh. Okay, so now if we do this, the so we need to get the reformer onto the onto the onto the uh, royal folk, and if we can do that, we need to wait till we take 19 months for that. Fuck, it's a long time. Was you taking Rio? It was just that we were gonna protect her at Brazil, but every time we tried to, the French got involved, so we chose to take Rio de Janeiro at least as as some kind of reward. Um, but we're probably gonna protect her at Brazil eventually. We just don't want the French to fight us. We do that. You wanna give me Harlingen yet? <laughs> Little bro? Nope, still no. Even with the gold mines built there, they still like, nah, we don't want it, bro. Okay. You're lost. I guess I'll take the gold, but still. Well, there's not really a lot of people that are able to work in it.
I was very focused on making Flanders a little richer, because right now Wallonia is like super rich. Not even then, it could actually be richer, to be honest. We're losing pops here though, why is that? Where, where are they going? What's happening here? Why are we losing pops? Interesting, people are leaving. He's not turn on steam donkeys? Um, I think because the kind of- so the, the thing is that in terms of employment here, right? Who are we having trouble employing? Looks like okay. Looks like it is laborers. Interesting. Okay. Or no. Sorry. It's it's because it's the capitalists, right? So if I turn this on, okay, it reduces the number of laborers. But notice how that doesn't really change anything. Like it's it's still it doesn't really matter because the problem is we 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 need capitalists, right? That's what we need. So it it kind of helps a little bit because it means that we're still closer to max employment. Uh, weirdly enough, but we need capitalists here. We don't really need. It's not that we need more laborers. So the steam donkeys don't really change much in terms of the actual employment. But it is what it is. I guess we might as well put it on, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense that it would work. One more week to build that. That's good. Well, this is like the last thing that we're building. That's like the last thing. Let's, um, I don't know. They migrate there then. I guess that's true. I guess the capitalists migrate there. That's fair. Get some coal going. I mean, coal is valuable, so sure. As a pops employed, yeah. It's okay. We all forget sometimes. Did we get steel buildings yet? We're working on that now. So once we get steel buildings, um, we're probably going to swap over to that. Uh, not right away. We'll, we'll swap over slowly. Uh, but that, that's going to crash our iron economy until we start up all of our steel mills to counteract it. So we're going to probably try to preemptively build up a bunch of steel mills. Uh, a bunch of steel mills, a bunch of glassworks, a bunch of explosives. So that we can try to portal that. You become a GP. I mean, I could become a GP by just leaving Britain's market, but I kind of like Britain's market. So I'm going to stay in the market. They'll give me Harlingen eventually. Uh, eventually they'll give me Harlingen. It's just going to take time. One day. Also, they have a bigger navy than Britain. By like 30 ships, damn. Crazy. Mines only challenge for this game? Well, well, with if you do mines only, then like, what, you just you just make raw materials and I guess you export them? You can't really do much with just that, you know? So that would, would kind of suck. You wouldn't really be able to do anything with it, fortunately. Oh, we can grant independence. No, I don't. I wanted to reduce autonomy. I said reduce autonomy, but I think it was lying. Yeah, it's just lying to me. We should make Burma Protectorate. Um, only 20, 20 battalions. And they're probably all... Probably not very good ones. No line infantry. It's fine. Thermal is still here, but as we as we get the incorporation, Thermal should go away from the fact that we'll be getting them healthcare and stuff. Good. Must be Yeah. Yeah, I understand you. It's just the it's an idea. It's like, well, what if you only did mines? Like, well, it wouldn't really do much. We could try taking Tunis and trading with Tunis. Um, we could try this again, but then looks like we'd probably have to fight Austria. Yeah, that's the problem. Is Austria join? Almost zero infamy. Oh, hold on, wait. First, we got elections incoming. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Are the anarchists going to maybe actually get some votes? Yeah, not bad. Only 6%. I mean, it's not nothing. Okay. Right, right, right. Oh, with Austria, yes. Yeah, so we can't do that. We try attacking Morocco. Let's see. Is Morocco... They got a defensive pact with parts of Italy. It's fine. We're almost at zero infamy, so you might want to do thing with our stuff. Um, which is what would we want to do with it? What could we What could we do with our? We could go to attack like new Granada or something and make a protectorate here. It would probably get Russia's help though, so that's a little scary. And also probably Amer and Mexico. Mexico is genuinely a scary one. I guess Brazil is our best bet, but the problem is that I think France would still come in to help Brazil if we look here. I think this is this is something. I think Brazil would probably call in France. The Marina Kingdom could be a good protectorate, just, you know, grab them like, easily. 
50 battalions, but are they just... Are they just... What are they? Just, you know, the regulars? I mean, sure. I think we could probably could take the Marina Kingdom. Let's do it. I think I'm just gonna put the armies together for now. Why not, right? Let's just put them together. We'll split them up later. Take the rest of Texas. No, Mexico is really strong. Mexico is a sub okay. They're a major power now. Yeah, they they were almost a GP before, but they have 146 battalions. There's no shot we're gonna get through that. Ten months till I can put this guy in. Good. Once he's in, multi cultures will be really easy to pass. Not really easy, but it'll be much easier to pass. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Forgot about that. Yeah, they're they're stronger than they look. Oh, war operations. Let's try to even get them to back down. I'm just gonna put a bunch of stuff on them. Let's ban slavery. Open their market. Maybe they'll back down if we keep putting stuff on them. They have a modern army. Let's see. We can check by looking here. They do have uh they they have uh, line infantry, so it's not quite as it's not quite skirmish infantry, but it's it's pretty good. Definitely not nothing to scoff at. Hit 50 million GDP, by the way. That's nice. Only a couple million behind Russia. Then we gotta overtake France. Ooh. What's their GDP? The Mexican GDP is only 9 million. Surprisingly large army for a 9 million GDP country, but probably they're sacrificing... If they had spent more money on construction sectors instead of on army, they might have been able to get a better GDP. But it is what it is. They're doing their thing. Marina Kingdom shall fall. Many such cases in real history. True. Very true. I imagine when your neighbor is America, you have to have a pretty strong army, you know, or else, or else it gets pretty monk ass. With the North Korea route, seems to be the case. It seems to work too, because they haven't been conquered by America, so good for them, I suppose. Exactly. The army, our, you Americans would have just destroyed them if they had avoided the army stuff, so makes sense. We have one oil rig. Awesome. Augers. Here goes. Can these guys win? Mayhaps. These are these these have fifteen defense compared to my 28 attack, so I think we'll be I think we'll be able to beat them. Yeah, they do have full manpower, so they're, they're like they're good to go. I also I believe have full manpower, so that's good. Right, initially losing. I think in terms of who's gonna have more manpower though, I think we can wear them down. So be okay. Anarchists have a little more clout now, that's good. Are, did there happen to be any anarchists out there for the rural folk that have spawned? Let's take a look. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Rip. Oh, 
I think that's so strong. It's not that they're so strong. It's just that the AI has been building a lot of barracks these days. For whatever reason, I don't know why, the AI is like very much loving just making a, a massive number of barracks to try and have bigger armies, which probably is good because it means that they don't die as quickly. But it also means that like even small countries have these huge armies to contend with. And that can be pretty annoying, but that's what it is. Britain and Japan were at war, it looks like, but not anymore. He lost a lot of men. I lost a lot of men too, though, to be fair. It's not that he only he lost men. I also lost many men. Damn. There's steel construction. Good. So we're not going to clip that yet because it'll completely crash my budget, but we'll work towards getting a bunch of steel. That's why I'm doing all this coal, by the way, is I'm working on getting the supply chain up for, for steel. We're going to need it soon. We're going to need a lot of steel for it. Make a ton. We're going to need explosives and glass and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, apparently, the Australist guy died. Market liberal, that's chill. That's actually a good thing, because it means he's going to give more investment. We might have trouble here with the uh, with the Marina Kingdom. We might have to disband. We might have to like cancel the invasion, reinforce for a bit before we do more. Let's see us winning. Okay, let's let's retreat from this then. Cancel the invasion for now, and we'll try again in a little while. I think the uh, these can handle this themselves. I don't have to really worry about that. They're reinforcing. Okay. Let our boys reinforce for a bit as well. Are they doing... They're probably doing some trade routes, right? They must... They're probably not completely isolated, are they? There's no trade routes. Never mind. So are they isolated? They are. So, so we can we can raid convoys. It wouldn't even matter. We, we can't do anything to them besides just hope that we can land on them. If I were to lose, I would just have to pay war operations. So it's not a big deal if we end up losing this war. I think we'll eventually be able to win. In fact, let me actually start, let me get conscripts going, and then let's uh, disband the other navy. Nice teleports the navy over, that's good to know. And then we'll um, we'll get in here and with, you know, more troops once these guys reinforce. The Red Scare. Sure. The Petit Bourgeoisie are surprisingly powerful. That's kind of crazy. Are there any Petit Bourgeoisie? Any one that we could bring in that would be better? No, it doesn't work anymore. The multiple strat stopped working a while ago. This? No. Paris Com we can help the Paris Commune. Sure. Uh, that's funny. That's a good that's a good one. Look at that Chad flag. Okay, with thirty seven we have like half manpower. Wait for a little more. Yeah, definitely, uh, that strat would kind of ruin the game in terms of, like, actually making it at all challenging. Now, to be fair, 
game was kind of fun to not have to, you know, skip out on the challenge signs. Sometimes it was kind of fun to be like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's just meme and do whatever, right? But it definitely um, feels like it's better to have you know, actual boat mechanics in this game that work properly. So I'm glad that they fixed it personally. And yeah, it looks like my, my subject can handle this himself. I'm not going to bother saying anyone over there. Let's try invading with this army now. We have 16 defense. We got this. Take a while to build this up. A couple years to build these coal mines. We don't need all those coal mines, but to be fair, once we get the steel mills going, coal is going to become very expensive. So, keep that in mind. It's only landlocked part of France. This is this is the Paris Commune. This is Paris. Not the British. This is, this is the Paris Commune. They are... Oh my god. They don't even, they're not even using the... Bro. They're not even using the special ownership method. Because they can't. Because they, they should be using the collectively owned, right? But they're using publicly traded. What is this? Oh, they do have, they have interventions, and that's why. Okay, they don't actually have... Interventionism, commercialized agriculture, council republic. That's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. They're communists, but the farms are capitalists. Okay. See, it looks like we're making headway in here now, so that's good. Although we're getting too many troops now, unfortunately. So that's, that's, that's also very unfortunate. <laughs> wait, yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait a minute. Doesn't really feel very sensible. The most, the most. Oh, there they got quad ownership now. Okay, sounds like China. We have the whole Paris for free, maybe. I don't know how I would do that. I guess when they go to war, I could try to get protectorate on Paris, whatever. Still, it's really funny. Recovering morale before we go in. Yes, we are. Yeah, nice. They blundered. Love to see that. They will unite with France? Ain't no way. No way, dude. That'd be hilarious. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll definitely give it a shot. We have to get it. I think we have an interest in here, though. We do have an interest. Okay, we'll try it for sure. Because you never know if that'll work. That would be absolutely insane. If it's like, if it works like, like Lower Peru and all that, or, or is it, I think it's like when you puppet. When you protect it, like, uh, or you transfer the subjecthood of, like, lower Peru, and then it makes all Peru unite. Got that one time? Damn, okay. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. See if we can make that happen. Get your morale back already. Come on, we gotta keep invading, uh, Marina Kingdom here. Declare the war, though. I will declare it as soon as this war is over. Nice. Now we're winning just because we have more numbers. They're just out of manpower. This is how it is. Only problem is I'm slowly getting too many men for this, um, for these boats, so that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, we just need one more battle, I think, then we land. Come on, boys. One more battle. You can get screwed in there early? I see, okay. Um, I'll be sure to do that. Oh, my immediate pursuit, what the hell? Immediately in pursuit phase, Giga Chad. Okay, cool, there we go, we landed. Alright, now we should be able to win. We'll tip ban slavery, we'll war up. Arena well, we won't open the market, it's fine, just... Cool. Okay, great. Now let's see about let's see about this. First, we have to wait for this war to end, but it's about to end already, so no big deal there. It's gonna end in like another week. Okay, cool. Alright, let's save. Let's see if we can steal all of France real quick, Giga Chad. Okay. 
Let's add a bunch of war goals to see if they get scared. We could even call in Britain. I mean, whatever, right? Whoever wants to help. That button doesn't work anymore. Interesting. <laughs> they have to back down. Okay, we're going to try. Maybe we can get them to back down if we get Britain to help us. Because, yeah, you're right. We'd have to, like, you know, we'd have to, you know... Um, <laughs> I guess we could try to, to uh, violate sovereignty with France. That would be a way that we could do it, but... Or if we could sway France into the war, but they're obviously not interested. They want a subject. Oh, they want to come in. Belgian Ghana. Okay, Belgian Ghana. What is, what is, is that like here? Do I really care for Belgian Ghana? The Windward Coast. I'm sorry for my lack of geographical knowledge. Yeah, I don't care for that, so you know what? Sure. You can have it. See if that makes them want to back down. America wants to come in. Are we already at the maximum we can get for fear from the size of the army, though? Yeah, we are. So adding more wouldn't really help. Oh, oh, America joined against us. What do you want? Do you want Texas, I imagine? Do we give up Texas? Let's see if... Just because we can reload if this doesn't work out. We'll give up Texas just for... For the memes. This is not going to work? No, they don't want that. Okay, never mind. They don't want that. Okay. I have an idea, though. Um... We, we can try violating sovereignty on France. That could be a thing that we do. Do it worth it for France? Yeah, it would be worth it, wouldn't it? Sway Mexico. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Mexico can deal with Texas. You guys still have slavery, you kidding me? Bro, why do you guys still have slavery? That's fucked up, man. Will they get get to theirs? They already they already swapped sides, unfortunately. I want to see if we can just violate sovereignty on France, though. That'd be super based. Although can we we probably can't do that against a great power, can we? That's not really a thing, is it? Needs to be doing this as well. He's discriminated against. Are you kidding me? He's English. No. Bruh. We'd have to do racial segregation first. You can't? Damn, okay, rip. Alright, well. Oh my god, the Americans are having a revolution. <laughs> okay. Sure, dude. Oh, come on. Oh, they backed down! They backed down! <laughs> they did it. Okay. What happens now? They did, in fact, back down. The English. Hmm. That's true. They, they did, in fact, back down, so... There's that. I guess we have to promise them this, because otherwise we can't pass this anymore. Just wait until they merge? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I shall wait. I shall wait. That's hilarious, though, if this works, because they have their protectorate now, so... Cool. I still have to wait till the truce ends. Is that about when they merge? Autonomy if you can, or does he never be able? Okay, so we have to reduce autonomy. Okay. Well, we have to wait till the truce is up, and that's going to be quite, you know, a couple years, so we'll try, but we lost, we sacrificed Texas for it, so it better be worth it, boys. We all sacrificed Belgian Ghana. Hopefully it's worth it. And we're just going to have this revolution fire, I think. I really want multiculturalism, so we're just going to let this fire, and then the British will come save us. That's going to be our plan. Rip Dixie interest. Rip for Texas. It will trust. Oh, I believe it will. I, I'm pretty, I'm almost certain that it will, but still, you know, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's uh, a good meme, though. It was a good meme.
Gone but not forgotten. Can we get an F in chat for... Can we get an F in chat for Texas? We also might get multiculturalism soon, which would be crazy, because then we start getting immense, you know, immense, you know, no more, no more problems. Thanks for the Fs, boys. Thank you. Thank you for the Fs. Appreciated. Texas still lives, though. Texas does, in fact, still live in its own kind of way. This is hilarious. Is this they still gonna have slavery, aren't they? Yeah, this isn't even about this isn't even a civil war over slavery. It's a civil war over um over over voting rights. <laughs> Just like the real civil war, I mean what? And the Prussian army as well. And tenant farming. Okay, what else? And parliament and republic. So they want a different kind of republic. They want a professional army, and they want and they want um, universal suffrage. That's what they're fighting for. Is this guy like a Jeffersonian Democrat or something? What's this thing? Jingoist? No, they just—they just really likes war. Okay. It's a combination of the trade unions and the landowners fighting together. That's that's something. That's really that's quite the combo. Landlords and. And, uh, you know, socialists fighting to overthrow the farmers under Thomas Jackson. That's, that's pretty crazy. Absolutely insane. Just works, chat. The game do be funny at times. There are times when it do be pretty hilarious. It do be having me guffawing here and there. Alright, okay. For step one of multiculturalism is passed. Okay. But like I said, we're going to let the revolution fire if it wants to fire because uh, it's worth it. It's completely, absolutely worth it in every way, so... The game is very slow right now. I'm actually going to take a save, and I'm going to I'm going to quit the game and reload, in the hopes of um of making the game run a little faster. So just bear with me for a second. While I'm doing that, I might go and grab a snack real quick as well. Also, how long have I been streaming now? Well, it's been almost six hours. I said I was going to stop at six hours, but I do want to see about this France thing. Um, but if it's going to take, it might take a long time because the game is running really slowly. So depending on how this the the game runs when I do this. Um, I might choose to stop the stream and we'll have to see tomorrow how it goes, but yeah, because I, I do want to see what happens with the France stuff, but I don't really want to stream too much longer because I got stuff to do tonight. I accidentally opened Sony Vegas Pro. God damn it. Okay, you're launching the game now. Okay, launching the game. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to grab a little snack. I'm having some tortilla chips made of blue corn. There we 
There it is. Okay, cool. Here we go. Favorite of mine? Yeah, I, I do enjoy tortilla chips. Alright, does the game run faster? That's a little faster. Okay, we can live with this. They're already insurrectionary. Fuck it. Who cares? I haven't done that gigantic Ethereum, but I do enjoy the lime flavored tortilla chips. Although my partner does not. <laughs> so when I bought them, they didn't like that. But yeah. I do like the lime flavored ones, so I understand. Four years of true stem. It's pretty. I think. I don't know how long it takes them to reunite, but hope it doesn't. Hope it doesn't happen too fast. I can't eat too many though, because my um my partner makes nachos with these, so I can't eat too many of them, chat. Don't let me don't let me eat them too much, okay? When I have chips in my hands, they very quickly go away. But don't let me eat them all. The Paris Commune do be a thing. Do be a thing. Yo, <laughs> I could take them off of um. I could I could be a total Giga Chat and take them off of um. What do we do here? Take them off of Council Republic. Here. Here. Would it be a funny meme to be like, no, you're not, you're not, you're not, um, you're not communist anymore. I think we just put them towards anarchy. That'll be a good meme. Don't do that? Okay. <laughs> I won't do it. Opening their borders would be a good idea, though. That's true. That'd be a very good idea. So they can migrate to me once we inherit them. Oh! No. Oh. They broke free. I didn't get to keep them. Badge. No, it didn't work, chap. No. Is that because of what I did? Is that because? Is that because? Hold on, let me just go back and see if that was because I made them become anarchist. Let's just check that, because maybe that's um. Maybe maybe that's you know. That's no, my fault, maybe. Oh, I can't stop it now. Okay, well. Oh. Now the other one united. Okay, wait. No, call me now. Okay, no, I see. So it looks like we we did lose Texas for nothing. Badge. It's alright, chat. It's alright. These were friends, though. So maybe, 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 maybe they be willing to... Mayhaps. Give me Harlem Gin then? No. September save? Okay, we can go to September save. 
Let's see if it's just random chance. Maybe. Should, I, should they buff Poland? Probably. They're going to play Dome, Frostpunk 2 or Access? Maybe. I might check that out. I didn't play the original Frostpunk. So I'm not sure. But I know I ha I do have access to a person that can give me early access. What's up, Mr. Gaming? We're trying to... Um, so we got the Paris Commune to back down in a protectorate play. And we're trying to get them to unite with France so that they can give me all of France for themselves. Giga Chad. No, dude, come on. They keep on... It's not It's not working. It's not working. Not working, dude. Damn. I think we just gave up on it. I don't know if we want to spend forever trying to test this. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Either way, we're gonna get multiculturalism, so we're gonna do that. That's gonna be epic as well, anyway. We're just gonna have this revolution fire, and then Britain's gonna come save us. We're discovered in Congo. Oh yeah, dude. It's time. Time to be the true Belgium. Here comes the revolution. Um. You know, recruit general, sure. Pretty sure the British will just come and win this for me, if I understand correctly. They don't want to help. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Who does want to help? To be fair, I'm pretty sure they're going to get fucked by the fact they don't have, like, any market access, but still. It's pointing myself because it didn't work for you? It's okay. It's probably just because of the way the AI chose to go through the events, right? It's not your fault. I'm sure it would have worked if things went differently, in terms of how the AI decided to do things. Where's the one ally I can get? We can get Brazil. To be honest with you, I mean, they want Rio de Janeiro, I assume, right? We don't want to give up Rio de Janeiro for this, do we? That's 10 battalions? Yeah, that's... I think we can just win, but we can just have to split this army up. Um, that would probably be... I think we can just do this without Britain's help. I was hoping to just get carried by Britain, but... Give me, like, eight guys. Oh, oh God. Give me, like, eight dudes. Okay. Then this gets a general, and these guys can just go and handle that front. I think, yeah, I think we even need Britain to help us. We got this. What do you call a disease with many, influ with many followers? Influenza? Mods ban that guy. Yeah, because all my GDP is in Wallonia. They have destroyed the G the Wallonian GDP, these monsters. First of all. You hate to see it. This place had like... A, 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 like, like it had like 40 million GDP and they, they have killed it. Do that with your convoys? We're gonna my con I guess I could use my navy to cut them off from any trade. Could do that. It's okay, we're just gonna win. I'm pretty sure we just destroy them, to be honest. I don't think we actually have to worry about anything. We can probably even just naval invade around. You can trade a ton. Oh, that's true, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, we, we have everything. We, we don't have any shortages, so I think we'll be okay. Once we resolve the civil war, everything will kind of go back to normal. It'll be alright. Alright. Go ahead and win the war, boys. 
They don't have max organization yet, so they're going to take a minute, but they'll get there. Yeah. We're good. We're good. I was a little scared, I won't lie, chat. I was a little scared, although it looks like we're losing that battle, so that's funny. Multiculturism is complete. New Colossus. Come one, come all. Anything else you want to change? We go to Technocracy, Giga Chad. That's fine. We could try to become communists, because we do have a lot of power in the uh, anarchists right now, but... Oh, sure, we're losing. It's fine. It's fine. I think for now, though, chat, even though we're, we're about to have the epic war, it is kind of, like, time for me to stop the stream, because, like, it's it, it's it's enough for me. I need, I need to stop the stream now, because I have stuff I need to do tonight, okay? So I know this is kind of, like, an abrupt ending, but it's about to be 9 o'clock, and I really need to stop streaming now. So we got... We, we, we tested out the communard thing. We got multiculturalism... Uh, tomorrow we'll continue and we'll we'll do the civil war and everything. I'm not gonna worry about it, but yeah, we got we gotta stop the stream for now though, cause I'm I'm out of time for stream today. I kind of already went like extra extra bit of time over what I'm supposed to. Um, epic cliffhanger ending. Yeah, I know, right? Kind of crazy, but it was fun though, Chad. It was fun hanging out. I gotta go though. Uh, sorry about that. It's just it's just bad timing. I just it, at nine o'clock's kind of my cutoff time. And, yeah, but thanks everyone for being here though. We're gonna end the stream. I'm not gonna raid anyone today. I don't see anyone I want to raid on my following list, so we're just gonna kill it. But thanks so much for being here. We're going to stream more again tomorrow. Maybe continue the Belgian playthrough. See what else we do. Now that we've got, uh, you know, now we've got multiculturalism and um, and we've got uh, church and state separate, whatever it's called, total separation. Everyone's going to just come over to the country. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But for now, I'll see you all next time. We have a nice day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, yeah. Peace out, boys. It was nice hanging out. It was nice hanging out. Adios.